Russell stream. We are, of course, here live in Insomnia, Dublin for our Rocket League LAN event here, supported by the one and only Oil Ireland. We have a fantastic setup here with the best PCs, the best monitors, in, of course, the best county in the country. Debatable. And beside me, we have... Well, we're a bit desperate. No, I'm only messing. We have, <laughs> we have one of the best people beside me for this job. Enrong, it's been a great start to the day so far. It has been. We worked long and hard yesterday to get this line up and running for it. When you were at yeah. home, cozying up at home with Lucra, sitting down watching, <laughs> you know, the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift or yep, whatever yep. you were watching. Uh, I was here working extremely hard until about 11 o'clock last night making sure everything was set up. But we have it all set up. And guess what? Most importantly, it's a cracker so far. All the games have been going on time. Yep. And also, you mentioned great setup. Yep. Great county, debatable, great place, <laughs> but also great players. Yes. That's what we have in abundance here today. Yes, that is such a good point. We have a, a pure abundance of brilliant players here, brilliant talent, all the rest. And speaking of which, our first match of the stream, it's going to be a pretty close one. Why don't you talk us through it? Yeah, so... On the orange side, we have Candemonium Asquelaga, and on the blue side, we have Cheerios, right? <laughs> um, so, a, a good matchup, I think. Uh, the fourth seed uh, coming into the tournament versus the uh, sixth seed. No, the seventh seed, rather, the seventh seed. Yep. Um, so, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, all players are GC level on here, except Cans. Cans is the questionable player. Classic, not yeah. Not very good. Go on, Cans, uh, yeah. He can't aerial, he can't reverse, he can't control the car. Uh, he won an F1 race here today, though, so he's not too bad at that, to be fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, look, we got some really quality players here on uh, both teams. Uh, on the orange team, you've got Panda, of course, uh, yeah. a runner-up at LAN, a third place at LAN, who's really good in this kind of environment in the 3v3 side. On the flip side, you have a player like Haskell, who's never been hired in the top eight in that 3v3 <laughs> LAN. So we're going to have to wait and see. He's even here right now. He's so late to everything, he can't even show up to his game on time because he's too busy munching. Haskell, do you see me? He's too busy ignoring us, even though we're on stream. He won't even get into his game on time, even though everyone else is ready. Yeah, we're talking about Yeah, we are talking about you, yeah. Well, why are you eating a muffin? You got a game to play. Get your priorities straight. <laughs> so there's Hasco for you anyway, guys. But uh, if there's anyone <laughs> in chat, because we're not seeing it right now, are you sure you're streaming it to our Rocket League Ireland one? But we're live. We're, let's refresh the chat. There's we're literally live, no one watching. So. Okay, well, that's a bit of a pity. But um, I'll oh, check I it out on my phone. Friends. But anyway, um, yeah, that's... That's the basics. We got quality team versus and also quality team. Jamingo's in chat, so we are live indeed. Um, <laughs> hello, Jamingo. How are you? Shame we're not here. Chef as well. Hello, man. How are you? Chef, come to a land. Chef, come to a land. For God's sake. sake, man. Holy cow. So, forward for me, the difference here is going to be the speed difference, I think. Okay. Uh, on yep. the orange team, you got Candemonium Moscow. Like, they're going to be a faster team, more aggressive team. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got the strongest player in the field, unfortunately. They've also got the weakest player in the field, in my opinion. Right. Uh, so, it's going to be interesting to see how that team plays together. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got this guy beside me. Uh, Karak Dan, uh, who has recently nearly hit 1800. That's uh, yeah. an amazing. What a beast! What a beast! Um, how's everyone? I just, I just want to mention that forehead knocked over a homeless woman's sign yesterday. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Dan, you're killing me. You're killing me here, Dan. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It was a pure accident, right? I blame I blame Lucra for telling everyone, and I blame Dan for making it live as well. Clover is both live here in the building and also watching, so I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort there. Big respect there. Um, about to get disqualified from the also, tournament as also, well. But also, not some very complimentary, not very complimentary uh, messages there. Yeah, so I can't wait to gonna disqualify have to him. On that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least I'm taller than him, though. He's like a midget. Anyway, it's true. Um, so, uh, on the other side, then, for you got blue team Cheerios. Yeah. So yep. we've got a, a veteran of lands. I would say Jo. He's a veteran of also. Yeah. He's yeah, also yeah. a veteran of being late. Yeah. To lands. Would yep. you say that's correct? I'd say he's uh, he's got his traditions. He's got land traditions. His land. You know those people who are very like. Um, what's the word for it when you have you have like habits before a game and you like really believe that they help you. Um, traits. Yeah, traits. Yeah. He's you know this is a rituals kind of thing. This is his thing. He shows up late because, you know, technically it's a quick check-in because he's the only one left. And then uh, gets in and <laughs> maybe plays out of his mind. I don't know. We'll find out in a couple of minutes. Seeing so. how he dresses, I would say he is fashionably late. <laughs> so, um. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong there. That's a good point. He's a very good-looking man. But uh, that is that is irrelevant today. Forehead exposed. <laughs> well, hold on a second. Cyber's in the chat. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Don't be. None of that. Hello? None of that now. None of that now. <laughs> 
So, um, forehead. For me, I'm looking at a 2 0 here in the favour of Candemonium Osquelega. However, uh -huh. Kans is a very questionable player. He's a questionable man. He's been up to some very questionable things in the past, including <laughs> back flipping, front flipping, and side flipping in all manner of directions. Yeah. But anyway, um, I think a 2 0 here would be the fairest result. It's going to be on Panda to play his best uh, here. We'll see how Dan plays. He didn't play well at the last line. He's here right beside me now. I know he can hear me, but he played shocking at the last line uh. Uh, that he played at. So we're going to need to see a bit more from these guys. I'm sure I'm getting into his head right now. He's even looking at me a little bit. Here he was. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Those Good. guys. They can't Good even lance. log into their PCs correctly. Oh, this PC is put into the back port. There's an issue with front ones, just so you know. So, yeah, anyway, I'm also the tech guy here at the event. <laughs> Why do you take away? Yeah, no, I mean, look, I agree with you with a lot of that. Um, I think with Candemani Mosquelga, there's an interesting mix of the old and the new, metaphorically speaking, as in Panda, who's come to nearly every LAN. We know what to expect from him. He should come out with some big plays. You know, Dan, on the other hand, I believe this is only his second LAN event. It is. So he could come out with some great stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to see what he can do. Hit 1700. Let's face it, after only about a week of playing the game again, which is pretty impressive in its own right. So I'm hoping to see some big plays. And Kans hopefully, can be that middleman who just sort of doesn't let the team down. Yeah. Realistically, that's his job, is to not let anyone down. But we'll see. I'll tell you, from my LAN experience, 2v2 with Cans, he did all right. He did okay. So um, He only lets you down in a uh, reverse sweep. Well, you know. He got reverse sweep by uh, the man, the myth, the legend that is Captain Quark. Yeah. Uh, um, well, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll gloss over that one. I, uh, I have faith in him to come up with good today. And then, uh, yeah, on the other side, I totally agree with you. We have, um, we have Joe, who I think I would describe him as... Mr. Consistent. He he'll never produce anything massively spectacular, I don't think. But he, you know what to expect from him, which I think in a land environment is pretty good. You know, you have so many quickly made teams and all the rest of it. I think having someone who isn't bad in all aspects of the game is actually very very useful. We have a way who then I've a bit of experience playing with him uh, through the DCU team. Is a very hit and miss player. I nearly describe him as like a diet cans in a way. Yeah. He is. Maybe not quite as good as Cans when they're both on top form, and at the same time, can pull stuff out of the bag and has a tendency to miss the odd thing. So, a very interesting mix there. And of course, we have Haxfield too, who I haven't actually seen play in in recent memory. Um, I have seen him in LAN. He's but, been awesome, hasn't he? Yeah, but I have to say, I actually missed a lot of games in the Gigabyte LAN, so I actually didn't see him there. And I don't remember playing with him recently. He was the carry so. on his team on the Gigabyte LAN. Um, right, okay, okay. So, he played well there. Uh, he played pretty well, I would say, at the 2v2 line as well, but we're not going to focus on that. Um, for me, the big thing here is uh, J.O., and it's going to be about how J.O. plays. He's had um, two good performances at LAN and one below par performance, but the most recent one was a good performance at LAN. Him, Trix, and um, LTX Sam made top six, and they weren't uh, expected to make top six. They were the lower yeah. seeded team in their group. Uh, they knocked out the, the trio of Demox, uh, Lucra, and Little Dude. Um, and, and, they, and they did really well in that group, honestly. Um, and had they not come across the, the champions in the end of We Don't Bimba, well, they, they could have maybe made a small run, we never know. But um, from my experience, from what I saw briefly in that tournament, Jail played very well. So, uh, yeah, there's, we've obviously got um, a LAN noob in uh, Aweo here. Uh -huh. um, it's his first LAN. First time that, is true. Yeah. Very, very true. Um, he's got a fine head of red hair on him. <laughs> um, yep. Great lad. And on the other side, he's got a bit of inexperience as well with Carrick Dan, you know, with only one land. So it's going to be interesting to see how those two guys go up. Where he's got two veterans on both sides then. Kans and Panda played together in a 2v2 land before in the past where they did absolutely shocking. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. So, I don't know if we're ready to get into this yet. Has the lobby been set up yet? I would say they can't hear us, or they're just ignoring us, but anyway. Uh, I'm not sure. Sam, how are we looking? We okay? Nearly ready? Typical Joe. Typical Joe with the issues. His fancy headset or whatever it is, I don't know. Something's gone wrong there. Is it his fancy uh, headset again, is it? <laughs> it must be. The headset must was be. late as well, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't arrive on time. <laughs> yeah. He only just got it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time set up all this jazz. No, I have no clue what's going on over there, but we shall find out soon enough, as I'm sure. I have to say. I have to say, all round, it's been a very, Pans. very good land. I, they're pretty much almost ready to go. You can set up the lobby, Hasco. Set up the lobby. Uh, yeah, no, I have to say it has actually been a really good, really good land so far. We only, we are only an hour and a half in, so you know I'm gonna take it easy on that one. But we do have a spectacular finals setup as well, uh, which to anyone who is here, I don't know why you'd be listening in, but to anyone who is here, 
I hope they enjoy and get the most out of that because it is going to be something special, I think. Um, have to say another thing as well. Anyone who was at the DGF LAN roughly this time last year, I'm getting the same feeling off it. It's in the RDS. There's loads of new merch. There's a lot of people here watching. Yeah. Like, a lot. This it's isn't like our last couple of lands where it has been like, you know, it's just been the private LAN almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LAN no. in Cork. QCon is always a private LAN. Uh, EGW failure, aka the Gigabyte uh, yeah. one. Um, but no, we're here. It's a big open area. Luckily, we're tucked away in a corner. We should be pretty good. Yeah. But uh, what you up to? I'm just gonna turn up the settings because they look like, you know, they look terrible to me. <laughs> uh, because I can see jagged edges, and I don't want to see that on this beautiful car. That beautiful wow. pigeon. Look at that pigeon head. I didn't think to bring any of my usual stuff with me. My usual gimmicks. I didn't bring the pigeon head, I didn't bring my uh... You brought Lucre though, so that's enough. That's true, yeah. He... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Couldn't have put it better. Uh, we are joining into... Big Ed Dan apparently. I guarantee you he's missed the one in this as well. Oh, he has, but look, it's just the way it goes, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, we slated him enough. He doesn't deserve this anymore. Rasko's uh, got the massive name. Yeah, I respect that though. Respect the big, you know, at Insomnia Land. Now, the whole Insomnia 65 RDS Land 2019. It's a bit overkill. Who the hell is Big Head Dan? Carrick Dan? No, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. It's not a way. Interesting. Is it, Dan is having issues with his controller. Might be, might be Dan, jail. can we get a report of what's happening? Hopefully. Cool, you've heard it there first, guys, from the. Uh, an exclusive. An exclusive article live in person. From the man behind ORI Weekly, Trimmer. TM. <laughs> 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 He's got it into everyone's heads now. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, wait. Is Joe in the lobby, yeah? Pasco uh, staring me down here. He's trying to creep on the monitor. He's trying to he's trying to unnerve me now so that you know I don't say any bad things about him later on. That must be it. But uh he's not gonna get to me folks. He's not gonna get to me. Not today. Not today. Um I have to see what the issue is here. It's only I think just Dan's controller settings are being an absolute hassle here. It's a real shame. We thought we'd get this game underway. We thought this game, honestly, would be well into probably game two at this stage, but uh, that has not been the case. Either way, we are firmly on time for things. We've actually done a very, very good job here. Uh, big shout out to John AK always and LTX Sam, who have done a pretty good job so far of keeping the whole tournament ticking over and keeping games going on. Uh, one thing I also should give John credit for is every single time I, I spell always now, I put a Z at the end, which I really don't mean to do. And it's uh, it's deeply frustrating, but, you know, that's just that's what happens when you hang around someone it like him. Is actually meant to have a Z or not? Always in the English language is not spelled with a Z. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, but but John's, John's name is yeah, yeah, yeah. with a Z. Yeah. And what I'm saying is if I type T, say I'm sending you a message and I say, as always, I will still put a Z at the end by accident, just out of pure habit. Pure force of habit. Oh, here we go, Carrick Dan is seen. Who's Big Head Dan? Joe. Joe. Joe name is up. <laughs> the beep has already started, guys. There is going to be articles about this yeah, if they yeah. lose. Dan is going to be rubbing this in the face of Joe. I can call it right now, fashionably late. Panda, Lee, join in the lobby, yeah? Join the lobby. Join the lobby. No, 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 Dan's having issues, wait. But the rest of them are in. Is it working? Join it. Yeah? Just go in the free play. Just go in the free play and see what it's like, yeah? yeah and then and obviously change whatever settings you need. Oh no, they're right, they're right. Yeah? You sure? Yeah. Just make sure. Just yeah. drive around for a minute. Give him a minute. We're gonna give him a minute. Just. There's no password, it's just R light. Same as the name. Well there yeah. is a password. Oh yeah, but it's the same as the name, alright? It's Ken's trying to tell me something. <laughs> the car doesn't turn! <laughs> wait for Dan, guys, wait for Dan, alright? The real Dan, not Big Head Dan. So the real the real Dan, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Dan's never played a lamb before. Oh, we have some bad news. Some bad news. 
here coming into coming into the stream. I've been oh, DM directly here. Hey, bro, what is that about? I hope you're watching it because if you're not, shameful. Uh, we're, gonna I, the, the, we're gonna be we're gonna be throwing tea over in India, all over the place to stop you. I uh, I have to admit, I can't I can't exactly say what he said on stream. Go, it's Everyone's not exactly in. family friendly, but uh, take us away. He's uh, feeling a bit sick and not feeling the weather. Having said that. We are finally getting in to game one of this stream. Best of three, of course. And here we go with the fairly even kickoff. Camden Cheeky side flip there to miss that second ball, but Carry Glan gonna get it up the wall. I'm kind of struggling a bit here. Away, looking to charge him down, but nothing really comes of it here. Can't in the Batmobile, a brave choice, especially at land time. Of course, we got a couple of Fenex coming out. Wouldn't be surprised if Away was the only Fenex we see today. Uh, Dan's using one. Exactly. <laughs> My point oh! is <laughs> what a finish that is from Joe, aka Big Head Dan, specifically for this match. Oh, what a double, bro! And what Ooh. a read that is. You talk about how he's gonna have to come out big today. That's a big play to start things off. Less than 30 seconds into the match. We were expecting Panda to be making these kind of plays, but the man who's fashionably late has the one who's just scored that amazing goal there. What a play from J.O. What a way to end up the start of this land. What do you think? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Though carry down with a chance for his own. But Joe with a save coming in clutch. Big demo there from Panda. He clearly knows who he wants to demo anyway. One minute in. And we'll see here. Carry Dan's getting a pretty awkward touch of that away. He's going to have a chance to centre this one. Can so. Swiping across in time. Does well. Let's see. Joe with another chance. It's not exactly as spectacularly set up as the last one. And he tries to back out of that. Dan going for a bit of an ambitious area. I don't know if that was too necessary there. But away. Plays it off the wall. But straight into the path of Panda. Joe for a touch inside to his teammate to Hasco and Can does his job. Dan up nice and early. That's just off the crossbar. Who's there next? Cans with a big block from Joe. We stay at 1 0. Yeah, it's been a good opening exchange now. Power plays, fast plays here from this Candemonium Osquelaga team. And a big miss there from Cans, I believe it was. Pretty customary. Oh, forehead. What's going on here? Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a goal, but had that big challenge. Yeah, no, it was well played there from Panda. Looks like he's in a dodgy spot, but he got there. Cans now up the wall. Is this a master of habitat? Looking for Dan in the middle. Tees it off to him. Dan, though, isn't there. Too slow in the air, but Panda gets the shot nonetheless. And Joe, taking his teammate out in the process, but gets a good save. And a good clear two to follow up. Cans, a nice dunk there, but has to go right place for a timer. That is sailing into the iron chance, but Ooh. Joe with a big chance. Just can't quite get enough contact on the ball, and away he looks for the touch too. Can't get it on this occasion. Three minutes left. This game is still firmly in the balance. Oh, big miss there. Oh, and a brilliant save again from Gio. Gio has been putting this team in his back at the moment. He's playing phenomenal Rocket League at the moment, but a uh, big miss there from Aueo. Uh, yeah, Gio really making all the highlights here. Hasco just tries to switch that ball out the iron half, but can't uh -oh. have none of it. Uh -oh. Panda's up early, and that's a big block from Aueo. Big read there for him to get to that one. Oh, Dan's making a lot of poor touches here. He's not getting behind the ball at all correctly. Probably nerves, maybe just not feeling it at the moment. Full hands it could be. Not a great clear though by uh, J.O. He's giving it up to Cans. Panda going for the double, but he's missing. Yeah, you mentioned cold hands, and it's actually a very fair point. And we are, of course, in a massive hall. The heating is uh, minimal, to say the least. So that could be having an effect on some of these players. As Panda... Doesn't he go it? I swear he skimmed that. Either way, Carrick Dan would be delighted. That's something for the confidence, if nothing else. This is disastrous defending, though. Like, Hasco has boost, and he just waits to see what's yeah. going to happen. I don't know what he's trying to wait for there, but uh, Hasco really needs to work in his back where reads, because that was very bad. And now it's 1-1, one, one, and all of a sudden, Kendamoni Masquela are back in and after playing very poor, I would say, for the first two and a half minutes. Yeah, big, big chance for that goal. Kind of gifted to me. So, Joe with a oh, big win. Hasco, your aerial, bro. Can't get to that one. And Joe looks for another shot, but hits into the crossbar and above. Away with it. What's he going to do here? Wants the slow play, but just hands it to Dan in the end. Hasco, up the wall he goes, but Panda equal to it. Joe, that's a dodgy touch into the air, but he stays behind it very impressively indeed. Panda, what can he do out of this corner? Away, it's going to beat him to it. Let's see here, Dan puts it on target, and that's a second of the game for him. It's Hasco again. Hasco is at fault again for another play here on the defense. So this isn't a great touch. It's not the best touch in the world, but Hasco comes out as last man for no reason. Tries to make a challenge. It doesn't make it correctly. And it's another good finish by Carrick Dan. Dan's starting to get into the game now. He's getting his confidence. Yeah, He's like a yeah, Bama yeah, yeah. Yang, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bama blood clot. That's what they say over in London, apparently. But anyway, um, a Bama Yang, Carrick Yan. <laughs> Carrick Dan. <laughs> Either way, he's got himself two goals and his team's only two goals in this game so far. He 
Greggy slightly gifted, but that's a great pass up for Panda. Pasco though does well off his own back, but this time around can't. Good hit off the wall and away he was missed that one. It's down to Joe. Done well there to find Hasco as well, but no one in the middle of Dan. Well, the clear could have been better there, but he touches it wide and out of danger for now. We should remember it is away as first lad, so he's going to be a little bit uh, nervous, a little bit rusty, etc. So he's not going to be up to his best at the moment. Hasco though has not really got that excuse, and he's making a lot of uh, poor touches. Good fake challenge there from Jay. Oh, he's done oh. him again! Oh! Oh, what a save! Oh. Oh, that could have been he did two of them with the fake. Kansas is probably going to be like, oh, you didn't get faked, but he definitely <laughs> did there. Oh, I mean, that was... Jago's been some phenomenal Rocket League at the moment. Oh, 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 oh. As then Dan smashes the crossbar as well. And another chance for him. And he squeezes that one just under. 3-1 with less than a minute left. The fox in the box, Carrick Dan. This is really intelligent play. He doesn't leave the up box. Yeah. And he makes a really good finish to the top of the net. Dan's starting to play really well. He started off the game very slow, but he's playing phenomenal now. Yeah, it's brilliant. He's getting this result for his team here. Three, well, two very good finishes. And one that was a little bit down to chance, but we give him the credit nonetheless. And I have to say, this Candemonium Oscuelga are playing very, very well together. You can see their traits coming out now with the last 30 seconds of this game left to go. They're actually playing Panda very far back as third man because I don't think he trusts his two teammates to make these kind of touches. Uh, but it's working really well for them because Kansas is making good infield, um, or sorry, good um, midfield pressure, and Dan's obviously finishing off the chances. So they're playing a fairly solid um, rotation at the moment, but Panda is definitely playing third man, which he's not normally comfortable with. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see. I think at this at this caliber of uh, opponent, he might be just about okay with it. But see, that's a great pass midfield. It's a shame no one's there. Away with a touchdown, but it's into Cannes, and that's on target. And a big save from Jail once again. Of course, called Big Head Dan for any confusion out there. But that ball is going to hit the ground, and that is game one in this best of three to Pandemonium Osquelga. Yeah, it's a good play there. Um, Dan really put the team in his back in that game. Look at that huge carry from the two boys. Like I said, Jo and Carrick Dan have been unbelievable. Like, Jo was on the losing team, and he has 692 yeah, points. The mental. guy was unbelievable that game, and he, he should feel. He should feel a little bit let down because, in my mind, these two teammates, they really need to pick it up in the next game. They have to pick it up. Like, Haskell is responsible for two of those goals. He needs to pick it up next game because they can actually win the series. I really do believe they can. Yeah. Panda yeah, yeah, is yeah. playing really far back. Kans is not able to get on the ball as normal. Away, it's his first land, so I'm going to leave him off for his first series, but he's got to pick it up if they want to win. J.O. needs to keep doing what he's doing. He's making some phenomenal plays. He's yeah. been exceptional this land. J.O., especially in the first two minutes or so of that first game, was phenomenal and uh yeah no i totally agree with what you said there i think you know it is up to away and hasco to step up i think hasco just needs to cool it down a bit i think he's trying to play as quickly as possible and, and giving it 100 percent in the wrong way if that makes any sense you know he wants to be on the move and hitting things all the time instead of maybe just sitting back waiting for the ball to come to him once or twice as well what i would say is he's playing as fast as he possibly can but without hitting the ball in a given direction that makes sense yes. he's just smacking yes. it for the yes. sake of smacking it he made one good pass in playing that game to Haskell and they created a really good scoring opportunity out of a quality chance and they didn't score yes, but yes. anyway we're into game two into game two and a fairly even kickoff once again away winning the kickoff exact same as game one in fact Chow with a big big free jump there he didn't quite get what he was looking for we'll see what this blue team can respond with here Panda gets a second ball hey. to but Haskell with a big win there and can just sends it back the other way Chow off the wall can't get a double touch of carry down Looks to tee up Panda for this one. That's a great pass, and Dan oh. is there. And that is a brilliant bit of team play from this orange side. So, <laughs> this whole play came from a Cannes misplay where he missed the ball completely. But Panda makes a really good touch. Awayo doesn't show him enough respect. And then Dan, again, brilliant finishing. Great positioning in the midfield. You can see why yeah. he's at that 1700 rank with these players. Panda, you have to give him credit for the pass. No one else could have executed that, yeah, I don't think. That no, was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff from the pair of them. And we'll see now what this blue side can respond with. Of course, they took the lead in the last game. So different surroundings, different context here. Trying to get the goal back in this game. And that shot of Hayes, both away and Joe there. Well, luckily for them, sails wide up the goal as well. Good touch from Dan into the centre. Joe is there to take it away one more time. We'll see what he can follow up with. Looks for a touch away really from and a bump too. Where's his teammates? Very, very well done, but no one to back him up. Away touch into the corner there. Grabs boost, looking to get it past Cannes as he backed off that wall very cleverly indeed and then maybe didn't even jump with that Panda good read good read there from Hasco and that's a good challenge shoot from Joe Hasco gets there but it's straight into the path of Carrick Dan away off the wall what can you do here into the corner it goes surely an orange player is equal to that and it is Cannes this time around Dan's missing that 
He's made a lot of poor touches on defense. His offense has been really good, but he needs to work on the defense. He's missed almost every ball that's come into the center this game. So. I was going to say, this game it seems a bit, you know, tamer than the last one. A, ta a tad yes. slower, maybe. Yes. Oh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think the guys are sussing each other out. I think the Orange team know that they have enough to get the win, which is really all they need out of this series. And uh, they'll hopefully be eyeing up bigger things later on in this tournament. But for right now, they got three minutes left to survive. That's a great touch from Carrick Dan. Just off the inside of the crossbar, Kant finishes it. Brilliantly done from him. You can hear the celebrations off to the side. Very, very well done from them, but the blue team, all at sea oh, here. Oh, Hasco, man. Like, again, it's him again on the defense. I feel so sorry for the guy, but like, Dan hit a great, like, it was like a shot. But it wasn't. No, like it yeah, was it was yeah, going yeah, on target, yeah. but you know, I hit that corner and um Kans has finally done something useful on the field today. <laughs> well, well said I suppose. But we move on anyways. Joe, big center for his team and Haskell coming at that from very much the wrong angle, it has to be said. Oh no! <laughs> oh well. He wasn't having a bad series, but unfortunately he's not done himself any favours at all with this touch here. To be honest, I'm not sure how much you even knew about that one. I'm not sure what the comms are like on the blue team, but um, they're very pushed. They're pushed up really high a lot of the time um, when they don't have the ball, and when they have the ball, they're not pushed up high at all. It's very strange. I'm not sure what they're doing, to be honest. Yeah, well, we'll see what they can make out of this game with over half of it left to play. Joe with a clear out, but straight into Panda. Let's go out to the corner, and Panda once again is there, ready to retrieve it. Oh, he gets it past one. Can he get it past two? Does not. Can't. Big miss there, and Dan's in a little bit of trouble here, but it's a good touch out wide onto his own backboard. Panda just ahead of Hasco there on that occasion. I thought maybe he left it too long. Oh, but he so close. You should look for the pass there, um, forehead, in my opinion. Uh, Jo had a uh, way open on the midfield, and he could have sniped him, and uh, he took the shot instead, and he didn't even hit the target, so big miss. Uh, big lunge there from Hasco. I really don't think he needed that one. Jo, of course, coming back to sweep up. Oh, beautiful. Can. What a good shooting opportunity, but unfortunately that one has come and gone. Quick as he can react. Go away of here, unsure of what to do as Joe gets it out towards Hasco. Panda, the touch in field, but it's not going to help his team too much as Kans goes up for that one. Does well as occasion. Can away of get Anton on it? Dan though, equal to it. The two Fenix going head to head there. Kans knocking it away onto the wall. Gets a second touch into the corner. And Joe's all at sea here. Panda with a great shot right into that top corner. Very very well done from him. And Wayo should no respect to Cans here. I know it's Cans, but you can't just turn on your opponent like that. Um, and Cans just hits it off the corner, does the Pittsburgh Knights pass off the corner into the middle of the field, and even no matter what level it's at, you can score goals on that. And Panda with a good finish in the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very, very good finish from Panda there. Makes it 4 0 now with just under two minutes to go. It's a big ask for this blue team to get back into it, but there is time. We have seen Stranger Things. We had a five minute overtime in a previous game Kans before. Just made a save. I never thought I'd see it. <laughs> Moving on into the game, Hasco with a big clear. Joe, oh, he wanted to go for that one, but backed out of it there. Cans with a big clear off his own backboard. Dan might be able to latch onto this, you know. Hasco touching off to the wall there. Dan can't quite get the midfield touch that he wanted. Panda looking for a pinch off this backboard. That's very nicely done. And Cans not able to react to the play there as we move on a minute approaching on this game. As Joe. Challenge into the middle away. Yes. That, first. that might be a target, you know. And that's a great goal from this blue side. So, Pat, one of Panda's weaknesses is he thinks he's faster than everyone, no matter what the issue is. And uh, you can't beat someone who's already on the wall, no matter how fast you are. And he just disrespected away over there, and away will punish him first. It's a really good finish by him, and that will do his confidence the world of good. Yeah, moving on in this tournament, if nothing else, that is a very, very nice finish from him. And good to see this blue side showing some promise. Here we go, Joe with a big center. Here's anyone there. Away with there again for the second. Oh, oh, he should have scored that. He should have scored it just oh, after I said he had confidence. It was open. Yeah. It was gaping. The guy who's been playing with cans too much with that finishing. <laughs> big, big save from Carrick Dan. That's going to be Haskell with a big, big miss. And that is just going to bounce over the goal. I was certain that was in, as was half the lobby. Panda waiting for a touch in middle. It's a good challenge from Haskell this time around. Let's see what the blue team can make out of this game with 30 seconds left to go. Coming up on everyone's screen, so that's a great touch of Panda. Hasco, looks like he was struggling a bit there, Hasco said, but he gets away with it. Hasco once again touches it on. Yeah, looking for a way, but the touch is way too light here. Panda's up again for the second time. And Hasco with a good block there, and Kans came in for the shot. Kans, big miss from him. Hasco touches it wide, and the orange team is going to slow down the clock here as this game 
Dribbles to a halt with Joe looking for one last chance, but that is going to be it, surely. And that's a great dunk from Cairns, actually. Finish out the game and the series 2-0 to Candemonium, Oscar Elga. Yeah, um, in the end, um, Chuyo's only managed to score a goal per game. One goal each game. <laughs> Nice, lovely. Um, so yeah, they only managed to score a goal per game in that yeah. series. You're never going to win a series if you can only score a goal a game. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes there. Um, yeah, Dan stepped up big in game one. Panda stepped up big in game two. And that was it. J.O. tried what he did in game one, but they just couldn't get it together. And in the end, um, yeah, just so unfortunate for them. But they'll drop to the lower bracket, and that will set up a nice game between them and our esports later, I think. Yeah, uh, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm just reading through some of the uh, some of the chat here. See what people are saying. Audio is a bit messed up. We can try to turn it up a bit, but we have to be careful. There's a lot of a lot of background noise. We've got to be careful of too. So uh, we'll see what we do. That's pretty good. That's pretty good actually. I think they can hear us clearly enough there. You think? Um, audio probably. is fine. Who said it wasn't? I'm just can. reading up here. I can't read. That's actually really dark. I can't uh, even read this go. person's name because it's in blue. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there we go. It's the same person up there. Uh, <laughs> annoying prick. It's probably shallow uh, so. <laughs> Um, it's it's a, it's an interesting setup with lad. Everyone's talking around us. We have uh, we have Carrick Dan here. He's got nothing on, so I may as well jump in for an interview with the man behind the Orlai Weekly, of course, wrapping the ESL T-shirt or the hoodie. I am surely the, yeah. the Orlai cap. Um, good game for you. Good game for the team. Couple oh, of yeah. nice goals in the first game, especially. Yeah, no. Look here, the game plan always was try and keep the ball out of Cal Kansas' hands. If we if me and Panda can uh, you know play around that deficit, we're always going to do well. So. Basically, you know, Kans is we're just we're, we're viewing him as a bit of a handicap. Uh, right, right, right. Season. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we're trying to play around that. <laughs> okay, before you see, I'm shit, right? Uh, okay, no, no, yeah, we, yeah. We were My hands you. are freezing. I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Kans, Kans is a great player, don't worry. Yeah. Um, no, I have to admit there were a couple of uh, arguable misplays there from Kans, but I mean, did it did it get to you too much? Did it affect you how you played, or have you? adjusted around that and the tactics based around those kind of things um i mean not no i think can's played fine to be honest i think yeah uh, i think it's a very mental game rocket league and i think that's one of Kansas' biggest problems but uh right okay after uh, after you know a first good series i think he's gonna pick up nicely and uh we're probably gonna win this thing i don't know yeah uh, good to hear good to hear and uh panda you had a couple of very nice moments well a couple of brilliant passes in field and one very very nice finish into the top corner good game from yourself um how'd you feel it went it was good. Um, can't had a few, can't had a few backflips early on. <laughs> Dan was bet, missing a bet, lot on the backboard as well. I bet six backflips to be honest. Um, I just played back, back played defensive. You know, we have not to lose really. Yeah. Um, Enrong, Enrong was pointing out as well that yeah, you did play more defensive. Were you finding that difficult? Maybe is that the two boys were missing before? the ball in game one a lot. Or uh, was that was, back? Yeah, was that? <laughs> But was that a premeditated move that you'd play a bit more defensively, or did it no, just sort of happen much. naturally? Nah, I just adapted, really. Like, okay. You know, from so lucky and for so long, you know, you see your teammates <laughs> missing the ball, you just kind of sit back, do a Walshy on it, and just play, <laughs> play defensive. Right, okay, yeah, no, fair enough, fair enough. Perfect. Um, talk yeah, to no, later. thank you for your time. That's brilliant. We, what we actually need to do is we need to get the bracket up on screen. That would be ideal, wouldn't it, if we can get that? Can you log into your Discord, perhaps? Or has um, like no. Oh, we don't have that. Um, I could do that, I suppose. Be a bit hard. They look a very awkward on stream, but I suppose we could give it a go. Um, no, we don't want to have it on stream just for us to know who's playing next, I guess. So we know all the brackets progressing. I can get that on my phone. Oh yeah, That's go on, easy. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Then you can talk away there for a moment. Yeah, no bother. Yeah, uh, great game from the guys there. Um, we're seeing it who's up next. I can see the wee vicious lad setting up here of uh, Jakey Classy. And uh, Demox, uh, who is there standing for this tournament alone, uh, setting up here. And then beside me, we have uh, Kip Jaffa. And their third is, of course, Jaffa give me a cheeky wink there as well. And their third is. I've forgotten who the third is. It's a nightmare. Jaffa! Jaffa! Who's your third? Uh, no, your third. Who? Yeah, but who's on the other side? Who? Oh, Pengu, yeah, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. <laughs> I can't see, you're like, there's too many heads in the way. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, Jaffa Kip and Little Dude. I like, I don't know if you can hear that on stream. I said to uh, Jaffa Choice, who's your third, and he said Kip every time, even though Kip is the one sitting closest to me. Um, but yeah, no, it, um, 
we'll see if we get the bracket on stream. I think that might be a little bit ambitious here. Uh, just on the basis that we have to set up the stream and, and rejig a lot of graphics, which is uh, not the end of the world, but it will be not too fun either. Uh, we'll see here how we get going. I'm looking for a cheeky bracket link here. will be dead handy. We'll see how we're getting on. But I have to say, so far, it has been brilliant. Um, we'll see how we get this going. As well, of course, uh, I should definitely say a massive thank you to Insomnia. Uh, in particular, the guys behind, obviously, Insomnia Dublin. It has been a fantastic setup. Um, and the whole event itself is actually very, very good. If anyone's here just on the day, um, there's tons of things to do. A fair few queues, I have to admit, but that's kind of what you expect at these kind of events. And, uh, yeah, very, very well done. Very well set up. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, let's see, we have our bracket here. So what are we at? We're at 12 o'clock. So we have We Vicious versus Purple. And, of course, Purple is the team of... Uh, Jaffa, Kip, and Pengu, like I was mentioning earlier, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, this should be actually a very, very high quality game here. Um, we Vicious, of course, with their, their quote unquote sub, their stand in. Uh, Dmox, um, a very, very good player himself, and arguably the best player on that team. But of course, I'm I'll be looking out for, uh, for some team chemistry now between Jakey and Classy. Um, they are part of a team themselves, they, they played together a lot and in tournaments and all the rest of it so that should be uh, something special to watch there might actually be another game going ahead as we speak so I might just actually drag us into that one before uh, we start this game here between Purple and uh, We Vicious I think that game is of Mug, Fusher and Vert up against it looks like uh, Little Dude, Clover and uh, Lucre are the three on that team there. I'll see if we can get us into that game because that should be up and running as it sits. Um, the the guys have kind of we have a staggered approach here when the game's accidentally. And here we go. So I to be honest with you, I haven't a clue what game this is, but we'll get it up and running nonetheless, just to uh, just to keep you guys entertained. Two 0 to uh, this orange side here of of course Mug is not Mug. Mug is now Dylan. I actually <laughs> I may have forgotten that a second ago. So apologies to him if he's listening back to this one. But well, that's a great pass there from Bushy. You can see this orange team already getting most of the possession and most of the uh, control of the ball and the boost on their side. I mean, let's face it, these guys are difficult to play against no matter who you are. Uh, so we'll see what they can do. Clover looking for a pass there. And this is, of course, his first Irish land. Uh, big respect to him. He came over on the plane today and I think he said his plane. Oh yeah, use the back force. Yeah, use the back force on that one. Um, yeah, Clover, I think he said, I can't remember if he said he woke up or said his flight was, no, no, it must have been he woke up at about half five this morning uh, just to be here for about nine o'clock. So massive, massive kudos to him. Um, so we'll see how he plays. <laughs> a bit of, bit of sleep deprivation may be involved in that one. But it doesn't seem to be getting to him so far earlier, not in the early stages of this tournament. Good pass in the middle there from Luker, but didn't work out into anything. Vert looking for centre into Fusher. They look for the pinch. And nearly could be something very special. Big clear from Luker, actually. That has them under a little bit of trouble. But Fusher, just so, so quick in those situations. Able to recover and get back in time. No ball at all. A little dude, of course, a number me another member of the, uh, the Fennec group here that we got going on at Insomnia today. Um, it's not exactly an inclusive club, but there are still uh, still an octane dominated tournament, which I'm not too surprised by in the slightest. Luca, big touch out middle, but Fusher reads that so so well. Mo Dylan's coming off the backboard, nearly, nearly gets the touch you're looking for. Fusher maybe a bit put out then <laughs> that Dylan stole his touch there. But either way, we play on with a minute and a half left. Dylan with another big, big touch into the middle, as no one from the orange team is able to recover. As I'm rejoining out by Enron, I have to admit, I'm not too sure which game this is. I'm assuming game two. This um, is game two, yeah. They won the first this, game 4 3. This is, of course, the other game while we we'll wait for Purple and we Vision to set up. Yes, exactly. Uh, so uh, I have no idea what's going on. It looks like they're freestyling very well. Yeah, yeah, no, they are indeed. I mean, they are definitely going for a more spectacular goal at this point. This blue side coming out with some, one or two decent plays their own, but mainly counter tracking things and things like that. Clover killing himself that he didn't get that one on target. There's a big, big chance there for him in regards to what this blue team are feeding off of. 
here. So obviously he had a touch in little for his teammates. He just did Luca with a shot, but Bert there had it covered all day long. And with a chance of his own, it's a good pop up to centre. All three of them are up. A very, very ambitious. Oh, plays little dude, man. His touches are so bad. Like, oh, he just gave the ball away. Like, they actually could have scored there. Like, Luca would have yeah. had the ball with an easy dribble and they would have scored. And little dude decides to bang it up against the wall for some reason, you know? That's the difference between quality law and just GC. Yeah, no, it was, it was unfortunate uh, decision making there from little dude. But of course, we play on with 20 seconds left. Cover with a good center again. And little dude with a shot, but very right in front of it. And it looks like this clock's going to sit down with Luke. We're just teeing it up nearly for this orange side. None of them able to get there, though. The Busher, that's just on to that clear. Luca has to go up once again. And very, very nice double touch off his own backward. But it's not going to do a whole lot for him as Vert gets a nice double touch himself from the corner. Surely when the spot hits the ground, that will be it. That will be game and series. And there we go. That is the team of Busher, uh, Mug and Vert. Oh, getting their first win of the tournament, I believe. Yes. Indeed, that's the first win. So they're now true to the winner's bracket final in the uh, Group A. So that means they're guaranteed top six. Yeah. Uh, which totally was not expected in any way. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we're ready now to see the game between Purple and We Vicious. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a cracker. We're looking at the fourth seed team versus the fifth seeded team. Yes. Um, so this should be a tight game, we hope. I'll just read in chat, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, um, for me, the uh, big question mark here is uh, the guy uh, beside me, Kip. Big Kip Aruni. Uh, big Kip Aruni. Uh, we have to see how he plays. This is one thing I love about Lan is the double headset approach here. You see Kip's got it. He's got the earphones in, presumably he's got Discord on his phone or something like that, and he's got the headset on for the in-game sound as well. It's just, a, it's just a winning combination, that one, I feel. <laughs> Well, let's, let's wait and see. I hope so for him. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a big question mark for me. He's the only player that's not like above the 1600 level consistently. Um, so it's going to be a question mark on how he can play here. Pengu's been very questionable as well in the 3v3 environment. And Jaffa has not been anywhere near the level we'd expect of him in a 3v3 environment. So he needs to really pick up the performance here. On the other side of flip things then, um, we have one uh, newbie. We've got two basically noobs on each side. We've got Kip. Yeah. Kip and uh, Classy have never played LAN before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Classy and, and Kip obviously both played a game now at this stage. Uh -huh. So they both have experience, but this yes. is this is the big game for both teams. Whichever team wins goes onto the other side of the group. They avoid. <laughs> the way I look at it is, no matter if they get to the final in their winner's group, they're not going to win. So they avoid Fogart, basically, which gives them a chance to get to the final. Yeah, that is quite, quite a big deal. Um, I was going to hop up and see if they're ready to go. It looks like one or two are sitting around in free, free play, so we'll just see what is going on here if we get this game underway. Can we get the game set up? Yeah, you do that there. So, um, hey guys, how is everyone in the chat today? Hello, VGF, Jada Prey, how are we? How is everyone? Hello to you, how are you? I'm lucky the Rochdale guys couldn't come along. Uh, but for me today, the big question mark here will be Kip. Uh, on the other side, though, what we wish is we have a few question marks over the, uh, the chemistry between, say, the Jake and Classy duo, as opposed to with the Demox. Um, but we'll see how they go. Uh, mentality will be a big thing for these guys as well. And yeah, hello, Alux. Unfortunately, you weren't here. That's a yikes, isn't it? Yeah, it's unfortunate the two G2 Dutch guys couldn't come in the end. Uh, bracket on screen would be lovely. It would be, but you can just find it on the Discord, I guess, because it's there. Just have it open on a second monitor, just look at it. The bracket will be updated on um, live, Jada Prey. We're still using the same sheet. So it should be there somewhere. Dutch team incoming, yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah, this will be the last game I'm casting before getting lunch, and then you'll get lunch after that, I assume. So we'll swap between games. We can get someone else in. Yeah, sounds good. We'll drag, we'll drag Dan in or someone. I know how much he loves the spotlight and the mic and the, the public speaking. So, well, we'll get someone about. Yeah. Grab one of your NSG teammates. Yeah, exactly. Well, they'll probably be playing at that stage, but we'll see how it goes anyway. <laughs> Hello, Messi. How are you? Oh, um, okay. so we're almost ready to go. I think. All right. Pretty much, they're all getting in, they're all joining up the lobby now, so we should do the same. Capitals. And, uh... Capitals. Caps. Okay. Capital letters! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people, some people, you just can't beat it. Uh, here we go, we got all hey. the wee... <laughs> <laughs> we got all the wee vicious guys in anyways, and ourselves. We're, We're missing Pengu, I think. Pengu, indeed. And there we go, he's joined in. So we should be all good to go. Yeah, we're good, yeah. Views are all in, I'm happy. Alright, here we go for it, take us away. Yeah, a big, big match here. Maybe not the absolute clash. Thank you. 
<laughs> Maybe not the absolute clash of titans that we would be, you know, expecting later on in the tournament, but a very, very high level of contest here for this matchup. And we'll see how it goes as Demox and Jaffa on the first kickoff. Jaffa once again representing a very long-winded name, but a uh, big effect nonetheless. As Kangu gets off to a firing start there, Kip with a great chance. That's what a save by Jake, but this won't be saved. It is saved! And it is again, classy! This wee vicious lock coming out with unbelievable defense to start things off. Yeah, Jaffa had an amazing kickoff to win off of Demox's 4 1 at the start. So they're going to have to pick that one up on the kickoffs to be sure. But um, Classy with an amazing save, and uh, already the man from Scotland is showing up big here in incredible. Ireland. Incredible. Absolutely incredible here. Kip, nice touch into the corner, away from his opponents. Jaffa now looking to make a slow play out of this. Gets a pass one. Pengu's up for that one. Can't quite get it on target though. A very, very nice chance again for this blue side. And it looks like they've got bags of creativity, if nothing else. Absolutely. Pengu now linking up well with Jaffa already. We've seen it a couple of times. We just have not been able to get out of their own half at all at the start of this game. And we're nearly a minute into us with a good clear there from Classy finally. Kip with a, not a good touch. It's going to be up to Pengu here to put this away. Uh, very, very well done again of the combo of Jaffa and Pengu. Able to clean up that mess there. Two of them up on the back foot, but it works out as Pengu fires that one away. And Demox, well, his best effort is just to knock it straight in the air. But he gets a second touch off the wall. Jaffa gets it past one, but not past Jakey. What can he do here off his own wall? A nice pinch off the ceiling, but Pengu's wise to it. Up so early for that one. And straight into the path of Jaffa as Not well. a good very touch, very Jaffa. Well. Good bump there at Off and Kip. This is going to give Pengu a great chance. Pengu with a chance. Oh, oh. Big, big touch there. Classy, classy again. Keep it up. And this is a very, very good and strong defense from the Wee Vicious guys. Oh, no. But you have to ask, how long can they keep making these brilliant saves? As long as they need, I think. As long as you put Classy on that defense, I think they're going to be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's playing amazing at the moment on defense. May first maybe, first land. maybe so, but that does feel like a bit of a gamble. Jaffa just touches it safe and wide. Looking for a double touch, and he gets it too. But Classy, equal to what was going on. And Pengu just casually glides that one around the world. Pass one, pass two, in fact. And it does very, very well. to dunk Jakey there, but that might be all he gets out of it game really really started at a hot fiery pace and we're still there no dropping off from either team as we move on into two minutes game that's a big miss i haven't said that that's a big what a save stays out kip with an unbelievable save how did that stay out no one will know Pengu made a huge miss but kip coming up clutch with an absolute wonder save i have to say uh, brilliantly brilliantly done to see big saves from both teams now I have to get some action replays at the end can't wait for those and classy with a big chance to as he just hits the crossbar on that one. Double commit. Jaffa knocks it out wide. There's no one there to follow it up though. It's a real shame. It's classy. Looking for Jakey, I think, but realize Jakey's going back the other way. Let's see what he can do here. Jakey, good touch into the middle. Demox is there. Can't get it ahead of Jaffa though. Gets the demo instead. Kip looked like he was on course to win that one and then backs out of it. Classy with a good chance, but Pengu, the 1v1 specialist himself, equal to that one on this occasion. Jaffa, Jaffa. big miss from Jaffa. He's got to get these touches. A very, very big Pengu, miss. what Pengu, a save! Once again, playing out of his mind in this series. Both teams pulling out some really big stops and clutch moments here. Jakey looking for, for the double. He might have it on, but Pengu takes it away from him as early as possible. Takes it away from his own teammate too as well. Good touch into the middle, away from Classy though, and that's going to be Jakey's problem to deal with. As he gets it up into the air, look, gets one touch, gets two, and gets a third. That is brilliant stuff from Jakey. Man from Carlo showing up big here. It's Moffley. Same thing. <laughs> Great double touch. He's after putting the team in the back back there now for the last minute. And he's done really, really well with a nice double touch there. But um, yeah, it's the positioning. It's the double commit from uh, Jaffa and Pengu. Um, they just need to stop that. They need to come better. I don't know if they're coming, but they need to come better than that. Yeah, well, we'll see if they can change it up and up their game in this minute and a half that's left. Get that equalizing goal that they desperately need. Pengu with a chance here. Knocks it straight into the path of Jakey though. We'll see what Classy can do. Knocks it away, out into the corner towards Jakey. It's a great interception there from Jaffa. I reckon he was fully aware of the stakes, but it's not a good follow-up. And Pengu, once again, really sorting his team out. Oh! Great big from Jaffa. Can't get it past Demox though. No, he's missing that. As we play on, a minute left. Big space this in the is midfield. a big chance for Jakey here. Knocks it straight on target. And Pengu, once again, equal to it. Yeah, big miss there um, from Kip again. He needs to just get into the game a little bit more. He had a very good start to the game, but he's getting a little bit of class in terms of speed now. They need to play him more aggressively on offense, if you get me. They need him to like kind of ball chase. Um, but yeah, he's not, taking clear lessons there from uh, someone else, I think. <laughs> Maybe so. Kip, up for this one. Oh! oh! What a dunk! 
What a dunk from Kip. Take a bow. I don't know how much he knew about this, but it is brilliant nonetheless. It's poor touch by Classy. It's straight into him. He knows where he's landing as well. He knows he needs to clear it off to the side, but he doesn't show respect. And Kip, I'm telling you, he's had a good game so far. You know, he's had a good game. So uh, well, that is brilliant. And at a crucial time too, within the last minute of the game, they get the equaliser. We could easily, easily see an overtime in this. What a pass! Great this pass. is ace! Woo, woo, woo! Here we go. This blue team really coming out here. And again, I said it at the start of the match, bags of creativity. What Big a fake pass. there from Kip. Jaffa puts it on a plate for Penkin. All starts with Kip taking the boost in the corner. Jaffa with a phenomenal pass. You get Jaffa on offense, the team ticks, all right? Yeah. And Penguin with a brilliant finish. He's a twos main, but I'm telling you, he's, he's brilliant. It's two kickoffs now that Demox has lost, I believe. And yeah. it's costing him the, the, the game in the midfield. Sorry, not Demox. It's the two, two kickoffs that we Vicious have lost, and it's costing him. Yeah, yeah. No, very, very good point. Demox fires one on target, and it looks like we're nearly getting there. But Pengu, once again, the defensive rock on his team, and taking it all the way oh into my the corner. <laughs> just doing what he wants. It's Pengu's world. We just. Uh oh, Jeff is going to get beaten here by Jake. Oh, that's a great touch, too, but it's wide, unfortunately, for him. Classy, one last chance, keeps it up, and Pengu gets it. Not a good touch, not a good touch. Jakey knocks it onto the post. Oh, Demox has thrown it. Oh. And that's going to be it. That's going to be game one. A fantastic game from Team Purple in the blue. Pengu really, Pengu. really <laughs> coming out with a great performance here. Pengu, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We haven't seen him in a long time out of land, but he steps up big here, and that's a big carry from him. And, um... Yeah, the scoreboard doesn't lie here with the performances of the players. Um, yeah. Demox is a really good player. He's played. He's gotten to a final before. He needs to step up here. Yeah. I'm not sure if he trusts his teammates, but yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't know much how he's been able to practice with his teammates, but it looks like whatever they've done hasn't really paid off the minute. You can see in the same way that Pengu and Jaffa link up incredibly well. Jakey and Classy link up very, very well. And Demox is kind of just trying to fill in the gap, but but missing on occasion. Um, Great performance, and at the end of the day, you have to say it does take two good teams to make a good match. But big, big win, and you have to say if anyone was going to get that winner, it was deservedly Pengu. Don't know if I call it a good game, but it was uh, an entertaining game, that's for sure. We'll see. Game two. Game two, we'll see. It's a big win from Classy there off of that kickoff. Pengu knocks it wide and away, just in between the two orange players there. Kip taking off the corner. Can he get the oh. touch? He does that brilliantly done, and Jaffa with a shot. Just like Pengu. The Pengu follows up no. into the crossbar. And his blue team, like they did in the first match, starting this one off so, so quickly. Great interception in the midfield there by Kip. Um, Classy was away with that one. Yeah. He just couldn't quite get the touch. Yeah, D-Box though with a big hit. Kip to slow up to that one, and Pengu swipes across in time once again. But like we saw, yeah, this this uh, blue team coming out with brilliant chances in the first minute alone. Oh, that's a big miss by Kip. Kip. Oh, they, they've got a demo there in the defense. Jake can just get this in. Great play by Pengu again. He's really putting the steam on his back. Pengu, though, playing incredibly when it comes to the defensive positioning and all the rest of it. Jaffa now with a chance here. Touches it around the corner, off the ceiling, and really past Demox and Classy. Let's see if he can play it in centre for Pengu here. I think he just ran out of boost and innovation there. Kip, though, with a good chance. Looks to the corner this time around. Classy, though, equal to it. Jaffa with a great dunk at Demox. Oh, Demox nearly missed that. just getting to that. I don't think Jake had a lot of confidence in him getting no, there. No, I don't think so. You can tell already they're having trust issues. Kip looking for Pengu on that occasion, doesn't get there. Goes again though, and actually kind of scuffs the pass, unfortunately for him. Jaffa with a good chance to free slips into that one. Slightly unnecessary. Yeah. Point made. Play, playing too much of future, I think. <laughs> Maybe so. Classy though, with a good touch on that. That blue goal was totally empty there. I know, it was that so was, open. That was quite surprising. Oh, that might be in, is it? No, just, no, Jake just got it there. Just squeeze it right, and Jakey does well to get it away. Gets it past one, and Jaffa going to be up to him to knock it away. Kip though, backs it off. The pass doesn't really happen. A good touch from Pengu, but Jaffa can't do anything about that on this occasion. And the game stays at nil all, actually. I'm still surprised at that with the amount of chances. The defense had. from Wee Vicious has not been very good, in my opinion. They're making a lot of errors. Pengu's got this. Oh, oh, oh. Jacob. there we go. So, very, very well. let's, let's go back a second. Demox and Jake are both on the backboard. One of them needs to take a decision to go to net. They can't both be on the backboard. This is why this chance happens. It's communication. Yeah. They're not coming. Someone needs to pick themselves up on that team and get them going. Because I'm telling you, this purple team are looking like a good team at the moment. Yeah, they really, really are looking like strong contenders. Anyways, Jaffa up so, so early once again for the kickoff. Classy though. Does well to clear the way. And Demox is up for that one too. Just misses the touch. Thank you though. He can't do much more than that, unfortunately, for his team. As Jakey just He's missing. slightly taps oh. it in the air. Classy gets it away. And that's a big double coming in from the blue team. Both of them getting the touch, but neither very effective. 
Massey with a shooting opportunity too as that goes over Pengu. And that's a great finish for Jakey to take the save away. Just punished there for triple commits, double commits and all that. And Pengu just not able to get boosts. There was no communication there from Jaffa or Pengu to say who's going to go for that ball. And that cost them there in the end. If maybe Pengu had gotten a touch, maybe they would have been told to do something. So yeah, not sure what's happening in that other series over there. But anyway, or wherever that is. Yeah. So 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one, and we are all level once again. Pengu looking for the double, can't get it on this occasion. And it's a great touch too from Demox. Takes it away from that blue team altogether. Gets it around Jaffa too. Jaffa makes sure to get it away from his goal as far as possible. Hip. Looking to just play it in field. It doesn't really work out for him. And Pengu in an awkward spot as we've seen so many times, but recovers so, so well to stay behind the ball. Jaffa looking for that clear and gets a bump on Classic for his troubles. It's going to help out Kip there to get that clear away. That's a this big chance. Pengu needs to be up for this. Oh, it's a big miss. And suddenly this blue team looking good very, save. very unconvincing. Yeah, no, they're not good on the defense. They're struggling for boost. As long as we vicious control that midfield, they've got a great chance here and take this game. Uh, another poor pass though again, not communicating there again, Jake just puts it into the corner, gives away possession and all of a sudden now a player like Pengu might have boost here. Yeah, not on that occasion but the ball falls to Jaffe, you fancy him to make something oh, out of this. <laughs> but Jakey on this occasion plays it off the backboard, easy as you like. And Diamox with a touch in centre too, Pengu though, up so early and it's a brilliant, brilliant play for him once again. Yeah, big miss there from Classy, he's starting to struggle a little bit now with the ball. Kip is also struggling as well I think, um, starting into, <laughs> turning into a bit of a 2v2 here. Jake oh, now though. Well, that could have been a big chance for Jake. Oh, a big chance for Classy. Missing, missing a lot. Yes, it was. Demox definitely stepping up a little bit more than he did last game. Anyways, not hard. The ball out of the corner, Classy gets the flick, but can't get the flick over to Pengu. Let's see what Jaffa can do. Here's a great save there from someone on that orange team. And Classy looks to go again, gets it around, Kip, but not a, actually it's a good dunk on Pengu too. Good touch off from Jaffa. Fake challenges Demox. Let's Demox win that challenge because he knows he can't beat him now. Falls kindly to Jakey though. There was actually just so much happening in this game. It was so hard to keep up. Let's see Classy here. Classy not confident. Balls he didn't go for the ball. Back into the corner, but it's okay as the, the blue team didn't really want to push up on that one. Okay, it's up to Jaffa here now. Jaffa needs to make a big save. Can he make the touch? And he does. Showing proper quality there now from him. It's a great pass in from Classy. They're starting to come out with demos now. Yeah, they are. There's a big chance for Classy hey! as he gets the finish there. And that surely is going to bring us into game three. Yeah, just a lack of awareness there from Pengu in the corner. Um, and Kip didn't calm that, obviously, that, you know, he was coming in to take him out. And there we go. That, if that's the only way they can score, that's the only way you can score. You've got to get those goals. You know, and a demo will definitely yeah. open up that defense. Yeah, but it's about being there. And it's about being there to make the finish. And if there's one thing you could credit class for, it's his positioning. It has been very good most of this game. The odd miss, sure, but he was there. Got the finish. And that oh, is a brilliant finish. Again, from the same man, four <laughs> seconds later. Yeah. Um, just watching. Okay. Yeah, he struggled to get up there. I think that, I didn't think that was a completely difficult read. I thought it was actually going to come down initially, but I didn't think it was that difficult once it actually had bounced the way it had. Uh -huh. But um, it was just a little bit slow up to that, and all of a sudden now it's 3-1. This game is out of sight. We just have this. We're going to game three, I think. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. 26 seconds left. I think it's a big, big ass. That's if going to get two goals out of nowhere. That ball sailing back towards the blue half as well. Jaffa, what can you do out of the corner here? Uh, works out very well from the Pengu. Doesn't go up for that all too well. Kip's got a great chance here. Great chance here. One v one against Classy. They can't get it over him. And Demox up so so early for that. Beats Pengu to it. That is going to be game surely as that ball just bouncing around. Last time, and Jakey keeps it up. He wants one more. He doesn't care. But Jaffa shuts it down. That is game two to the Orange team of Weavish. Yeah, they stepped up big in that game the last minute. They had a lot of pressure for about two minutes, and uh, Purple just couldn't keep up. Um, their biggest thing is they need to get pressure on the ball. Um, my biggest concern at the moment is obviously Kip, you can see in the scoreboard. He needs to be pushed out more. They need to like tell him with confidence, go for the ball, just go for the ball, just go for the ball, just go yeah. after it. Yeah, yeah, go after it with confidence, make a challenge on the ball and let us handle the defense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I think they should do um, because they're good enough to open up from mistakes from Classy uh, and Jake uh, and Gmox. So that's what they need to do here. Um, but yeah, for me, that's, that's the biggest issue at the moment with them. Um, for Wee Vicious, they need to keep making those demo plays. That opened up a goal there easily enough. Um, and yeah, just start peppering the backward more because as we've seen now, Purple has struggled with that backward defense. Yeah, that's a very, very good point. And I think the one thing I'm impressed about is the amount of chances and the amount of shots in particular that Orange team got off in comparison to their last game. Especially in the first couple of minutes of that first game, it really didn't look like it was going anywhere. And now we're here and they've done very, very well for themselves. Game three, it's a big one. 
momentum. You have to say just about only vicious to favor. No, no, it's heavily just in their favor. I would say. I know it's seven shots to seven, but like. We Vicious were pretty dominant for the last minute and a half. Purple couldn't get on the ball, and that was a big issue for them. Don't do Jen's bottom, man. <laughs> no, I'm just confident enough to do a spectator. As we see, Kip getting us underway here in this third and final game of this series. As you said, it's a big one. This is the winner of this basically doesn't have to play Fugit. So, the big oh, one. Oh, he nearly really scored that. Jesus. As Team Ox gets a very unconventional clear, but effective nonetheless. As we play on with 35 seconds of play. That was very strange there for me. Yeah. There was a big cut there on the defense. Um, you can tell. They need to keep doing that though. They need to keep sending Kip to the ball so Kip gets confident. Because that's the biggest thing. This is going to be a goal here. Unless. Yeah, good play by Jaffa. Very smart. Probably looked around him. Big miss here from Kip. He's very off with his aerials today. This is going to be a double by Jake. Oh, he left that very slow. And of course, Pangu brilliant in them 1v1 situations. So I'd say he backed himself to save that one all the way. You can tell there's a crap load of nerves here for you because there's a lot of misses from every oh, yeah. single player in the field. Like, there's a, like, this is like, the first game was actually not bad in terms of the quality, but oh, this game has been very poor so far. That, they need to step up all that players. That was a good shot and a good save from Jaffa. I haven't said all that. But I do agree with you, the pace has slowed down. Everyone doesn't know what to do anymore. It's all really up in the air. It's all hanging in the balance. Speaking of which, Cassie hanging in the air for so long. Still can't make connection with that ball, though. Jakey. Gets it away on this occasion, but Jaffa is No, it's not a good wide. touch. It's not a good touch. I knew as soon as he hit that. He's putting his team under pressure with a lot of his pre-flips and stuff. Oh, if, if only Kip could have got that middle. Oh, there's a lot of bumping and, and just messing around going on here. No one's really sure if he was following this. Kip, though, claims it in that orange corner. Can he put it center? Good fake by Kip. Gets it past one, but the team is there to just hinge it sort of to safety. You can see here's the blue team holding onto the ball in that orange half. Really oh, Kip, what a pass! Oh, though. Jake, really good defending by Jake. He recognized it. Yeah. They're giving Kip a lot of time on the ball now, and this is what I told you. If Kip can get time and he can get confidence, I'm sure he can do something. Yeah, he's done much, much better this game. More involved, you have to say, is Jake with a great center. Great touch but by Kip. Kip. Touches away, takes that chance away from Glassy. And again, this blue team This is open. Thank you. Loving the slow oh, play, looking for a fancy flick, and I don't think any of that was necessary, to be honest. But Jaffa with a great touch, and I don't know where that ball's going, but not in the orange net for now. As we play on, nearly half this game played, and still Big miss from Jake. no goals to be found. Yeah, they're struggling for boost here, though. Our uh, purple. And Classy's got a lot of time here on the ball. Oh, that's a very bad play there by Pengu. He nearly cost himself, he nearly cost his team in the game there. Jake misreading this touch a little bit. Jaffa's going to beat him to this now. But Jaffa went high on the ball. And that goes past the Amox too. Classy in a bit of trouble, but he does very well to get behind it. Oh, well, that's a goal. And that could be a runaway goal. With Jaffa. two minutes left. Classy handed a goal there, really. Jaffa made a big mistake here. He's coming out of defense too quickly. He's not paying attention. He's just, he's not even like centered on the net. He's following behind. They're all in a line on the side of the field, you know? Yeah, They're yeah, not yeah. spreading out enough, and that's an issue here. We have just punished them, and Purple were starting to get a bit of momentum, and it's gone, just like that. Yeah, well, very, very well done from those guys nonetheless. Jaffa knocks it up high. Can he make amends for his mistake? Looks for the switch off the backboard, but Classy is equal to it. Thank you. Looking for a centre that Demox just swats away. And we play on here with a big chance here for Orange, but no one goes up for it. And Thank you. Gets it away towards Jaffa, but Classy up so, so early for that one. I think he's really starting to recognise where Blue are dangerous. Jaffa. Can't really get to that one, leaves it for Pengu, knocks it high into Double the commit. Top. Classy and Jacob, that's very risky. Demox gets demoed as well for his trouble. But however, we vicious hold on to the ball in that blue half. A big miss from Pengu. Kip bails him out there on that occasion. But this blue team suddenly really struggling just to get the ball out of their own It's because they're boost. They're, they can't. Oh, that's Pengu a with a big miss on defense there. Um, but yeah, like for me, they're struggling with boost. They're struggling with boost, you know? Nah, that's a very, very nice shot from Demox. I don't think I didn't expect that to be on target, and then suddenly it was. That was a big misplay there by Pengu. He just made a misjudgment on the save. Um, but yeah, they're just struggling for boost now, and I told you once, I, I felt like they needed to get the first goal, and that's what they've gotten in every game so far, I think. Yeah. Without the first goal, they're struggling. Whoa, <coughs> Triple big commits, save you know? from Jaffa there nonetheless. Pengu, not much missing. He can't catch the ball on the bounce as he'd like. We'll see here what the blue team can make of this game with a minute left. Really, really don't want to lose this one, I'm sure. But Classy, again, looked like an open goal. And Pengu oh. finds himself in a poor, poor position. And that is going to be 3-0 to Wee Vicious. Yeah, Pengu's starting to throw now, unfortunately. Um, it's another miss by him. He missed the D-Box save. He missed the Classy save. That's two misses now in this game. And 
you know, he's going to be kicking himself. And, yeah, it's just a little bit unfortunate here for them. But they've, they've done a good job. They've taken a game off Wee Vicious, which is certainly more credit than I would have given them for, I think. Um, yeah, they've done, they've done a decent job. Uh, but they, I think they'll be a little bit frustrated now that they wouldn't have been able to win this game, considering how bad Wee Vicious have been. Yeah, I think that's a very good point, especially the way they won that first game as well. I think they would have liked to press on from that. Um, but, you know, that kind of was their, their issue in the first game, is that a lot of it came down to Pengu, and Pengu, you know, hasn't been able to repeat the same performance he gave in the first game throughout the series. Um, Why is that? <laughs> having, having said that, it is a team game, um, and we just have just been really, really good coming into the end of this series. There's a big chance from Demos, which you would have expected to go from him normally. Oh. Massive with a double off the ground. A little bit of salt in the wounds at this point, but very, very nicely done. Say good him. goal. And um, yeah, it's um, not much else to say really about the series. It's done and dusted. It's 4 0. And um, yeah, it's been a good series from the guys there. Yeah. Um, and I'm just I'm glad now that once this series is over, I'm going to run from my lunch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's 12, you know, so. Uh, yeah, well done to these guys, forehead. I might actually run. <laughs> you do you. We see the Perfect. final end of this game now, five seconds. Congrats to Wee Vicious. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. As Demox looks for the pitch of class, he can't make it happen. One second remaining, and this series is over. Demox not catching up to that one. And that is going to be the game to Wee Vicious. Very, very well done to those three. A really good game there. Purple, he has to say, played very well for the most part. You know, again, gave them a really good run for their money at times, but it just wasn't to be. They lose at this one. Of course, that doesn't mean they're out of this tournament at all, but it makes their road much more difficult now at this point. We'll have to see how they get on in the rest of their tournament. I see Jakey here coming around to say well played to, uh, to his opponents and all. Very well done from him. We'll see... Uh, We'll see how the chat is getting on. A lot of support for Jakey here, I'm seeing. And, uh, what's the major? Can I, can I play? I'm uh, afraid not. Sign up's closed quite a few days ago. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, love to see the enthusiasm, though, nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, no, very, very good game from those guys there as they uh, start packing up and moving on. Of course, we wish one of two teams here with proper uh, team, team kits. Oh, sorry, one of three, actually, sorry with Team Kits and Team Jersey and all the rest. We have Wee Vicious here, we have Demonica Esports, and we of course have NSG here. So uh, a good few Jerseys going on, along with of course all the new Orloi merch. Very, very fancy indeed. Um, Anthony there, where can you find the bracket? If you're in the Orloi Discord, um, exclamation mark Discord should get you a link to it. If you're not, check out announcements. One of the more recent ones is a link to the bracket. It's just a Google Doc thing, um, but it's pretty straightforward as to what's going on. Um, yeah. Very, very well done once again to Wee Vicious. Uh, I'll try to check out the other games and how they've been going on. We got Hasco here beside me, ready for uh, ready for his next game. Hasco, how are we feeling? Do you want to come in for a cheeky two second interview? How are we getting on? How are we feeling? I'm uh, feeling strong. I think we can win this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you up against, remind me? Uh, we're against Swift, Dimitrov, and Foolish Pity. Yeah, okay, okay. Scarab Appreciation Association. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. A okay. Game, I do admit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good stuff. And uh, yeah, we saw you earlier in this tournament playing against uh, Candemonium Oscar Yeah. Not maybe not your finest no, showing. It, it didn't go that well. But uh, have you had a team talk? A bit of change of plans for this upcoming game, um, and that we should look out for. Um, I don't know. Like we felt strong in the first thirty seconds of the last game, so okay. We want to go back to that. I, I don't know. Yeah, just just try to get them. We didn't really talk about that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, totally fair, totally fair. Listen, I'll leave you back to go set up and all the rest all of it. Right, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, best of luck. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's been a good day. Good day at Rocket League so far. Still got a long way to go. Final, for anyone's wondering, is expected to be about um, quarter past four. Um, although due to production set up and all this, we can't actually stream it. We'll be recording it and then send it on later on. Um, they have a huge final for a huge stage right for the final which does look incredible it looks absolutely brilliant um, so I can't wait to be over there casting it later on in the day um, we'll see here so we vicious obviously took down purple we saw that one we then have let me see let me see we then have Hibs versus uh, humble Hib 
hill, uh, hillbillies. That's not going to read out. Um, they're going on. I believe that's in the other uh, group. But in this group here, we're going to have uh, Cheerios, which is, of course, Hasco on the team side of me, versus the Scarab Appreciation, so uh, as yeah, Scar Appreciation Association, uh, like he said. Um, playing against so that is, of course, uh, Hasco, Oweu, and Joe versus SPF or Spuff, as he's aff affectionately known. Um, Dimitrov, and I think their third is Foolish Pity. And if nothing else, there's a fair bit of pride to say. What yes, game go. do you want to see next? We have either Scarab versus Cheerios, or we have um, Archer Steve versus Kids, or like the Kids. I think I'll do these last beside me if that's okay. Okay, fine. Uh, Does he know he has a game? But yeah, uh, just to talk a bit more about Insomnia in general. Uh, massive, massive setup here. They've taken over the full main hall of the ODS. It is brilliant to see banners up all around the place and uh, loads of other tournaments going on. So there's, I believe, a Smash tournament happening right beside us. And I think the space that we're using tomorrow is going to be a uh, Overwatch tournament as well, which is uh, it should be very, very cool indeed. I hope those guys enjoy the setup when they come in tomorrow. Are any of Vert's games being streamed? Good question. The answer is probably. Um, we don't have a very strict or particular streaming schedule. Uh, we just kind of pick and choose as to what's most even. He's not, or what would be more exciting game to watch. He's not playing right now, so obviously we don't have anything for him right now. Um, we'll see how we get on. We see Chao is finally making his way around to uh, to join his PC here as we get involved in uh, in this game. The guys should be getting set up soon enough. It should be fairly easy for them to drop in and out. Um, yeah, it's for anyone who's not here, all I can really say is where are you? Um, it's been a brilliant day so far. Brilliant atmosphere. Good laugh all around. And uh, great to see Hasco. Great to see and that curly hair. This could be all I want. That could be all I Yeah, whatever works. Do you want me to come on? Get the game started and then come back to okay. me. How about that? I'll, I'll, I'll start. If you want, <laughs> but just get the game set up first. Um, yeah, of course, I don't know if you heard me there talking to our fabulous uh, tournament admin for the day, John AKA always. Uh, playing an absolute blinder so far. Everything has been rolling smoothly. No one's had technical issues, really, which is um, not exactly a rarity, but a unique one. Use the back, use the back ports. Um, so it's been very, very well run and organised. I have to say a massive thank you to Tommy. They really have, uh, they really have treated us well here so far, and it has been absolutely brilliant to uh, to see, and genuinely a pleasure to be able to say that out loud uh, and truthfully mean it. They are fantastic so far. And sees a, a small sort of a seating area gathered around. We see the likes of uh, of Ross and Mayday and all the rest of them over there. Yeah, yeah. Ross nodding away at me. You coming over us? Oh, here we go. I didn't think you'd say yes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How are we? Um, just you me for a couple of minutes. Obviously, it's had a couple of games earlier on. One game. Uh, oh, just the one, <laughs> was it? Oh, apologies. Okay, because I saw that and I assumed it was your second of the day. Um, yeah, one game so far. Um, we didn't get a stream unfortunately, but we will get to those on stream at some Next point, one. I'm sure. Um, obviously, any pressure going around? Nah, the NSG, grand, NSG grand. jacket, you got Stuart oh, yeah. behind you, of course, as well. Yeah, yeah. Any, any pressure from them? How's, no, uh, feeling good. how's the atmosphere good. within the team, you know? It's good. We're, we're motivated to get this, this grand final. Yeah, good, good, do good. Gotta do it. And your first game, of course, it went very well. Yeah, yeah. Big win. Yeah, big yeah. win. How'd you, how'd you find it? I mean, did you think it was... It was good. The lads kind of carried me. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> it was good. And of course, the setup here is fantastic to what you have at oh, the minute. Oh, so it must be beautiful. a dream. It must be a dream to play on. an actual PC. Yeah, yeah. I miss my PC. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, very understandable. Um, I can see Bla giving me the eyes. I wonder if Bla wants to go around. Bla! Bla! <laughs> you know, see if he wants to join me. I know, I know Bla has this, this unusual theory that I seem to ignore Bla at every single opportunity. Which yeah, is, you ignore me all the time. Which is just oh, absolutely not the case. That's why I'm dragging it is you the over case. Here. I waved at you like five <laughs> times and you walked right past me. I'm like busy. literally me waving at you. Literally a meter away from you, less. And you just walk right past me. And then me waving at you while I'm playing there. And me waving, you know, and you're just... Look at this. 
It is. <laughs> we're here now. Right, take a deep breath. We're here right. now. Right. First game of the day against we vicious and all that. Uh, big win for yourselves. How'd you find it? We played Anything Aura. Particularly we, stressful? Aura. we played Aura. We played Aura. Yeah, yeah. We didn't play we vicious. We didn't play them for the semis. Oh, Fair so, enough. so you want you want me to elaborate on the Aura game? Yeah, please. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't think they were. I mean, what were they? Sixteen hundreds? Um, Technically, something around that. I mean, I think they were just nervous, or they never played in a circumstance outside their own PC. Mechanics. The mechanics were bad when they got a chance to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But they were inconsistent. They were, like, like they have the ability to do good mechanics, but they don't do them all the time, which is probably what caused them the game. Right. Okay. Games. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Good advice. If they're listening, I'm sure take it on board. <laughs> um, I was saying as well, you know, you got the big NSG jacket on. I don't have my name on you it. You got, you got. Well, yeah, I suppose. But you got a temporary little player. You got, around. you got Enron around. You got Stuart around. Any, any pressure? Any sort of nerves kicking in? How's the, you know, how's the atmosphere within the team camp? I mean, I don't think there is any like no nerves. No nerves at all. No, yeah. Good, 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 good. To perform. Yeah, yeah. As every land. Hey, right, good. Yeah, no fair Feeling play. Good, you know, talk to. Rob's gone now to get food, but talk to Stuart and all that as well, you know, ah, all good, all good. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, no, listen, thanks, us. I'm seeing What are we waiting on? Who's playing there. next now? Well, so we got, um, the guys beside us here, we got Cheerio, Hasco, Joe, and Oweo, and then we have... Is Lucre playing? No, sadly not. We have... Fargal! <laughs> we have the Scarab Appreciation Society here, uh, on the far side, which is, uh, SPF, Foolish Pity, and Dimitrov. Are we nearly set? Nice. Yes. Perfect. So me and Ross are the three of us casting actually. Oh yeah, that's that sounds like a great idea. I'm yeah, nice. I'm, lo yeah. I'm loving this. I mean, if the three of you want to give it a lash, I can step out for a minute. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been, uh, I could do it a piss. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, so. um, I'm not too good at the casting, so I'll just say I'm, like, I'm I'll just say I'm random words. We'll just, yeah, we'll just be like, nice, uh, you know, very good. Lowercase. 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 Right, anyways, I've been, made to, I've been made to look a fool, passwords, all the rest of it. John, oh. if, you, if you're if you comfortable, I feel free to hop in for a minute. Please. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Haskell, it's, it's the long war, it's the Haskells versus the Dimitrovs. Yeah. The iconic rivalry of our life, to be perfectly honest. Uh, would have to agree, yeah. Oh, oh, there's And it started off with a goal. It started off with a goal from jail, let's look at this here. Off the corner. PC rotating in. Stealing the enemy's boost. And yeah. Joe uh, just dunks him. Oh no, that's his own. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah. Alright. Language is stream. I said. Alright, yeah. alright, alright. <laughs> we're, we're on Salty Shores tonight, the good version. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I, I was seeing, like, some games over there, they're playing on a farm set, you know. Really? I, don't, I don't even think that's on the maps on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> I, so that, I might have to, you know, actually just look into that. I, be shame. Pass got the pass over to jail. Piece of perception. Pass in the middle now. A whale. Oh. A whale again. A whale a third time maybe. Oh, it's in the middle. And oh, double tap opportunity. Pass well. No, he's just going straight for dead to be troubled to save. PC can't get it in touch. Oh, who's there? SPS going to boob it. He boobs it. It's backward probably. Good clear. Yeah, ah, good great, clear. great clear by Hasco. Fantastic. The beat, the beat in the best car in the game. He's going to save it here. Uh oh, cast his curse. Tactical fakes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it works in the end. <laughs> uh, oh, SBF would work this. Foolish Pihi, dribbling the ball. It's in the middle, there's some meter follow it. Dimitrov! Oh! Oh! oh, close for Dimitrov. I, I'm going to blame Sonics for the post bounce here. <laughs> so, so what, do you think, what do you think are the keys to success for um, both teams here? Um, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the it's motto of NSG. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my god, we're just saying the same thing. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's why NSG are already in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a recovery! What did you just that, see that? That was, yeah, that was nuts. Was was nice. oh, in the middle again. The it's on target. Oh, 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 crossbar. So Everyone's whiffing oh, the ball, oh, and there's no one to follow. Apologies in the chat. <laughs> what, what? Quel dommage. A, a, a whale. I like gets the French. Bumped. A whale again. Oh, it's too far. Dale will try to follow. He does. It's in the centre. Oh, it's cleared away by SPF. 
Did Will take up the wall out? No, he's faking us. To the middle. Oh, that's yeah, back. Right back to him. Oh, good uh, recovery. Uh, I, I, I like the idea. I like the idea from Cheerios. You know, they're, they're getting the passing plays. Very good. Very good. They're, they're, they're using their speed advantage. Dimitrov down. He'll follow that. No, Hass goes intercepting again. Oh, Hass. Ooh. Foolish for him. Good save. Hassel. Is he gonna take one on one? Or? I, he, I think he just he juked those teammates there. You know? He was looking for the pass. Yeah, that's, that's dangerous. That could be a shot. It's blocked away. Oh. Dimitro. Oh, you feel Dimitro could have tapped that on into net. There was plenty of open net there. Is he? Can he center us? Haskell again? Very Haskell. close game here. Haskell's just like a, oh, a rock oh. of defense right now. A will. Can Jail follow? No, you can't. Oh, team bump. What's going to happen here? Is Dimitro going to score? Dimitro with the nibble? Dimitro, oh. what a good one. Well played by Dimitro. It started from the team bump, but Dimitro moves it downfield and demos a will. He was not aware of what was coming whatsoever. And it's, the game is tied up 1-1. One, one. Manta is just an one. elimination it is, series. Yeah. Almost empty five sides. After <laughs> Alright, the wheel. Back. Back. I don't think they're expecting that, so it worked. Blue speed on the field. Ah. Fucking nice SPF pass. here. Ah, uh, SPF is not done in fantastic off the wall. I hit a double commiss. Works. I mean, he okay. got back in the middle. JL is they plenty of time here, and that's a not that's not a fantastic a first touch. Pass, the yeah. <laughs> the whales, no, for it. Ready for the okay, Dimitrov in the middle. Can he yeah. get there? JL JL's up. Oh. oh! I think there's a bit too much back tactical uh, <laughs> tactical whiffing going on. Well, what a center by Dimitrov. And Piggy got that. He saw the, he saw the backflip and it was like, I can get that, and he buries it. Two one to the Scarab Appreciation Association. Fair play, fair play. Well done. Please. See if the orange team can uh, get another goal. You know, get it into overtime. Oh, oh, it could be in. Oh, oh what, what a save by Dimitrov! Mad save. Dimitrov's on fire. Opportunity. Oh, 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 oh the there. Boost. Is the third player there? Where's Dimitrov the can counter attack here. Oh, oh. oh, he's no boost. Oh, he, he beat two but players. Dimitrov is a. Uh, he's got the boost. He's oh. centered. Uh, oh. I mean, Dimitrov's like. He, he's single handedly like putting Cheerios under immense he's pressure. He's putting pressure. It's really good. You know? It's really good to see. Cheerio over chance. Oh, oh that's Jail. open, that's oh, open! Oh! oh. Uh, again. And tied. Oh. 30 seconds. Very nice. Very, nice. very Oh, my goodness. This is close stuff. I mean, I think they. Scarabs were just relying too much on the clear. Like, you gotta see the ball is cleared first and not think it'll be cleared. Mm. How do how the casters do this? I'm flattered. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, in a few words every year. I mean, there. you're 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 you're, <laughs> you're the wise you're the wise color commentator. <laughs> Man, a few words. <laughs> that this on Targus saved. Have, have you had any OTs today? Uh, um, kind of, oh yeah, in the Monica versus. Yeah, yeah. That was insane. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a reference game today. Actually, shame, shame you couldn't see that on stream. I'm feeling this last goal is going to be. It could it could, it could come now. Be Good. Special, like. And we're into overtime in game one. Oh, I just realized I can have myself <laughs> to the broadcast house on the computer base. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, Geo downfield. P with a good reception. Oh, it's in the middle. That's gonna be dangerous. Geo um, nearly got it out from like under the ceiling. Oh, good pass. Oh, there. that's gonna be good. On target. Oh, oh the again. Oh, man, man. Like, like, the Dimitrov, he had to clear. He's oh, he whiffed. Jail. Oh, is he gonna? Tried to still play. P.E. Oh, just was like, on, no, yeah. and barrels crew. And P.E. beats Haskell. Away, oh. That's on Targus. Oh! oh! Oh, unlucky mistake oh, there. Oh, that was... let's, let's analyze this. P.E. trying to get a touch. Dimitrov oh, coming in for the 50. 50. And uh, uh, SPF. On. You know, it, it, it happens sometimes. The Norms probably got to him, you know? You know. Just, it's a good game one. Good right game, boys. Right, let's hope the next game is just as let's just go, let's go, yeah. go. Uh, We can we can ready up there. Was that game one or two? That was game one. one.
too. Got the buzz. Will you do me a favor and hop up before the series ends so that we can get the next game? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, please, thank you. I might, I, might, I might actually leave now because like I'm leave tired from all this. Me and Ross can take over. There's yeah. no worries. We, we need, we need no it. worries. Oh, sweet. Right. 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 What would you yeah. say? We are um, pretty bad at this, so you know. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's just kick off. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Is this pretty gonna try and push it to the center? <laughs> Trying to pass. Yeah. Good clear. Good clear. It's happening here. No. Nope. On the ball. What's gonna happen here? Can you have a chance of an open net? Big ball. Backflip, back backflip hey, back has been haunting him, they have been. Double touch option. No. Right. Nothing's really happening anyway. <laughs> Jo's right Jess. there. Oh, just over. And where's the third player? Oh, very Dimitrov passive. Carrying it out. Dimitrov, very good at it. Putting on pressure. Pasco with a fake and the boost pickup. I'll go on. Jump, jump, oh. use your jump. Oh, oh lovely <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Away, oh, coming in. Oh, Sorry, this. Backward. Go on. Go on, son. Go on, son. Oh, Dimitrov coming in with the save Dimitrov. again. That is, he's really good save compared to all team. these. Yeah, he is. Oh, SPF with a good save as well. Coming in, hitting the ball lightly. Geo's there, though. A chance for the orange team. Oh, go on. Oh, opportunity. Oh, just boy. He's going to put a centre again. A new teammate there. Double oh, to the team. oh, I feel like... Need to communicate I feel that. like a way could have scored, could have scored, that. scored that. It's, yeah, it's that's important to communicate, lineup. you know. It's also, the model of NSG communicate, yeah, communicate no? It's all good. It's all good. Right. What? <laughs> 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 I was like, that tastes interesting. <laughs> That's really sweet. No, let me, let me have a try that. Man. It's like vitamins. <laughs> oh, that really tastes like vitamins. Yeah, yeah. If we can mix these drinks, that'd actually be a good drink. I'll take it out. Right, back to the game. <laughs> a little moment there. <laughs> Just your drink. Oh, well. oh. oh, I feel like he's almost, he's gonna try he almost has to put his fitty into that. Oh, J.O. Oh, with the goal. Oh, backward, a teammate there, teammate there, is he? Oh, 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 oh good, good placement. Very nice. D-Max, what do you think of that? Get in here now in the D-Max, what do you think of that? Uh, that's actually my DCU teammate there, oh, well. Oh, well. Very, very good Look shot. Very good. Uh, you know, it's hard to execute those type of plays. You know, you, you have good... Uh, could level grand champion yourself, you'd know how to do that, wouldn't you? Ah, uh, no, I'd probably miss that one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was on stream there a few minutes ago, and you guys saw. Pasco beats him to the ball. Great pass, pass to the centre. <laughs> Actually, I didn't see that game, but we won't, won't talk about that. <coughs> Jail fakes. Machine gun. I want some faster. I'm not a caster, man. I've never seen my life. Pasco on the ball, pops it past one foolish pity, knocks it back over oh, the top oh, of the wall. Oh, oh, gets the clear over to Jail in the corner. Jail has a boost. He lets it go. SPF on a fucking touch in the back. Jeo oh, catches it down right as we go, but Hasco gets it. Good touch by the orange player there. <laughs> keep talking, D-Max. <laughs> yeah, keep going. You're saving us here. <laughs> oh, yeah, big clear. Hasco's going to try and touch it on. Oh, very good touch. Right down to... Oh, well. A little bit of oh, a double well. commit by the blue pretty. team. Pass into the Jeo. Oh, Jeo with the fake. Oh, 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 and the flick. Was someone there? No. Oh, almost, almost. Dimitrov, a chance, a chance. Save, making up for his team. Is that a goal? Oh, surely not. <laughs> oh, Let me go get some KFC. <laughs> Meet Rob Mitch. Uh, and it's Pasco with the goal. Oh, orange. Pass from jail. Off the sidewall to the center. And uh, Meet Rob Mitch. Meet Rob Lucky Mason. Blue team's nowhere. nowhere Everywhere except where the ball is. Exactly. Know? Which is. Um, Two minutes left. Not ideal. Plenty of time to bring it back. This is Rob Big Force. Jail with another kickoff goal. What is going on? What is this? Team Ox. Um, <laughs> this is Rocket League. <laughs> Damn, I need a breather after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here. Sure. <laughs> We drop gears to the side, but orange team have a chance. Double commit, he keeps going. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna kick you this. Gets it again. Pass Joe's doing well, well in this game. Joe is playing pretty well. Blue team giving orange team a lot of space. A lot of space. A lot of space. As you can see, Dimitrov not pushing that way. Probably should. Joe with the follow up shot. Leads to the Oh. That's pretty fucking old. Joe's playing. 
and Dimitrov just backing off leads to a double commit, and that's just a free shot for Jail. Really. It's a tough corner. Foolish, but he's just not quite getting there, unfortunately. <laughs> very good attempt. Well, by very, him. very unfortunate <laughs> circumstances there. It's looking like Orange Team have the winning here. I think so. Who won the last game? Orange Foolish, Oh, no, wait, Blue Team won the last game. Yeah. Did they? Didn't they? Did Dimitrov not like, carry them? It was almost over here. Oh, I can't remember. No, who's scoring over them? <laughs> we'll, we'll What's out. the language? We'll find out if it's a TG. TG. <laughs> oh no, we can, we can, um, we can hit control, no? SPF takes over, leads to boost for What can I do? Tab. Um, it doesn't say the thing, I don't think they said it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they already scored. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Foolish video, a nice cut past the whale. There's three blue oh, players forward, be. gets it past one. Jail. Jail. Oh, what a pull! Nice in the net, they teach you that in America. I know. I learned that from Rob. I think. Jail with another bang. Oh, did they? Did we drop on the teammate there? I thought. What is Asko? Asko in the 65 Ireland's land. 2019. RDS land. <laughs> looking like the orange team definitely. It's looking like a blowout. Yeah. Um, orange team just. Very good play by Jao in this game. Jao. Jao is playing really well. Ja oh, is a two nice. Orange yeah. save. Leave the goal open. Jao. Is Back he coming in the center? Oh. Again. oh. Orange team was just slaying the smackdown in this game. Nice shot in chat. Blue team need to work on the communication. Oh, it's double commits. I have to agree there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And their defense. Yeah. Maybe their offense. Don't slay them too hard. Jail. Look for the pass to the center. Oh! <coughs> very close, very close. Foolish pity, but long for the goal. Final three seconds of the game. And a demo to it's keeping it up. It's really, you know, it's trying to get another goal. Oh, go on. It's going for that goal. A goal? <laughs> to win it? Two. Oh. And is that it over? GG's. There's okay, GG's. Yeah. That was fun. G boys, I believe. Yeah. Right, so. <coughs> Are we still so here? I, um, I don't, I doubt we can leave. Because Dave Forehead has not returned, and uh, what are you doing? Is this plat? What are what are the chats saying about this cast? This and plat? I don't know what. It's this plat? No, no, there's a uh, um, at least, uh, at least sixteen, seventeen hundred, I'd say, in my opinion. Um, to be honest, oh you no, know. yeah, we're like champ threes. Um, Jo champ three, I don't know. No, Jo was GC. I swear he was. Was he? Okay. There this could have be been GC. last season or season before. Could. Okay. I don't know if he's GC now. You see. Uh, uh, all the games are best of three. We're kind of up until the semis, I think. I don't know. Grand finals, best of seven. That's all I know. You wanna, you wanna tune in for the grand yeah, yeah. finals? See I'll tell you now, sure. You know, it's the stuff you wanna yeah, be watching. Calling up. He's calling it, ladies and gentlemen. He's calling it. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, do you wanna hop back on here? Oh, uh, no, so you're going to leave us there? Yeah. Tap, tap. I'd say, I'd say. I mean, what does the chat think? Um, are we better than Dave Forehead, Cass? And what does the chat say? Come on, we need we need opinions here. <laughs> Somebody. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Answer that. Are you, so you want to join me here for a quick interview, uh, Dave yeah, Forehead? Hey, um, go on, go on. I'm so, uh, so explain to us and uh, the viewers watching why you were gone. For a last series there, and you weren't casting. What was last going on? Series. What, what was so important that you couldn't cast the what? beautiful people watching this lovely stream? You see, <laughs> you see something that the, the lovely people at home may not understand or may not know at first is the casting. Very tough in your voice, especially when you're trying to be loud and enthusiastic <laughs> for a prolonged period of time. Would it's I, not easy. Would have to agree as a. So, yeah. Myself, I did not. <laughs> if anything, I did not do much casting. It was mostly John coming in here talking. Then Demox came in here and talked a lot. So to, to to counteract this feeling, you find yourself drinking a lot of water. And I actually drank like half a bottle he, here. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I I'm, I'll probably need to go pace or something. And exactly. And many of you will know that uh, if you drink a lot of water and you sit still, there's only one place that's gonna go. 
to the and bladder. Exactly, and conveniently for us, there's a, there's a you know a lavatory just across the way. So very uh, convenient, very nice. If you're if you're wondering, that's where I was going. Not for that whole series, I will admit. That so so wait, so what, you just left two inexperienced casters by themselves yeah, while you were yeah. I have faith in my community. Yeah. Very. Oh, oh, actually. I like that. I like that. I appreciate that. You faith in us. I, I like that. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Right. Next question. Let uh, me think of it on the spot here. Right. To, you think of that. I'm going to answer the question on stream. Is the bracket available anywhere? Yes, it is available in the Discord server. So if you're part of our Discord server, um, jump in there. And in announcements, only about two or three messages up. There's a Google Doc, and it should be fairly straightforward to follow from there. Right. <clears throat> so. Yes. Dave Warhead. That's me. What are you thinking? What, compare this to DGF. What are you thinking so far? Do you know what? It's really good. Um, I'd say it's a little bit different. The fact that we have a stream obviously adds to, you know, Insomnia Big Time. Mm -hmm. One thing I find weirdly familiar is, because we did merch to DGF and we did merch here, it's weird seeing everyone in ORLI stuff in the ODS. There's a weirdly familiar feeling about that. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm repping my merch yeah, right exactly. now as well. You know, this yeah, OG merch. OG exactly, merch. Exactly. I remember respect buying it. this off. Yeah, it was yeah exactly. That's very the, sound. The, the limited edition zipless hoodies. Ooh, ooh <laughs> never available yeah, yeah, ever yeah. again now, you know. <laughs> an investment, you know. Well, I can't, I can't when, promise When our life blows up in the next 10 years, exactly, you know, I mean, that, that's a, a, this stuff will be worth it. will be every pennies across the country, watch me. Right, I don't don't know what there is much more to say. What are we waiting on now? Well, we're waiting for games to set up. We kind of we've hit a bit of an awkward crossroads. There's two games being set up at once. Um, Clover there off of um, Demonic. Oh, I have no sports. idea. Something along those lines. Demonstrate Esports. I do apologise if they're listening in. One of those guys. Um, they asked me to stream their game, so I guess I have to keep on. Am I streaming Purple instead? It is a good game by the looks of it. Purple has been on stream though. So I'd rather get the other guys on because I'm not going to get them otherwise, I think. Sorry viewers, um, John and Dave Forehead are talking right now, discussing yeah. discuss, discussing important matters. Instead of like a, you know, like a classic technical issue screen, we should just get a like, discussing which <laughs> dis game dis stream. Discussing dis important exactly. <laughs> topics. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, in my opinion, we should try and get everyone on at least once. Um, and I know we haven't had the uh, the keyboard warrior himself, that is Barzy. Oi, 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 you can oi, see him there plugging away. Oh, you look at him, big. <laughs> he knows everything. Actually, uh, like, this is not like BBS Mount Typical. I think you are the only one, yeah. Uh, there was actually, believe it or not, there was two or maybe three at Gigabyte. Sorry, what? Two or three? Keyboard players. Oh, uh, oh. here right now? Really? No, no, a gigabyte, a gigabyte. Oh, a gigabyte, sorry. John has appeared again, and uh, he has distracted forehead, and uh, they're discussing important matters again, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, trying to stall, you know, just, uh, you know, thinking of stuff, um, you know, uh, so... Uh, Today is a uh, pretty nice outside, uh, you know, uh, 25 degrees. Uh, if you look to your left, you'll see. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, uh, forehead is back, so. Yes, yes. How are Take over. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> I was stalling the stream sure. there for a little bit, you know, uh, sure while you were. The, the very capable hands there. Of that. Yeah. We'll see if this is. We'll see if this game's. Don't ready watch to go. the vod. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the game's not quite ready, although I've heard it is on its way. Um, I'm actually glad that we are streaming. This uh, demonic esports versus uh, hillbilly's match because on the other match we have uh, it's Luke playing. He is indeed. Fergal, Fergal. <laughs> way over on the left there. If I'll make sure to say you know, make to, sure to go over to him afterwards. To critically analyze. Uh, critically analyze Fergal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good plan. I like it. I like it. Um, Am I yeah. going to be here for this game as well? Like, or is somebody, somebody coming to replace me? I don't see anyone else coming. Now, if you want to go, that's no harm. I mean, I could leave you here by yourself. You'd, oh, you'd, thank you'd, 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 yeah, I know. You need me in I here to up. say I something, you know, at least, or else you that. can't have that awkward silence here every once you know, in a while. While we're, I'm assuming this isn't ready. So while we're waiting, are we able to get a free play? No. Oh. I don't have a. I don't have a I with me. How's your keyboard skills? Oh, they're actually pretty decent. I'd say I could. I'd say I could do. Could you? A few aerials. Yeah, actually. Uh, I yeah, used to play a keyboard. Chat on keyboard. 
probably not, no. But I, I actually, <laughs> class, fun facts, I used to play keyboard and mouse until I was about All-Star, back in the day in season three, back when there was the, no, not All-Star, Rising Star, sorry. Back when oh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. back when those ranks were about. I used to play keyboard and mouse until then. Then I switched to controller, switched to Xbox 360. Then I went to PS4 straight away. And I've gone through about five controllers. Like it's, <laughs> m- it's mad. Like they all just keep breaking. Especially the ends of the cable. Like it just just break. Um. Yeah. No, I don't know. I have I've had one Xbox controller which I had at the very first LAN I played in way back in 2017. And unbelievably, even though I've dropped it multiple times in the shed, <laughs> uh, it still works. I still have it, and it's even here today. Hello. Uh, yes, that's perfect. Thank you, guys. They are discussing important matters, and uh, he is back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we should be able to get ourselves underway. I've just been told the name and passion of the lobby. No prizes for guessing, though. It's basically been the same all day long. Uh, I'm assuming they'll get it up very, very shortly, uh, if I've actually been told. Yeah. There's, all the, there's all the headsets are on. There's a lot of concentration now in the room. Who Things are settling down. out of this matchup is the favourite then? Oh, it's got to be. Um, Name the players because I, I wouldn't know the yeah, team. Yeah, there's, there's, I think they're called Demonic Esports. I still, I owe them an apology for not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, something like that. Um, of Lucra, Little Dude and Clover. Um, all roughly C3 low ground champ level. And then we have Hillbillies of Archer, aka the Twob. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Donald and the third is uh, Redport. 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 Um, so all non-GC players. Mm. So <laughs> I think that alone kind of settles my decision on who my favourite is for this match. Yeah, um, yeah. Having said that, it's a lot. Nerves get to people. And if Hillbilly start putting up a good fight, you never know what can happen. So I have to agree, I'm, you know. I'm not counting any chickens. Actually... I don't remember any, in the lands that I've played, I actually don't remember any time when I was seriously nervous. Like, I've been okay. more, I've been actually, believe it or not, I've been more nervous for the online tournaments than I have <laughs> for the actual land. And I don't know why. Yeah, I just don't know. Like, because I remember back in the day when there was the 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s and all that. I, yeah, used, yeah, yeah. I used to be really nervous playing for them. So I remember there was this 1v1 where Daki slapped me and uh, I was just, <laughs> I was so nervous for that one. Yeah, interesting. Around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside, into the mic. <laughs> How are we? How are we? Nah, Grant, <coughs> are we behind? Don't believe so. Are we ahead? Don't believe so. Have a clue. Yeah, Maybe. we got this game going. Cool. Yeah, well, we you can, you can cast on. this one and I'll go on the next one because you're playing the next one. Oh. You should probably get no off. I actually team. probably should uh, discuss team strats. Team strats. Team strats. Come on, give us back those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, best of luck to you. We see Lucra put that one on target. And uh, a very, very easy way for... This is your chair. This is my chair. But now I have oh, whatever. it. doesn't matter. I like it though. I feel more protected or something. I don't for know. For... Against the wind. I, f- I forget. I have my bag here, no? Certainly so. Is, oh, is, is, here, is it this one? Yours. Is it this one? That's mine. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, then I've settled that bag. Live on stream. Um, yeah, I actually... I owe this blue team an apology because I've forgotten what org they represent. <laughs> demonic esports. Yeah, I've been calling. I think I've been calling them that, or maybe I've just been calling them demonic esports. I'm not sure. No, demonic. Uh, or demonic. They're an actual org. <laughs> nah. Oh, what the? Did you see that? Interesting, sort of a pre flip, technically. From yeah, well, that definitely was a pre flip, yeah. Because it's got a perfect lift. Well, almost. Let's see what Luke can make out of this. <laughs> very interesting, very scrappy 50 50 there. Little dude, that's going to pass in the middle. Over though, wasn't really up early enough to make it. Oh, it's it's interesting, there. interesting car choice there. Interesting car design. It's not going to win your prize or whatever it is. You know, I was thinking about that. We don't have a lot of tries at the minute, but maybe we can we can drag something up there last minute and uh, give it to Clover based on that. Interesting it's choice. Car. What it's is great. that? Is that the, the Enzo or something? No, that's the Sent. Is that the Sentio? Oh, um. What is that? Like <laughs> Sentinel? Is it? Is it not? I can't I thought remember. it was Sentio, no? I don't know. Red eyes used to use it, it's a disgraceful car. It looks like an endurance Le Mans car, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, little dude. In the slightly more conventional Fennec, interesting way about a double touch. Didn't actually make it happen there. That's a good touch. That could just be crawling in on target. <laughs> That's a cheeky and evil bump there. As Clover steals that goal last minute. I'm angry doing the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hate to see it, but at the same time, it is very, very well played from Luca. Um, question. What, game, what series is this? 
So this is Hillbillies versus Demonic Eagle. Who are? What about the other bracket? Who's playing in that one? Sorry, I just want to get a. So scroll across. In the other bracket, we have Purple uh, versus Aura. Yes. And that's playing right now. Yeah. Are you sure? No, not. No, sorry, no, no. Cool. Sorry, it's the other bracket. Yeah. Group A. Purple versus Drama Labs. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's watch this one. So. Yeah. I, I, th I thought we were watching. We were missing Cheerio versus R Esports or something. Cause that would be a good game. No, no, no. Um, my my argument to John was that we'd seen Purple on stream already, whereas we hadn't seen either of these teams properly. Good. So, good. Yeah, there you go. You have good arguments. Good job. Uh, so, anyways, moving on. Um, a nice cheeky three-man play there from the blue team. Does that actually get them very close to the goal though? That's a big miss from Donald on the top. Just about gets away safety. A big double commit in the top. Is slow in the air to that one. Luca with a tantalising. Hit off the backboard and little dude pounces. Even the twab's landing is interesting. Watch. Yeah. Oh, you don't even the see him. He's, he's just gone the so far. Dive, unfortunately, yeah. He's like a plane. See you later. This is a. <laughs> Donald setting out the team tactic there. Maybe a little too publicly. Yeah, maybe just a little bit too publicly. If that was me, though, I'd be screaming over the table. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good point, though, because, I mean, you know, if they get the odd demo and take the right person out to play at the right time. Maybe there's a chance for them to get back into this, but with half the game played, uh, there's not too many positive points there. As, the two <laughs> as we've seen Donald the Tom, unfortunately, totally cross paths. A little, a little dude snakes that goal away from Clover. It's just there. Uh, it's just BM all round, really, this game. Just disrespect, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor disrespect. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> as you can tell, when we're in the lower bracket, and the games don't mean it. Quite as much where we're having a bit more fun here yeah. uh, with the stream, but um, yeah, I think this is obviously going to be a very simple win 2 0 for both teams on both sides of the bracket, which are Purple and Demonica. And then Purple will end up smashing Demonica to bits later on. That's what's going to happen. You've heard it here first. I have no idea actually because I can't tell if they're any good, but anyway, um, forehead, uh, the next series up is going to be a very important series. Okay, we've got two choices we've got Huggert yep. versus We Vicious, okay, or you've got NSG versus Candemonium Oswell again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I don't want my boys on stream because they might not play as well on stream, but I think they'll be raging if they're not on stream at least once today. I also agree with that. No, I don't agree that they'll play badly on stream. What's that but I do agree with you on the whole, they'll want to be on stream. Everyone wants to be on stream. Except them. <laughs> yeah. Twop, hello? I Wait, there's one archer and there's one the twop. What's going on? Oh, it's the smurfs. There's two of them. There no. There's involved. Definitely. Um, oh, oh, you pose a very interesting question. I don't know, there were, there were questions earlier about looking to get Vert on, uh, on stream. Well, he's got to be on stream at some stage, I'm sure. So, yeah. And then, who say NSU played Well, again? they got on stream for uh, half a game, didn't they? I know it was only half a game. This is true. Who, uh, who are NSU playing against again? Candemonium. Oh, we've seen them. Oh, so two teams we've seen, two teams we haven't. Well, we've seen We Vicious as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. But we haven't seen... That's what I mean, so there's one team off each game we haven't seen. Should we let the stream decide? Yeah, we can let the stream decide. Who would you rather see? Would you rather see Buggert? Or would you rather see Nuclear Storm Gaming? Vote in the chat. Let us know in the chat. I imagine, I, I imagine a grand total of about two votes could win it for your team, depending on who... Uh, True, I'm going to go to the chat right better. now and just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We have some, uh, some live interaction. Oh, they actually there. scored a goal. Oh, wait, as, they've already scored one. As either... the Club or Redport scores. I don't know which one of the two. I'm guessing Redport. Um, I don't know who's who. Neither I do don't I. even know which one Redport is. So I guess uh, we just gotta hope that. Uh, one of the ones sitting down there. Don't worry. He's on our left. For those that aren't here, everyone's on our left. But you know, don't worry about it. And actually, they are starting to bring things back a little. Now, loads of people are voting We Vicious, even though We Vicious are weren't actually in the vote. But we've already seen them on stream. I suppose technically we play the Wee Vicious. That's a good match. shot. We play the Wee Vicious versus. It's up uh, to you. I don't really care too much. Yeah, look, if they're voting Wee Vicious, then we go. But I mean, if. Whichever game we don't do. We have to do next. We have to do. No, but we have to do whenever they're available next. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah big time. Oh, I should really dwell on that. That could have been interesting. I can't believe this is 4 3. What are Demonica doing? Um. Oh, no. No. That guy can't read. Oh, Archer, bro. Archer. Or Redport. Or Redport. What Whatever. is? 
You're a disgrace. <laughs> he's a he's a disgrace. He's a disgraceful player. Uh, he's a nothing player. <laughs> <laughs> My best aim and dumpy impressions of a Sean Ross oh. last night. Uh, he's very, very ordinary indeed. He's the man that left your, that left his wife for a young one. <laughs> no, no, no. He said that on stream. <laughs> well, that's not what I meant. My girl's one. Yeah, no. Uh, well, I'm not sure if we're allowed to use non PG words. So he uses the word with the S. Oh. Ah, I suppose we can use it, can we? What are we thinking for it? Uh, we can just beep that bit out in the editing. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Where is it? I swear people it's because you're shite. This. You're a spoofer. In... I swear people were spamming this. Walshy. Only yesterday. It's a spoofer. Spoofer Walshy. <laughs> Walshy <the> spoof. <clears throat> Clover bottom of the leaderboard as usual. Classic. Nothing player. <laughs> Disgrace. <laughs> You should be looking at a different type of profession. No goals. You should have stuck to CS goal. No life. No wife. No points. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it, bro. Rez is just taking no, warhead, bro. It's, what is? It's that one, it's that one. It actually is that one. No goals, no shots, no hope, no point, no life, no wife, no no nothing. No nothing from you, Walshy. Why? Because you're crap. Because you're shite, actually. You're complete shite, that's why. Rubbish. You're a spoofer. You're a big old Egypt. Uh, some poetry there on the stream. The only thing Mike Rose ever did for Rocket League. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sentiment, I think. We can all agree to that message. Other than throw a grand final against over zero. Well, we'll gloss over that for now. As you have slightly <laughs> bigger things on stream. Being uh, that 50 versus... It is on stream. <laughs> Oh, almost a good goal. Whoever tried to come out of net there made a mistake there. So I one up and they're taking the mick for it. I'm not impressed. It is a dangerous game. I'm not impressed. It's a very dangerous game. If I was representing an esports org, I don't know I'd be impressed either. To be honest, to be when, honest. You're, when you're an esports org and you're hiring Clover to be your captain, there's already an issue there. <laughs> just because he flew over doesn't mean he deserves any respect really at all. As you can see, he just missed the ball and it was on the ground. That's a good point. No for it, even you probably wouldn't miss that. I'd say a solid six, seven times out of ten. That you would miss it? No, 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 no. Other way oh, no, I definitely wouldn't disagree with you there. I would have said miss. I was surprised you are actually just going to agree with me for once. <laughs> World class Rocket League we are watching here today. The Twab with a brilliant center for the other team. Dolan coming in like a wrecking ball. Now we're getting revenge. I don't know, like, is that necessary? Do Demonica need to be doing that too much? I think they should be taking this a bit more seriously because they're about to play for, for top top six in the next game. Like, if I was them now, I'd be clapping these because you need the win. You can't just assume. Yeah. Like, what happens if this game goes to overtime for some reason? Then it goes to game three and then there's like a disconnect and no one pauses the game for 30 seconds. What happens then? Yeah. D don't take the mic. I mean, we like not to think about technical difficulties, but yeah, I can't help but agree with you. You should. I mean, Ronicky had one. Wouldn't his mind, mind you, but. Uh, yeah. I agree. Big demo for Clover, actually. That could have been a serious chance. Um, but. No, I, I agree with you. I think there's, you know, a level of sportsmanship that kind of should be maintained here. Um, that's no individual criticism of anyone, but it's an interesting, you know, things How like that, that? Quick, for example. How did you get that fix so high there? It was amazing. It was actually a good mechanical play, one of the first we've seen in the series so far. This is, of course, game two. Yes. Um, and we are, of course, watching three GCs versus a champ. Diamond no, two. a Diamond 2. Diamond two, uh, diamond, diamond one and a plat one three. That's what Redport is, right? Or is he gold? I think no, no. Redport is possibly diamond one, but definitely plat three. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm yeah, just listening yeah. to in the background there. There's a lot of um, banter going on in the background. I'm hearing a lot of uh, people saying we're gonna smash you later and stuff. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I really hope that some of these teams really lose today. It'd be really funny. I have a, I have a question, right? Actually, because. I'm to everyone's, uh, no, actually, I won't go there. Go on, go on, I was briefly it. talking to Stuart, uh, and actually, Stuart, this is, and he's saying he'd love to talk about stream couple minutes to just challenge you about, you know, things and how, how things are going. If you're, With if me? You're, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, um, if NSU don't perform today, do you get sacked? Probably. My question. 
In no, the same way, no, know, actually, like, no, I won't. In the same way, like, you know... If they don't perform today, Pacino I reckon... Pochettino probably get sacked from Tottenham. I reckon... Do you reckon, like, you get sacked if they do bad? I don't think so. Um, Pochettino has a good team. I yeah, don't, I know. I don't. Hypothetically, like, you know, if, there's a, if they Tottenham keep doing badly, he'll get sacked. And if she did badly here today. And if she had a top three at land. No, I know. Which is a good performance, I would have said. We were third seed, we finished third. No, they I'm were not, six seed, they finished sixth. Yeah, but this is on the past. This doesn't matter anymore. Okay, I'm the second seed today. today. So what would you call a success today? Um, I would say third at a minimum. You would say third at a minimum? Yeah. I would say third is a failure today. Okay. If they finished third today... Um, I like the ambition. Well, no, I don't think it's ambition. I think they're clearly better than third seed. Um, by quite some distance, in fact. Um, haven't watched them on stream. However, if Ross is cold hands, then there might be an issue. No, no, but in all seriousness, I think second is like the minimum they should be looking at. They have a chance to win here today. This is the best NFC team that has been at LAN since me, Panda, and Ross. And when you have me and your team, that's a bad, bad thing. Ah, that's true. It's all right. So, yeah. Better looks next time. All that. We still have uh, the most uh, top threes at LAN outside of people who've won LAN. It's a fact. That's it? Yep. If you exclude anyone that's actually won a land, I have the most top threes at land, because I've had three of them. Does two two seconds make, and third. Does that not just make you a massive bother? No, because I've been like, how the hell did I get to the final? <laughs> 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 it's amazing. In fact, that tells me that you're, I'm performing over my ability, I guess. <laughs> you know, way over my ability. Oh, fair enough. You that's know, when you're like a, a 72 graded player in FIFA, and you're playing the Champions League final, and yeah. no one knows how you got there, but you got there, yeah, and yeah, everyone's yeah. like, World class player, a lot of heart, a lot of talent, yeah. but not really world class, just a lot of talent. He's like Landon Donovan, remember that guy? Oh man, remember the days. Oh what my save. god, what a save! <laughs> you can force it in. <laughs> well, fast total. No. Ah, uh, useless. Get him off the team. Oh, Demonica are gonna have to sack him. Sacked in the morning. So, no. Um, yeah, cool. I can have a talk with him. When are we doing that? Whenever you. Not round at the minute, but I was just chatting to him while I was off for a couple of minutes. And uh, yeah, so he he didn't seem to mind, but he said he'd hop on with you for a couple of minutes for a chat if you want something to to fill time in between games. So he's basically using Rocket League Ireland as a platform to or advertise NSG. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, pretty much. No, I mean he did pay a sponsorship that one time, so I guess it's fine. This is true. You know, he's actually given something to the community. There you go. As well as me having some sort of employment. To be fair, to be fair, anyone who promotes, you know, Irish Rocket League, I don't really mind what they do. Yeah, you so think so? Go. Um. Unless they do something really stupid, yeah, probably. And who just says something stupid in the past? No, no, I more meant hypothetically. If you go like spray paint loads of buildings, well, that's not good. But like, you know, oh, here we go. That should have been their team name, but they made a mistake. No. Yeah, there's a typo, was there on the floor? Yeah, there was, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Kenzie, you wearing glasses, bro. Yeah. It makes you look kind of smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It makes me look. <laughs> right, so let's look at the chat then. Let's all tap out of the oh, game. Yeah, yeah, we need to find our, our vote. Um, neither. <laughs> neither. <laughs> uh, you voted for NSG twice. I feel like that's cheating. Yeah, but no one's actually voted for. There's two wee vicious votes, but technically that wasn't what was a, that wasn't an option. Um, Let's just go wee vicious versus. Um, yeah, go on. Fuggers, yeah. We'll do. We'll we can watch. We can watch NSG later we'll on. Keep the day, I'm sure. happy. No matter what happens, they'll be playing at some stage later in the quarters and semis. It's not going to be an upset, bro. Oh, fair enough, I'll tell you all about it after. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure forehead. I think uh, it's going to be an interesting series. I think Fogart are going to prove why they are the number one team here at LAN, unfortunately. Yes. As biased as I am for it. NSG. Um, I think they're going to smash We Vicious the absolute bits here. Yes, I would agree with most of that. However, We Vicious definitely won't see it that way. And they, you know, they represent an org of their own, so they'll want to, they'll want to put their best foot forward, and they'll probably think, you know. Well, I mean, they got rid of their best player recently in the I last mean, two weeks. Yes, but because likely, well, they said it was for whatever reason, but like he was their best player, and at, at the last land, their sub was their best player, and they've kept the two memesters on the team. The, uh -huh. the team that keeps getting, you know, obliterated in every other tournament. If you think of RKRS, they've been destroyed. They were they went yeah. zero and six. Yeah. Um, there was literally like memes of them going around. Like, do you remember the uh, <laughs> some uh, very um, controversial memes? Yeah. Like, you know, you know who Elsa Gina's forehead? No. No. Well, I don't want to know. Okay. Well, there was memes of her, but it was like the picture of Wee Vicious on her face instead. I understand. Yes. So you can see where this is going. Yes. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's basically what they've been described as in RKRS. They're literally a meme. Um, however, you never know, because if you remember back to the last LAN, they went to game five against this team, minus Mert. That's true, actually, yeah. And they almost beat them, and then they got embarrassed by Daily Sports somehow. So, yeah, take from that what you will. Oh, thank you. Um, do you guys know what's being streamed next? Uh, yes, we're going to do the... Bogart versus We Vicious. Oh, yeah. I thought we were doing something. That's a good game. game. Well, we'll, that's, a, that's a better game, like. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter about if it's a better game. They're going to be streamed later. Oh, okay. The chat voted for it, so... Oh, we, nice. we asked chat to vote for it, so yeah. they were like, let's watch this one. We had two holes. Yeah, I can try that. Okay, that's... Like, that's Sorry, just yes. <laughs> it was okay though. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> so are they all ready to go? <laughs> okay, cool. Tell them they got like. Good idea. Tell them they got, you know. Well done. Yeah. Tell them 10 minutes. Tell them they need to have the lobby set up for 25 past, yeah? Because what we can do then is if we can get games done earlier, we can turn them into a longer series, yeah? Not at the moment, but potentially down the line. Ma maybe, the, maybe the semi finals can be best of sevens instead if we can get them done quick enough. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Don't tell anyone that, John, but keep that in mind. Are we ready for the final? Yeah. Are we ready for the stage later on, lads? You're gonna be there in the crowd, oh, right. meet up, and you're gonna be like, "Yeah, let's go in on when the cast." Yeah, like, yeah, thanks to meet up, thanks. Welcome oh, to the stage, right. guys. Cheers, how's it going? Do it after as well. Probably, yeah. For now, just chill out, watch the tournament, and then get ready for the grand stage. There's yeah, a big freaking right. screen inside. Yeah, you see it? Would you grab us? It's just a normal spot like Delhi, isn't it? Would you do us a favor? Would you grab us? Um, like I'll let you know later. Like Just hang around. Uh, Stay around. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh? No, I don't have any stuff. No, no, no. This game should be good though. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah hopefully. hopefully. I don't think so. I actually got Buggers. rid of my cage. Buggers? Yeah. And Bert. Yeah. Best player. Yeah. 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 If you want. <laughs> a little bit. Not much more. I right. Yes. Good. You did good. <laughs> yeah, against, against three GCs, so yeah. yeah. Alright. Nearly, yeah. In, in and around, yeah. Alright, so forehead. We're back to serious casting hey. now in a few moments. We're going to go and look for no local matches. Okay, so we're not looking for anything at the moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd like to thank uh, the spectators here. We've got five of them sitting down behind us here. Yeah, yeah. We've got the, SBF, the the Dimitra, the Pasco, Geo, and Aweo. Geo and Aweo. Aweo, Jo. Yeah. So we, we got a lot of boys here chilling now, ready yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're just waiting on them to go. Sam, can you tell Bogart and Wee Vicious to hurry up? Yeah? Get them done. Oh, Dan, man, you're so good at scoring in FIFA. Just watching some, uh, some cheeky warm up here from the, from the 1700 man himself. These will be on the RLI weekly. Yeah, Training packs later on. Potentially, you know, Dan's gonna be giving away secrets, and the uh, title of the video will be "How I Got the 1700." <laughs> 1775. Ooh, ooh, big man coming in here. <laughs> it's gonna be expensive in IEL next season. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, that's all I'm thinking too. You'll never get him on an IEL team ever again. <laughs> What have you done? Put that back. Oi, put that back. Fix that. You can't. Who is the player? Oh, actually, I saw someone. Who's the player? I saw someone with what really looked like a man's head for a half So, it was like a better knife back. You made one or two back by Cooker on the defense, and I was surprised by it. Your diamond one? Man's head for I didn't see the front of it. Okay, cool. Okay, well, maybe that makes more sense. So I was a bit surprised you were actually up at the dose. And I was like, oh, it's like having glasses. And like, there was a big triple commit. You suck. Huh? No, you suck. Sit down. Sit down, that's it, go on, chill out, you suck. Tell Clover he sucks. It's really hard to find a middle ground. Okay, that's his last. No, 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 it's fine, I saw that too. We're not casting that game, so you're gonna have to watch and give them hype. Motivational talk. We're not casting their game. No, we're not. We're casting the other game. So, you're just gonna have to, um,. I know, bro, I know. Chat voted, we asked chat to do a vote, and chat voted against, so. Yeah, yeah press F sure, chat. Anyways, it's perfect interview material after, because yeah. if we're not streaming it, we'll get his thoughts on it. Yeah, that's true. 
So we're going to get your thoughts on an after shoe. All right, nothing up yet. John, can you tell them to get the game up and going? Yeah, yeah no, tell, tell them like they've had enough time. They've had like five minutes. Not you, not you, John. You can check. You can be a little bit later. But um, yeah, sorry for it. So, four now. Four Fuggard versus Wee Vicious. Yes. Number one seed versus number four seed. Yes. Um, three high quality players. One professional player. Yes. Who's after topping RLRS in yes. league play. He still has to try and qualify for RLCS. Yes. And you've got two guys who like to flip around the place a lot for some reason. Yes. Uh, against um, a guy who smashes a table. Yes. A guy who's had bad haircuts. Yes. And a Scottish guy. Yes. He's Scottish. Yeah, don't yes. worry. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. So, based on that, <laughs> who do you think is going to win? Based on that, who do I think is going to win? I mean... Before you even said any of those words, I think it had to be focused match anyway, let's be honest. Um, number one seed, and with very good reason. Um, we'll see what that they is, can... That is an RGM, but yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see what they can produce. Um, obviously, we saw them for like half a game at most. I'm really excited to see what they can pull out. I feel like it'll be that kind of thing where for the first... For the, for the first maybe uh, two or three minutes of the first game, we'll see both of them at 100%. And then, depending on how that goes, I imagine Fuggert will be quite quick to maybe step off and not, you know, give it 100% from there on out. Well, um, I feel like they're a team that will. They played them in Arc ARS. This exact team. Very quickly. Oh, right, okay. Oh, well, Bert Future Mug. Yeah. They played Classy, Alux, and uh, JK, and they uh -huh. swept them 3 0. And then destroyed ideal. them. Not so ideal. Yeah. I think this will be a 2 0 sweep. Uh, that's my prediction on it. I think Bert is too good. We'll see how he plays, though. Alan is different. He might feel inclined to ball chase more or sit back more, depending on how much he trusts his teammates. This is true. I think, however, we're about to see a player announcing himself on the stage here as an actual world-class player. So hopefully we get I to see it. I hope so. I hope so. That'd be brilliant. I didn't think he played amazing at uh, Gigabyte. I thought Ryan was majorly impressive. He was, uh, Him yeah. and Adzer were there. They were doing their job. They were doing what I expect from, you know, 1,900, 2K and more players. Yeah. Um, but Ryan was absolutely a world-class. Um, on the other side, though, Jake's got to keep the team morale up. He's got to get the spirit going. He's got to keep the comms going. Gmox likes to not calm for some reason. Mm -hmm. He yeah, has yeah. excuses. He doesn't not calm everything. Mean. But you got to calm things against these kind of players. You've just got to be quick to the ball. Trust each other. Got to go for everything. It might suit Weavish is better that the game's going to be played at a faster rate here as well. So, um, yeah, I think it will. I think they're better when the game isn't slowed down so much. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. They were found out a little bit in the ground game. I think Jaff and Penger were better at the ground game, and Kip was actually decent at the ground game. Whereas once, sure. the, ball, once, the, once the games went into the air, they struggled a lot. I know what purple, you, mean. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. like we, we just were clearly better in the air. So if that yeah. makes sense. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I can't say anything other than a two-zero here, um, in their favor. So yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, I have to agree with you. It's very hard to look past them. No doubt about it. Um, we'll have to see when we get this game underway. Um, it, again, I think mentally, we vicious will know that the underdogs, but I think they'll still fancy themselves to a degree. Um, they'll fancy themselves if they can get up a goal at some stage. If they can go yes. a goal up, obviously you always fancy yourself no matter what happens, because then you can play defense and you can play really good defense. Yes. So um, we've got Jakey in the lobby there now as well. We've already got Demox in there. We're waiting for Classy. And obviously we're waiting for the three um, Fuggard players. Mog and Future like to delay everything as long as possible in every competition. <laughs> they won't be getting that in a second because they'll be getting a bit of welly for me. So, um... Perfect. So, <clears throat> forehead. Me. Do you agree? 2 off. I think it has to be. Like I, I do want to back be vicious to an extent, but no, it, it just has to be. Um, this Fugger team, really, this is nearly like you know a warm up for them. I think rather than a full on match. At the end of the day, um, realistically, from the second they walked in the building, their eyes have probably been on the final anyway. So, yeah, no, I do have to agree. It is Fugger's match, assuming they are actually able to join in. Um, no, they don't. Yeah. John, come, come on. They've had enough time. Okay, cool. Ah, she looks the joys of a line, you can't beat it. It's probably because um, he's got off the console or something like that. Ah, who knows, maybe. Um, but yeah, no, I mean... Do you know like, what we should do? We should hop into the other game while we're waiting. Yeah, go on. Do you want to do it? Because yeah, it looks like a good game. So this is, of course, uh, Candemonium Australia versus... NSG. One second before I'll ask. John, how long will it be? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll be alright. I just want to know. 
Definitely so, lowercase. Because Khan's made it, so you know it's error It's prone. messed up, yeah. You put two in. It's definitely not two. I did not just put two in, did I? You did. You did it first time too, and I corrected you. Damn. When you were talking to John. Uh, John distracted me. Okay, let's get into this game. It's 1-1. One, one. Looks yeah. like a lot of pressure here for NSG. Yeah. Um, I have to admit, I wouldn't have instinctively expected this game to be close, but you know what? Um, I forgot as well, you know, we got the whole storyline of, of Panda going against his, his old, technically his old team, his He's old a org, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, Blas made so, a bit of a... Bit of a mistake there. Bit of a bottler, would you say? That's why he's only sub. Oh, Panda? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, you may not want to comment on this one. But this it was a mistake to challenge that ball in the first place. You gave yourself about 50, and then it was just, yeah, not a great play here. Uh, Good play by Panda, though. It's a great pass by Dan. Dan's been yeah. sniping all day. And, um, yeah, it looks like the better team is winning, because as soon as I we've mean, joined in, there's been yeah. under a lot of pressure, you know? <laughs> yep, yeah. No, I have to disagree there. Uh, we saw, we were making fun of uh, Sam's trainer pack, really, but I tell you what, they're clearly paying off as well. Because, you know, uh, not very convincing there on the clear. Can's, believe it or not, Can's won an aerial. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting to it. I'm sorry, Khan. So if you're listening, I'm so sorry. But that's a great shot. What a save I made it off. Blah's been caught out again there. Blah needs to step up a little bit here now. He's making a couple of errors. Oh, Khan! Khan! Oh, my God! That could have been incredible. Carrick Dan, though, keeping the ball in that blue half. Khan, once again, gets it away from Mayday into that blue corner. Khan's looking for a very similar touch of last time. Doesn't quite get it, though. 40 seconds left in this game. This is working out very, very nicely for this. This, uh, this team here in orange, not NSG, uncharacteristically. Uh, we'll see here, Arctic knocks it wide to Mayday. What can he do? Only down to carry down as that ball is still in that blue half. It's not a good pass at all. Like, Ross just didn't look. He didn't see where Panda was. Let's see what Arctic can do from here. He gets shut down by Cans pretty early on. And Blau to go clear over Panda's head. 14 seconds left in this game. Mayday is up. Oh, he plays damn well there, but unfortunately, Panda covers well from him. Dan sweeps that one away, and five seconds left. This could be game one going to the underdogs. Cert most certainly, that is Candemonium Oscar Elga. That ball hits the ground, and that is a big, big game one. And unfortunately, guys, we may have to leave the stream there. We may be doing SG a massive favour here. <laughs> and moving over to where, or are we? Um, I think we should stay with the upset. What do you think? I think it's too exciting. Because they're playing really bad. Yeah. They're playing really, really bad. They need to step up big time. They're not playing good. We'll join it after. Yeah. They need to step up. They're either not coming or someone's playing the wrong position. They're not playing well. They need to play faster. Yeah. The comms need to get going. I'm telling you one thing. Panda, from that like brief period I saw, was playing unbelievable. He's the guy that left NSG. Let's not forget. Yes, this is true. Maybe maybe he did have something right. Um, I just realised my, uh, my Deliveroo has, a, has an issue. Your Deliveroo. My Deliveroo, also known as Barry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, busy, it's a busy day. Right, Arctic knocks it in centre. Let's see what Mayday just can't get a touch on there. And all, all three Candemonium players back there able to deal with the clear in the end. Carrick Dan misses the first pass, doesn't get the second off. The big demo from Nice last. play by Arctic there. Arctic does well, he's so so good in these one on one situations when he's really in the zone. Oh, Mayday's first and quick to that one, Blado. What a save by Cans, what is that? But Mayday does it. And unfortunately there, for Candemonium, no one there to sweep up after Cans is blocked. I mean, that was just intense pressure, to be fair. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Cans obviously made the pre-flip save in it originally, but uh, it's a good finish in the end by Mayday. Big issues here, though, for NSG. They need to really get... They need to, like, not disrespect this team. They're one game away here. It just takes one game. If they lose this, they're going down. They're playing... They're on the other side of the bracket. That would be a disaster for them. Yeah, no, it would be a massive shock as well if they did end up there. We'll see now what Carrick Danning can do. It looks like Blas going to beat him to it. And gets it into the corner, but not very convincing. Arctic that's a bad pass. No, him. that's a bad pass. He put it way too far beyond him. It's clear, like, Arctic's not playing well already. I can see he's making a lot of errors. Um, oh, <laughs> good save. <laughs> good save by Abla. It's good speed by Mayday there to beat that. Double commit from the boys. That's a goal. Surely Blas gonna finish that, and he does. Uh, he does. Miscommunication there from Panda and Cans, and I can tell you from listening right here, I couldn't hear either of them comment that, so I'm not surprised. Panda cut him off there. There was no need for that. Bad mistake. <laughs> oh, I can't get over Cans. His, his reaction. I don't know if it came up on the mic, but uh, yeah, he uh, <laughs> his his nearly goal. He just his reaction was just how to go there. <laughs> 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 
physics. <laughs> it's just very camp. Anyways, we play on. Three and a half minutes left. Loads of time for this orange team to get right back into it here. Let's see what they can do. That's Can't a bad error by Blah. He double jumped for some reason. And that is a very, very cheap goal for NSG to give away, you have to say. Carrick down here, not really setting up a whole lot, and then suddenly the goal was open for Cash. Oh, he double jumped for some reason. He didn't flip into us. You know, he didn't flip into it. If he flips to the left, he saves us. Simple as that. Yeah, it's an unlucky one. It's a poor mistake from Blah. But they are still in lead. They are still winning this game. We have to try and hold it there if they want to take this series to the third game. Carrick down. What can he do in the corner? It's a great 50, but straight to Blah. Lovely cans. Racing across to cover that one. Gets it just into Mayday. Handed out so quick to clear that one away. And Arctic over a good chance. Still into the crossbar or into the post even. Nice Mayday finish. does very, very well to follow up. You can see the team chemistry here for NSG really coming in. A little bit, yeah. And um, Blah makes a good bump in net. Very intelligent by Blah to do that. Um, and Mayday just makes a good finish. Arctic, of course, putting the ball wide. He needs to work in the shooting a little bit there. Make sure these chances go in. <laughs> Forhead here is looking at his delivery room menu. I took all those chicken breasts already, bro. There's only like four of them left. Good play here now, Carrick Dan. He gets up the ball there, but Blah knocks it back to him. Hannah goes for a demo on net, but he misses it. And Arctic now has possession of the ball. But Cans, what can Cans do in this situation? The man, the myth from Waterford. Look at that little pinch for it. He's a nuts player, isn't he? For it, is too busy looking at the delivery. Dan with a good reaction there. You can tell Dan plays also. Oh wait. Blah now. He needs to get the ball in the centre. It's a good touch by Blah, but he's giving away possession by doing that. Maybe he should try and infield that a bit better. And then now beats made him much faster than him. He's gonna go for a reset. We know what Panda's like in this situation. But he says no, because he didn't have the boost. Blah getting away with that one there. Big miss from Cans on the wall. And Panda now, zero boost. Not a lot to work with here. Dan's been bumped, he's got no pass, and it's gonna go back to Cans. NSG will be able to break out of their own half. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have uh, two number nines? A number nine large. Number six extra dip. Two number forty sevens, one with cheese, and a large soda. And there I forehead. Spot on. Double! Ah. <laughs> Ross has to work on a shooting, man. Oh, speaking of shooting, though, Vlad just getting a couple of P-rollers here this game. I mean, sorry, I have to be I was not paying attention. Oh, Panda with the pass. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a good touch on Panda. You can see what he wants to do, but that is not it at all. No, NSG, you're starting to come alive a little bit in this game now. They need to play. They need to keep playing at this level. But, uh... Not been the cleanest series with him so far, and I'd be, I'd be dying to know. There's been an issue somehow. Communication on the kickoff, I'm not sure what happened there. Ronicky is playing on the side of Candemonium Oscuelaga. Oh, Carrick. Aye, aye, aye. Ronicky Dan. <laughs> I don't think you'll appreciate the distraction here <laughs> that we're providing. Um, <laughs> let's, let's focus more on the game itself as Dan. Makes up for it straight away, to be fair. There's a chance, though. There's still a chance. Three goals, minute and 40 seconds um, for it. It's possible. It's not probable. <laughs> it's possible. Nice pepper down. Yeah, <coughs> very, very nicely done from Dan. See here, a minute 44 left to go. And I mean, it is a long way back to this orange team, but I feel like it's it's not exactly above them if they can stop plays like that happening. Get one or two chances. Mayday's been found out here, I think. No, he's okay. Good play by Mayday. Well, pretty a pretty good demo. Fairly from solid. From the, from the brief bit of paying attention that I've done, um, I have to say the NSG demos, if anything, are brilliant. They're so well timed and there's someone to actually capitalise on it nearly every time, which is brilliant. What is Ross doing? Ar Arctic is like nothing making some weird plays. Nothing I don't wrong know. with a bit of ambition. Oh, Carrick Dan looks very out of sorts there, but he gets around in time. Flat. Finds Arctic in the middle. Oh, they collide with each other rather than the ball. Unfortunate one to watch. Can you, you can actually hear Blast comms, they're really good. You know, he's very clear what he's doing. He he repeats yeah. it just to make sure that there's no clear, no like problems with the comms or anything like that. I can't really hear the other two, so they're probably a little bit quieter. I hope they're able to hear each other in Discord. Uh -huh. Blast very clear, and that's, that's a good thing. You don't want someone to be too loud, obviously, don't be roaring the head on. But you want someone who's <laughs> clear, you know? Oh, made a big error. So lucky to get away with that. It was a huge error by him. Oh, big touch from Rosie Cans right into the sky. Exactly where he wanted to put it, I'm sure. <laughs> See here now. He's a bit of a fan of the old Aussie rules, I think. Oh, it's nearly good play from NSG, but again, can't quite make it happen. Mayday, we could follow that one up, which is maybe a bit ambitious. Anyways, Blau cuts it out short, and we'll see what Panic do off the wall, he gets the dunk. That's Arctic and can't follow, oh, sorry, Carrick Dan follows it up, but at the same time, it's Blau just getting hammered back in the blue net, or the orange net. He has to feel the blue team 
of NSG. They're just finding much more incisive passes and much more dangerous chances. Well, Candemonium have to open up more, and that's why we're seeing a lot of this now. Yeah. Uh, if Candemonium can get an early goal, I think they can hold on in game three. I obviously hope they don't because of my <laughs> obvious allegiances. But yeah. um, NSG, it's important for them to get the early goal, or at least keep it as close as possible for ages. <laughs> I'm going to go check the score in the other game while you. Uh, yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Something about NSG, they're great, they're the best. Um, no, I mean, look, it's a pretty even game. Um, so, pretty even series. I thought that game in particular, uh, NSG started to really run away with it there towards the end, um, which obviously you don't really want to see happen, and it'll give them the world of confidence going into this last and final game. The next, next and final game. God, my words are all over the show. Um, yeah, it was tough. Uh, saw Carrick down with some really, really good chances actually in that game. I thought played quite well. Lovely Khan definitely had his moments. And Panda, I think, with Panda, he is just a risky player full stop. Uh, it really pays off in the attacking half of things, but in the defensive half, uh, not so much. And I think he was found out there for portions of that game. And that's what really, really helped NSG. Um, having said that, some of the demos from NSG were brilliant. And it's something that um, Candemonium and are going to have to be aware of. Also, just the fact that uh, they are three very talented players who are not afraid to, to give a demo and have a good eye for a pass. Um, I think what's really good about the NSG team is while each of them, of course, have their, their own skills and all the rest, they, they can all kind of do a little bit of everything, um, which is very, very useful because it means all of them are equally as dangerous as each other, basically. Uh, anyways, moving on into this third game of this series. Just brilliant series so far Let's see what we can make of it here's mayday knocks one towards the orange back button arctic doesn't get that on target i thought surely that was asking to be scored but we see here is nsg now firmly taking control of this game in the first couple of seconds lovely canto gets it past one can't get it past another carry down with a great touch away from blah there panda up very early challenging himself and then the recovery was the, ar the archer recovery oh, oh that's no a, that's a disaster oh that's a, it's a dangerous one from Kant. There's applause all around here, as I'm assuming someone scored something nice. Uh, Mayday. Bugger won a five minute overtime against Wee Vicious in game one. Wow. Yep. So, Lan. <laughs> Lan, it does things. Magic happens. We'll see here now, is that's not a great kickoff for Candemonium. Can's though, able to knock it high and into the middle. Arctic though, sends it back with interest, and Panda can't get there. That was a really good chance for Arctic. Jamie couldn't quite follow it up there. Oh, that's that a huge a error. Big, big error. And Candemonium must get <laughs> <laughs> straight back into it. <laughs> With Kant, Kant explaining, how did that happen? <laughs> uh, as you can see, we are only human. <laughs> Ah, oh, Orlai's finest really showing up here in this match. Blah, good chance, gets a pass to one. Great sense to do, but oh, Panda knocks it away. Panda scored an absolute in. banger. Oh my oh, god, my go. top corner, net to net. That's going to be 2-1 to Candemonium Australia. And I'm sure now for NSG, the alarm bells are going to start ringing here. The alarm bells are going to start ringing big time. If they don't step up now, they're going to get beaten. And they don't want to be on the other side of that bracket, bro. I've said it many times before. They need to step up and uh, they need to like just not push up as aggressively. There's no need to. like. There isn't. They're going to make mistakes. You know, we've seen Candemonium Australia make loads of them in the last game. So just play a little bit more passive and they've got it. Whoa. Like, Mayday's is on the backboard there for no reason. Arctic's going to get beaten. You know what I mean? Like, like it's all positional errors. Like, both of them are at fault. What a Whoa. save. Dan should have scored that. Great though. save. Felt that Dan could have put it lower as a sure goal, but it was a great save for Mayday nonetheless. And now NSU with a big counter attack of their own as Panda knocks it away here. Carried down in the corner. Not really able to read that one. And Blast sneaks in, actually unchallenged. Cans out. Playing a blinder with some of these kids. Follows that one up. And uh, looking to get that one around one, but not the other. Mayday unopposed here for the moment as Dan goes in fairly late on that challenge, maybe a little bit low on boost. And uh, really, really unsure of himself in the corner. Ball comes out to Dan, and does well, gets it back, and this is a great passing play so far between Candemonium. Here we go, Canic Dan around the corner, can't get it away, that was Arctic, knocks it away, and Bla follows up, very nicely done. Can't, good read from him. As he gets another really good block to just slow the momentum down of this attack. And that ball is sailing back into the blue half. 
Hawks game really picking up in speed and intensity right now. Has made it and Blair oh, both up for this one. A great save from Carrick Dan. Good play by Keeps Penn. Keeps it a 2-1. Penn very smart there. Left it for Panda. He could have easily touched that back in centre by accident. Oh, made it. Big chance. Oh, Arctic's missing a lot of these aerials. He needs to step up here. Yeah, it was a big chance for Arctic, especially with the demo he felt it was on. Panda up very early for this one to save cans of bushes. It wasn't the best of clears for him. He was so, so well. That ball kind of dribbles back towards Carrick Dan, but it was a bit slow to get there, actually. Either way, we play on Arctic with a dangerous touch with orange cans. Nearly teeing it up for him. He's going to be so careful with those kind of ones. Mayday looking for the follow-up, and Dan does very, very well to take it off. Arctic, a knock in centre, but it's to no one. I have Enron here shaking his head beside him. I'm, I'm expecting no common, it. I'm, I'm expecting a tear now in the next minute or two. This is not great play from NSG. You have to say, Carrick Dan takes the time with that one. It's a good hit, and no one from NSG looks in position to deal with it comfortably. Panda with a good shot and a great save from Arctic. Right place, right time from him more than anything else. Mayday misses a clear too, and suddenly Candemonium is very, very in control of this. Yeah, like very much so in control. NSG is struggling. They're like not playing as a team, they're not spreading out, they're not making effective challenges, they're just getting in each other's way. Arctic's not passing the ball, Blah is just not getting in the game, Mayday isn't really doing anything, it's just a, a whole heap of nonsense really. They need to get this, they need to get a ball into the middle and affect the ball, like this one, this is an effective ball. They need to take, yeah, take him out of the game. <laughs> yeah, big demo there from Mayday, could lead to a chance, Carrick Dan trying to knock it away but with no boost, as we've seen him so many times this game, Arctic's up for that one. And it's a good read from Panda, I think he gets a great bump there. And Panda once again swiping away from the ceiling. And again, Candemonium survived, but for how long? NSG are really starting to build some momentum and some plays back in. Blam misses that, but it drops kindly to Mayday. Can he go again? He does not. Carrick Dan shuts it down down the wall, and it's a good block from him too with zero boost on him. Arctic in the middle, not much black can do that, but it's a good pop, you know, away from the Candemonium defence here. Lovely cans, knocks it away, but only into black. Who knocks it middle and that's straight oh, to Carrick Dan. It. And that's that might it. be in. I think it's just squeezing that's wide. Oh, but it's going to drop in with 45 seconds left. That is a massive goal. I'm sure you can hear the cheers beside us here. Because you got Carrick Dan, Panda, and Cans all sitting in a row beside us. That's a big goal. And it's a little bit sloppy from NSG to be letting those drills in. It's the passing in. players. They're not passing the ball effectively in midfield. I think they've been listening to the DMOX model too much because they're not passing it effectively in midfield at all. It's always a really bad midfield pass. Arctic needs to do something with this. And he doesn't. Knocks it wide into the corner, down towards Mayday. I wonder if Blatt anywhere to be found. Kant misses that one. And it just, it just falls wide of the goal. See, like they're not doing anything with the ball. They just give it away every time. It's really, oh. Carrick down with a clear and I'm sure for Candemonium, it is all hands on, on deck for defence. Big win there from Lovie Can just to get it high and wide. That's on target. Panda does well. Arctic into the corner. Blah, knocks it backward. Arctic again. There's a lot of this back and forth. Take attack. And that's a great goal from NSG. 11 seconds left. One goal in it. They have a chance. They need to get a good kickoff here, though. You have to hope Mayday is on the kickoff because if it's not, we could have issues. We'll oh, see here. It's a great finish for Mayday to keep the composure, anyways. Give his team a chance. 11 seconds left. Here we go. Panda versus Blah, I think this kickoff's going to be, it could be all down to this, it's pretty much in favour of Candemonium, Bad straight back, right. back into Arctic, can't really make much of it at the minute, gets past one, Mayday keeps it up in the air, Panda's going to let this drop unless Panda's the challenge, on his own here, it's a good hit from him I think, oh Blah, Blah yeah. keeps it in the air, but that could be it, and that's yeah. game, and that's a massive, massive win from Candemonium Australia, that is huge, a genuine upset here in this game, Really, really, really well done to those guys. NSG, they'll be disappointed with themselves. And we see here now, big, big celebrations from the boys. They are very happy with themselves. We're just going to put this other game in As the background we, while we... Oh, well, it's it's not must be over. They okay. finished, they finished up. Oh, they got two odd. Okay, yeah, cool. they got two So that game, they ended around about the same time. All right, buddy, my dear. See you there. Well, 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 well. We're going to have to get an interview here. We are, absolutely. A live exclusive here on the RLI channel. It wasn't you, Game 3, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have to ask John, uh, whatever the story is, I'm not sure. Yeah, it was big. I actually, Dan signed his book. You called it, Dan. Call it. You called it, Dan, you're going to win land. <laughs> he did call it. It was a big win. It was a big, big win. Um, <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a quick interview with the, with the winners, if they're willing. I know we had you on before. Yeah, it's only the titles anyway. Guys, massive win. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna back out. Well, I'll give Dustin face. Yeah, go on. Slide in that way. There we go, so guys. 
Candia hit with us first. It seemed like every time he scored, it was because they overextended a load and he scored I'm a huge you, counter. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you, man. The reason why we, we scored those two absolute boomers from our own half is because they wanted to score too bad. They, they had the pressure of the big org, you know. They have the org, NSG coming in. They need to, they need to perform. They, need, they wanted to win badly. They just kept over from it. We just played defense. They weren't passing it that well. They weren't. No, really they weren't. They were. They, they were, were. They were poor. Yeah. They were just, you know, trying to play like, you know, what is it? Pittsburgh Knights, just banging off the sideline. There was no but creativity, and when there was, it always went to one of you, and you scored. Yeah. Much, yeah so. Well, they they, the one pass that. <laughs> Sorry, we'll play some <laughs> chat here. Ah, uh, yeah, like you know, some some you know, Virtuoso actually calls me Sensei, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's, 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 I'm, not, I'm not surprised to read that, Jada Frey, to be honest. Yeah, You're supposed to play it, Frey, but Brick You had a really good game. Brick game three was really good from you. Oh, and obviously you. you did your own little, little play. But um, Kans was impressive, I thought, actually. Man, okay. yeah, solid. Kans, I thought Kans, Kans was solid. Really well. I told you, really well. he was so solid. Kans, I'm telling you now, Kans Matt, hits the ball, we're a good team. Man, he's in the land mobile. He's you're in guaranteed the top four now. <laughs> he's in the land mobile. He's in the land mobile. You you're guaranteed top four now, and you're on the other side of the bracket, Fuggers. Can you go to the grand final? Oh, yeah, boy. Guaranteeing top four means nothing to me. I'm going for first, so. <laughs> See you later, oh, boys. That's brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, you're a gem. Well done, boys. Good you're job. Thank you so, so much. Well done. No, no, you're fine. I'm sorry I didn't reply. We went up to centre. We went to centre in there. So, Cans, get in here, Cans. Whatever he said, right? You played well, man. You played well. You, you did a really good job. You had a quite game shaking. two. Game two, oh, you fell apart. Which uh, game, game two was standard us, like you know. We let in like two goals and the floodgates opened. And when we got to four one, you know, we, we kind of just said, um, we'll go for game. You put this down to the RLI six mans, yeah. Ah, you put down these performances to all your experiences in the six months. Well, months. the last, yeah, like, are you when I'm on the underdog team, when I'm on the underdog team, like, and I pull out that lamb will be like, you know, <laughs> uh, it's it's you know, like, it, it, I pull out a, a decent performance. Top yeah. four cans. Like, that, that's your first top four ever at Lime, guaranteed. You're straight into top four. Muff that. <laughs> oh, cans fucking. on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh no. Oh, go on, go on. Go on. Come here. No, you're on the opposite it. side of the bracket to Fuggert. Thank God. Jesus. Yeah. Which means you're going to likely play Wee Vicious. Yeah. Do you think you can beat them? I think we could. Uh, if we could beat MSG, like, we can beat them easy. Yeah. Well, not easy, but like... Best of five, different best environments. Yeah, like, I seen them play against Jaffa team. Like, they, were, they weren't that comfortable at all. Like, like No, they weren't. They, they were they poor. They poor like, but they uh, took but they, uh, but Fuggert they, to overtime in game one. Yeah, five like, minutes. Yeah, like I, but they, uh, they, they were still perfect for that five minutes. Yeah. I lost it. They were like, yeah, so not take them lightly, but like we can definitely beat them. Like, yeah, so perfect. Let's go. Pull off another shot. Like, we might maybe just, you might have a bit of money. Oh, <gasps> you like, we might just pull off, like, you know, the old freaking <laughs> pull off the old rogue, like, you know, yeah. Forehead's now gone to uh, find the org owner <laughs> to get his thoughts about that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually just shocked. Man. I'm, I'm surprised. Like. I'm not surprised. Once I joined in game one, and I saw how badly they were playing. It was in the surprise like, yeah, game. Yeah, they didn't get, they didn't get going. Like, because well, they, they almost all of your goals was, was because they would try and do an infield pass, yeah, or a backward read, and one of them would either miss or get a really bad touch, and you'd score an open F match. That's literally yeah. how it looked like, like to me. You know. I tell you, cre credit to Dan. I think he got two boomers. Like long, long clear, pass. Like, yeah. Just extra. You just had to play the, the old, net, like. the old space Tato clears from back in the day. Do you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> Space Taylor single jump aerial from back in the day. I thought you meant clearing out the Formula One grid, like which. <laughs> <laughs> he does that, alright. My boy Space Taylor. Oh. But uh, we've got uh, Stuart coming in here to chat. Right, let, 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 let's get the negatives out of the way first. A shock. But this is what land's all about, and this is why we come to land, isn't it? What do you reckon the result would have been if you were there? Two to them? I reckon we would have won. Because <laughs> 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 I don't think I would have played that badly, but um, yeah. What can I say? I mean, they show what they can do in game two because they took them apart. Yeah, the yeah. problem was, I think Panda and the other team said it very well, they tried too hard to score and they kept getting countered with long clears every time. So, But um, yeah, that was my feelings on it. But um, I think, look, I think maybe because we had such a probably dominant first game, like your second game, you tend to be maybe a wee bit more sort of, I don't know, lay back and a bit more. I think that was the problem. Well, they, maybe they, not. Yeah, maybe, now maybe overconfidence, so yeah. I'll have to sort them out later. Maybe, um, now, maybe now then that becomes like your eye-opener game as to, okay, that's well, the... It's, it's a bit of an eye-opener the... because they put themselves on the hard side of the bracket yeah. now um, and they made it tough for themselves to get into that grand final. They're, they're going to play the toughest team in the tournament. And let's not even talk about that one. They still have to play another good team. They have to yeah. play the fifth seed team now. Yeah. Whoever comes out of that other bracket as the loser. Yeah. So there's no easy way now to the final. Yeah. They made it tough for themselves, but... um. 
Great, me. How are you enjoying Lance today? Uh, good. Um, the Rocket League one, the Rocket League community seems to be one of the sort of really, really good communities. It's, it's very well run um, with yourself and the others. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, it seems to always be one that never really has any problems. So it's quite good. Everything seems to be on schedule. Because I think we weren't meant to be on until half, but we were early, I think. Yeah. So That's an end run bracket yeah. right there for you, know you know what I mean? So that's... Um, that's always a positive whenever yeah. you can get your games played before. Earlier, yeah, because that means what we can do then is either we can play it on time and get it done earlier, or we can add in extra games as the tournament goes on yeah. longer, you know what yeah. I mean? So that's always a positive. Um, you've obviously come along today, myself and, of course, the boys in our flashy NSG merch. Yeah, um, of yeah. course, you have to uh, Got to set some sort of standard, don't you? And yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? So Where's your black pants? Rob, we already discussed this. It doesn't apply to you and me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we we have to be, what's the word, different from the players. Yeah, you certainly stand on Animus, Stuart. You've got a bit of holes there in your pants, man. You're not cold. Yeah, no. no, I'm good, I'm good. That's, yeah? uh, you wouldn't know about fashion, Rob. No, man, fashion to me, bro, <laughs> completely different things. I, I, I'm, I'm fashionably on time, but that's about it. I never show up any of these things late. But um, come here. Look, obviously a bit of a disaster losing that game. Not great. But it's not over. No, no, no. They don't want... There's just a single limb bracket, so their chances gone. Like they're down to one live anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's just that they start in the quarterfinals on the other side of the bracket. Yeah. So they're gonna be playing either purple or demonic esports. Both of those teams could be tricky. They should beat them though, well, in my mind. Um, what do you think that the guys need to do? I guess going forward. Well, I think as we said, it's getting that you're gonna have a bad game anywhere. Like you're always gonna have that one that you're just, you know, you're not quite there. Um, I say we had such a dominant performance first. And then the second one now, hopefully that's our sort of scud game out of the road and that can be us now, you know, the guys will be tuned in for the next games and I'd say hopefully we can push to grand finals because it'd be good again on the live stage. Yeah, it would be, absolutely. It'd be um, good, for, good for the merch. Absolutely, you know? yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because um, um, I'll be, at least if the camera's at least on me, <laughs> I'll be flashing this, but um, come here to me. Uh, who's that? No, it's just a sound. I thought it Oh, I don't know if the sound is bad or good, but anyway, I think it's fine. So, um, last yeah. thing, anything about NSG? Tell us, yeah. tell us uh, what what's 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 happening for 2020. Obviously, you've got yourself in grain now, firmly in the Rocket League community, and you're obviously yeah. enjoying the game. Yeah. Um, um, well, I've got my wee man here with me who's busting the play as well. He's he comes nine on Tuesday. Oh, very so nice. he's uh, he happy birthday. He's an official sub today. Um, <laughs> Well, do you think you could play better than the guy he said in the last game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, he's uh, he'll probably be one that comes through. Rock he, he plays every game. League of Legends, Counter Strike, Rocket League, you name it. So, what do you we'll think of the the atmosphere actually here? Like, is it a bit like is it like a standard LAN atmosphere for you, or is that a bit more hype, a little bit less hype? What, what do you think? It's very. I think it's very hectic. I think anyway, at least. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to the hype, you probably don't get the hype until the later games. Yeah, you know, those not. first round games, all people no, just, they're all just whatever. Just I definitely feel the LAN. For me, um, LAN takes it out of you. I already, I could, I could lie and sleep in the corner right now. I just, you know, it just, it just seems well, probably because of the travel and then sitting waiting around. It's always just, the, I think the waiting around, yeah, really just. But yeah, no, it just, it's just, um, it actually feels like, you know, I've been to Insomnia and in, you know, in Birmingham twice, mm -hmm. and it gives you that sort of feel. So I would love to have like a proper BYOC here one day, you know, or yeah, do it that way. You know, it means like. We you have our own your computers, PCs, you, know, yeah. you can sit and chill and, you know, whatever your team's not playing, you know, you can have your own downtime, whereas at the minute it's just sort of having to find somewhere to sit and wait about. Yeah, I need to wait. But I mean, that's expected. I mean, I've been to, I don't know, 10 LAN events, maybe more. So, I mean, that's it's expected. It's nothing different, you know what I mean? It's same as anywhere. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Um, and I say Rocket League it seems to be one of the strong communities in Ireland, which is great. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, um, League of Legends has sort of gone differently because of... Like just the way Riot Games have put stuff. Um, obviously with Overwatch tomorrow, which I think Overwatch isn't a bad community, I'm pretty sure, within Ireland. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty tight-knit community. They're obviously a larger game than us because of the amount of money that yeah, was I mean, Blizzard throwing, but they're throwing way too much money. But yeah, uh, <laughs> and Overwatch, the Ireland team, are only back from, Worlds. from, from the World Cup. So, you know, um, hopefully tomorrow, um, yeah, I'm not going to be here, but hopefully tomorrow Overwatch um, could be a, could be a good tournament as well. So, yeah, there's two decent games. Um, and so, fingers crossed, cool. tomorrow goes as smoothly as what Rocket League has. Cool. Uh, so. Any final thoughts? So, um, no, we just need to get into Keep talking, ignore me. I'm going to set the game up. No. Keep talking. We just, uh, hopefully, we can make grand finals. 
Yeah, like, that, that would be ideal. Yeah, we just grand finals now. Be happy. Cool. Perfect. So, um, Stu, thanks thank for, you very much for coming yeah. on to the stream. Cheers. Thank you. Um, forehead. I'm gonna go now. Have a little break after that one. I need to pick my team up. <laughs> and um, you can cast and bring in someone. I yeah, bring in SPF or someone or Luke or, or I don't know. I need to eat too. To be very honest with you, I might leave this run and just let them enjoy because. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely stuffed. Cool, perfect. Right, we can hop so. off. So, I'm gonna let this play away in the background. Enjoy your uh, game play. Let's make sure we. Uh, yeah, enjoy, guys.
Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you so so much for your patience. We're jumping right into the quarterfinals, the crunch time, the big leagues. Here we go. Single elimination from here, best of five minimum. And uh, a lot of pressure on this NSG team. Yeah, indeed. I have NSG here versus purple. NSG of course consisting of Bla, Arctic and Mayday. Purple here in the blue, you know, oh, close enough. Uh, made up of Jaffa, Kip and Pengu and both sides coming in a lot of pressure like you said it is single limb from here on out so everything matters best of five so we are upping the stakes even more and uh, NSG obviously coming off the back of that poor performance against uh, Candemonium Osquelga uh, having said that this purple side have played pretty well at times I don't think they've really shocked anyone or been above expectations but they have done fairly well so far I have to see how they can do now against this NSG side. Yeah, I was just tuning in there and looking at the other game because uh, the Aura Esports guys are playing Wee Vicious in the other quarterfinal at the moment. Yeah. Wee Vicious took game one at 2 0, but uh, it's game two at the moment, and Aura just took the opening goal there, so that's why you heard a big roar there in the background. But, yeah, yeah. Right. interesting we, to see. Wee Vicious and Aura, I have to say, it was the stream, it was the game we had on before that wasn't casted, and uh, yeah, probably two of the loudest teams are going to be here today. Definitely. Nice oh. to know they're positioned right beside us. <laughs> Josh <laughs> and Jakey. <laughs> yep. The two J's. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Uh, but focusing back on this game now, minute and a half played and zero goals in it so far. Pengu not in a very fun position, but he gets away with it very, very well. As uh, Mayday eventually closes him down. Arctic looks to make something happen around that corner. He just taps it up in the air. Tantalizing for his teammates, but Pengu gets in first. Jaffa knocking it away into that orange half. But Mayday, again, very smart Mayday. He's, he's following the clears. He knows when they're going to clear it, and he's there ready to respond straight away. A lot of pressure from NSG, um, but they're not connecting, they're not able to pass the ball, and that's what cost them against uh, Canada Money Moscow. They weren't able to pass effectively, and they're struggling at the moment to break down this brick wall for this purple. Yeah, well of course, uh, purple in particular, Pengu and Jaffa to an extent too, were fantastic defensively, so that's a big miss from Arctic in the air there. But blue were very strong defensively at times in other games that we've seen them win and that is a fantastic save from Pengu once again as Jaffa looking to set up the counter attack here Kip can't get it centred tries to muscle his way past Blatt doesn't work here Mayday with possession taps it around Pengu Arctic's in the middle from looking to fake out Jaffa with the 2 on play that is brilliantly done for Mayday a little bit of his 1v1 specialty coming into play here very very nicely done he spotted the, the extra man difference and really played Jaffa very good play by Mayday there um Caught the ball perfectly on the dribble, and Jaffa got done. And Jaffa's normally very good in that one v one situation as well. For it, we've seen it time and time again. Jaffa's ground game very strong, but uh, uh -huh. he's been outdone there by uh, by Medic. Yeah, very very nicely done, squeezing it right into the bottom corner. That was nearly a second chance. Could be a runaway goal here though. If Jaffa can get there quickly enough. Flat is oh, indeed no. back, but that is not how you save it. And we're back in a tied game with two minutes left. Keep this time with the credit, but I don't know. He can nearly give the assist flat. <laughs> Uh, I was told I might have to sub in for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a turnaround that would be. That would be, oh, it wouldn't quite be two lands in a row, but it would be two lands this year you subbed in for someone. <laughs> <laughs> Were that to be the case. To the final as well. <laughs> well, Anyways, we proceed. Two minutes left in this game, a tied game as it stands. Arctic looks to take possession of the ball, does well to get himself under kick, just positions himself so awkwardly for him to deal with. Thank you. Big miss there, but it falls kindly to Jaffa. Gives out the kip into Pengu. This could be a great chance. And that is a fantastic goal from Purple. NSG maybe just sacrificing possession a bit here. But having said that, you have to admire the pass and the shot. Yeah, I've made a very poor touch. Give away possession straight away. Pass the center. Center the ball, essentially, um, for the opposition. And the pass came in. And Pengu, good finish. Flat wasn't able to do much there, to be fair. There's nothing he could have done. Made it with a really poor play. He's undone his good one the one play with that poor play. Yeah, well, we proceed 2-1 here with a minute and a half to play, and Bla looked like he was going to get a very quick response. Doesn't quite happen on this occasion. Still time for this NS team to come back into this game, but at the moment, blue just looking, or purple, sorry, this blue team, called purple, seems to be just growing and growing in confidence at the minute. Yeah, but even when people are starting to freestyle a little bit, you know they're growing in confidence, right? <laughs> well, let's see now, Arctic, looking for the pass in field. It doesn't really fall to anyone. Pinched away and Blaz, the closest NSG player to it, can't get there. It's a good touch from Jaffa to take it on the run. 
Mayday does well. Right place, right time. Gets in the way of Pengu. Knocks it up nice and high for his team. Blaz the only one there, though. Let's see what Purple can do here. That's a great touch from Jaffa. It's a top corner. It's a great save from Mayday. I'm not sure if it's on target, but he gets the credit in game, apparently. So, oh, that's all that that's big, open, big open miss Pengu. here from Blue. But can then actually make it a use of it? Mayday misses Mayday it. Missed there. The ball. Oh, that's the oh, second oh. time he's done a big error, but they're going to score here surely. No, yes. Oh, 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 well. Oh, well, oh, well. NSG by the skin of their teeth. I've got one back. And it's well done for Arthur. I don't know how much he knew about it, but he's done very, very well there to bring his team back into it. Leveling it up with 35 seconds left, where basically next go wins territory here. Pretty essentially, yeah, but um, keeping the Jaffa double committed there, and that's why that ball was passed out. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be pretty sick of themselves there now, keeping them away, because they've had a lot of pressure for the last minute and a half, haven't they? And all of a sudden, Ooh. they're up against this. Yeah, they really are. Momentum is really, really shifting hard in this game. Kip knocks it away into the iron trap. It's going to go just over Arctic's head towards the mayday. Big demo from Jaffa, but it doesn't matter. Arctic looking for the centre of the blast. It's a great pass. chance, and it's a good save from Kip there. Five seconds left. Arctic knocks no, the centre one last idea. time. Pengu knocks it away, and this is actually a bit of trouble for Mayday, but he does it very, very well. Blah misses, <coughs> and Jaffa ca keeps it up, if anything. Over Mayday it goes, and Arctic is there to read the danger. Mayday looking to keep it up himself, but we don't. We go into overtime in game one. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh. My loyalties are torn here. <laughs> this, one, this one really could go all the way here. Jaffa looking for a pass in field. Kip was there. Triple commit, oh, no, double commit, rather. Blah and Mayday. They do well to get away between the two of them, but it shouldn't have taken two. Mayday not able to get the shot on that he wanted. Let's see what Kip can do here. He's trying to centre in for his teammates, gets it past one player just about with Pengu. Trying to continue the attack, really didn't work out well. And Blads as well to get a pass, Jaffa. Oh, but that's a missed opportunity there. As we play on Mayday, trying to recycle this attack, knocks it in centre once again, and it's a good touch of Pengu to take it away. Knocks it out towards Pengu. Let's see what he can do with this. Arctic, though, gets in the way of that one. Kip knocks the centre once again. And again, an NSG player is there, quick to shoot out the attack. Oh, made it. That could have been a massive chance, but it doesn't quite happen for Mampengu here. Really, really in trouble. This purple team are really struggling at times Not a good touch. to just get possession of the ball properly. Made is giving away possession again. This game, he's having a really bad game one. He needs to get up a little bit here. Good touch from Kip just to stop the ball into blue half and Jaffa with a very nice double. Blah, trying to get that ball away, but no can do as Pengu shuts him down. What turns it with Pengu. interest and Kip's gonna oh, get there. Oh, what a save by Blah. Kip almost sealing the deal for his team. And again, let me remind you, this is game one only. Jaffa trying something fancy, it doesn't quite work out. Pengu looking to pass him to himself. Oh, Jaffa's made a huge error. Oh, oh he, he gets away with it just about. Kip not up as early as Arctic was and made it up so early for that but he can't get there. And we play on nearly two minutes into this overtime. Pengu with a shot! Oh, what a finish into the top corner. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from Pengu and this purple side. A game that could have gone either way there. How many times today have you seen the third man of NSG play way too high up the field? How many times? Yeah. How many times have they been caught? I don't think Bla was a, like he was probably a fault for that goal, but he wasn't the worst player in the game. They made out a shocker, an absolute shocker of a game. He needs to pick up his performance big time. Yeah, okay, look, the scoreboard doesn't say that, yeah, but he's the re he's responsible for them having two goals in that game. Um, so yeah, they've got to uh, pick it up next game, and um, I mean Kip's getting involved in the action now. He's playing like a standout player, isn't he? Yeah, he really is getting involved now at times. I think the thing is that all the yeah, go ahead, all the purple guys they had their. Uh, they had their highlights at times. You know, Jaffa with the ground play, Pengu had a couple of chances in the air, one or two double touches, and Kip is really just getting a lot more involved than we've seen them in previous games, which is great to see. NSG guys, I think on a normal day, they would probably be better than this team, but right now they're just, none of them are quite, seem to be playing at 100%, not quite clicking. We saw the odd pass go in field, and then was just cleared away way too easily from Purple and things like this. So we'll see if they can try to turn it around in this game, as that's a great centre set things off, and great block from Jaffa but can't make it two in a row. Oh, he can't, and Arctic does the damage here. Good play from Blah. Kip made a bit of a meal of this, made a meal of it again. And uh, yeah, not much Pengu could do there. Arctic with a decent finish in the end. It's not the best finish, but a decent finish. And um, yeah, 
get a shield guard pick this up now, because we're going to game four at least. Regardless what happens here, unless they can get swept. <laughs> Which wouldn't be I think of. Uh, well, I'd be very surprised, but we'll see how it turns out. Mayday, knocking in center. That's a great pass for Flower. Nearly dunks Pengu with a clear. And again, Mayday following up. And this is a big, big response from NSG right now. Yeah, they needed these two goals early on. This means they can sit back now and play their game. The issue with NSG is they're not trusting each other, and that's why they're having a lot of these double commits that they've been having the last few games. I feel like also that the midfield guys push up too high, and that's a bit of an issue for them. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this rest of this game goes. But uh, big pressure now on Purple to respond, isn't it? Oh, big time. Yeah, two goals so quickly as well at the start of the game. I mean, if you're going to concede two goals, at least it's early and they have time to respond. But at the same time, it is not how they would have wanted to start off the second game. So Arctic looks like he's going to miss that one. And Pengu with a shot. And NSG, well, they may have got started off well. But, you know, your expression says, oh, sat back, hands crossed. They really handed that one to Purple. You hate to say it, but they did. When I missed two backward reads at LAN in uh, RLI LAN in Cork, it was take, the Mickey was taken out of me and the team. But collectively, between all of them, they've missed about six or seven today that have led to goals. That's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> so they need to pick it up here because they're not looking like a top four team at all. They're leading this game, but this is about to go in because Jaffa's about to score this. And Whoa. he did not. Jaffa has made an absolute meal of this. And this is why he's still a lot team. Oh, that was a big, big chance there for Jaffa. And also, Kip, you'd wonder, could he on another day put that one more on target? Kip's and Nixus. Anyways, yeah, clearly. <laughs> we move on here. One minute played and three goals already in this game too. So it looks like the each yeah, each team knows their opponent's weakness. Flat. Taking it up the wall there. Jaffa though shuts him down nice and early, keeping the ball in that orange half. Doing so so well and Pengu keeps it in there, but it's a good clear from Arctic. Gets it over Kip's head. Jaffa though knocks it away and Blah reads it to some extent. He was unlucky there with his touch more nothing else. Ball is Dropping out of Arctic, another good clear. Again, we've just seen a lot of, you know, sort of ping pong, Rocket League and stuff. As Pengu goes up for that one off the crossbar. And again, NSG sort of getting away with murder there. Yeah, big time. As uh, thunder and lightning happened there. I'm not messing with you. There's a lot of running going on. I don't know if they're like training or something. I don't know what they're training for because they might cause this thing to collapse, to be honest with you. A couple of people on an absolute mission, anyway. I don't know if you heard all the rumbling going on above us, but there you go. It's a great pass on Pengu should score that. Oh, that's the second oh, time they've blown in here. NSG are yeah. living on nine lives here. Yeah, big time. Very, very nice plays, and they really are carving open NSG at times this purple side. But at the same time, they need to start finishing them. There's a lot of time left for them to make it up. But you think if they don't, if they're not able to get that second goal, they'll be ruining those chances earlier on. I think they need to keep Arctic. Off the foot line and put him on the defense because he's more comfortable on defense than what I've seen. Uh, I know he's obviously missed a few backward reads, but he's like a better third man than Mayday and Blah, and they should keep him in that position. Mayday misses that read there. Pengu thought about going up for it, but leaves it to Jaffa. Can he get the double on? Arctic though cuts it out really, really well and blocks down Pengu's pass in the middle too. Kip knocking it away for now. Jaffa follows that one up, and Blah just stalls the momentum there, but takes it away from his teammate too. Again, a little bit of just lack of communication from NSG. We'll see how they fare in these final two minutes. Jaffa looking for a play into the middle. No one there though this time around. Arctic knocks it more sideways than he does away. Thank you. Looking for a teammate, but he can't find one. This is going to fall nicely to Blah, who gets demo just at the crucial moment. Very, very nicely from Kip. But again, Purple also looking a bit shaky around the edges too. Mayday. Look, they just get that one away. Only finds Pengu with it. Blah. Comes back to clear it away. We'll see what Jaffa can do here. Only straight into the path of Blah. And NSG starting to look a little bit more dangerous as this game goes on. As, as Purple takes more risks. Brilliant save there from Jaffa as Arctic centers it. Two, unfortunately, no one. That ball is straight over Mayday. And Blah. It's not the most convincing it clears into his own corner. Goes for a second by the cherry, doesn't work. Kip flicks it up to Pengu. Oh, just off the crossbar, and Jaffa follows up. Oh, Arctic. He stayed very still for a very long time, but he got away with it. One minute remaining. The score still remains 2-1 to NSG as things stand. Made it a great pass centered to Arctic, and Pengu just about getting there in time. Spider-Man saved there from Pengu. Very impressive. But um, <laughs> NSG finally getting a bit of pressure in this game. How do you think? Purple will be feeling after missing two open nets in this game. I think they'll be raging if they don't check the store with them at least. Yeah. Because I mean, they've had better pressure most of this game. Yeah. 
Yeah, hundred uh, percent. I would, uh, yeah, no. It's a, it's a, it's a tough cookie to swallow, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's a big miss there from Ada. I think that was. Thank you. Braces down the left hand side of that Jaffa. Puts it in off the corner. Doesn't work on this occasion. Goes for it again. Mayday. Knocks it over the heads of Team Purple. Thank you though. Does well to just knock it back into the orange half. But for now, that's all it is. As it goes straight to Mayday. Follows it out middle. Thank you. Into Jaffa. Off the backboard. Who's there for Team Purple? Thank you misses. Kip's there. Is that in? It's just wide. And Blast saves. Kip with another great centre. But there's no one there. <coughs> And that is going to be game two to NSG. And wrong, I'd be amazed if you have any fingernails left after that one. Yeah, they're already gone, boy. I lost <laughs> them in the series earlier on today, to be honest with you, bro. I mean, um, yeah. Um, very messy Rocket League, I have to say. Not very impressive, not very good. But I don't think NSG will care too much. Uh, but they need to pick it up if they want to not get smashed to bits by uh, buggers. Yeah. Well, we'll see. It's a good kickoff from Jaffa. He goes for it again. Catching Mayday out big time there. And Pengu maybe could have gambled and kicked. What an aerial. Nearly, nearly Where? did. Mayday knocks it away for now, but it's straight towards Jaffa. He likes the ground place. He likes a good flick. Gets it over one. Arctic, though, gets it around two even better. As Kip puts it back into the orange half where he wants it to be. Pengu with a nice center there, but only in front of Bla. And at the moment, there's a lot of back and forth. It's a bit scrappy. It's more just, you know, who can hit the ball harder at this stage right now. See, Kip forced into a fairly quick play. Nearly works out well for him in the end. <laughs> Jaffa, the good read off the wall there for him, but a good ping from Vlad too to respond. And again, just a lot of back and forth right now with no clear sort of passing or direction at this point in time. It's a great pass oh, by Mayday. Oh, oh. Arctic finally with a good shot for the first time he's land. Uh, very, very nicely done. We won't comment on Arctic shooting, but brilliant little touch there from Mayday. And Arctic, Roy plays right time to capitalise on it. That's brilliant. the first time he's ever hit a three digits uh, kilometer number on a shot. <laughs> Too soon? Joe, I nearly, I nearly wouldn't be surprised. Anyways, we play on. Thank you. Knocks it away. But only as far as Arctic the ball still in the blue half. They won't like that at all. Made it over two, and that could be going straight in. Just off the post that stays out for now. And Purple getting very, very lucky in this occasion. We've said that most of the luck has been on SG times, but Purple's oh, getting has. lucky there themselves. Well, there, yeah, but I think uh, NSG have, uh, have had a lot more luck than Purple this series so far. But um, NSG maybe starting to rotate a bit better. Um, yeah, let's see. Ross for a double. Oh, no. Can't get us. Here. Probably should just rotate there quicker. Yeah, it was a good effort, but not exactly what he was looking for there from Arctic. We'll see what this end is. Jeez, so he can produce three minutes left. It's definitely not enough for them to sit back and hold on to this lead. I don't feel as Bla finished that one brilliantly into the bottom left corner. That's the first time we've seen an absolute like quality infield pass. Like, look at that, like perfect as you like. Like, look how much, you, like, look how easy you can catch 112. Again, now they're starting to put the passing plays together. Now they're starting to get a bit better. A mistaken kip, obviously, led to that. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe this hole. <laughs> where, where is it? What's up here? Okay, <laughs> okay there's no hole. Well, hang on, hang on. And there's no hole to take this fucking thing off. Uh, I'm raging we... <laughs> I'm raging we don't have a camera here because what you would have missed is Enron trying to tap his NSG logo on his jacket. And then I was also looking at that and not the screen. And then Kip scores a, I'm going to say it was a blinder. It's probably a blinder of a shot. I can absolutely crack it. A blinder if you're the person who missed the AEL team's uh, game in the final. <laughs> Anyways, 2-1 is the scoreline. Three minutes left. Let's see what this purple side can come up with. Jaffa tries to get it into the backboard, but Mayday shuts that down. Jaffa once again able to read Mayday's clear. Pengu not expecting the miss from Kip, but it works out well. They recycle it to Jaffa. And then that time is cut out by NSG. Arctic looking for centre for Blah, but that's a dangerous one. Jaffa was up so, so early for that. Pengu looking to put it centre himself, but it doesn't quite work out. Arctic with a big pass on the backboard. Kip though, able to... Uh, Able to get it away for now. Jaffa looking to bring his team back into this. 2 1 remains the scoreline. It's a big demo from Jaffa onto Blah, but I don't think it's going to be much help. Pengu and Kip just flailing around, messing, looking for a pass. It was a good save there, a good clear from Blah nonetheless. Pengu 
Looking for a touch on the back, but Jaffa, can he drop this? And he can't go get the touch he wants. And Peng, or sorry, and Kip backs off to wait and recycle the play. Gets it around one. Gets in Arctic's way too, but it doesn't help too much. As Arctic trying to pass it out. Oh, he just takes it away from Blatt at the wrong moment. That could have been a big goal there, but it didn't happen. And this purple side, again, hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Just under two minutes remaining now in this game. And Duff gets the best of five, so nothing is settled here. Thank you. Looking for a middle, looking for Jaffa. He nearly, nearly gets it. Kip, what can he do here? Can't quite follow it up how he'd like. Not enough boost there. Arctic just knocks it middle, but straight into Jaffa as he pings it towards the backboard, and Blah is equal to it. Jaffa goes again towards Kip, but that is just backwards and four, and the passing from Purple has not been on points at the minute as Arctic may just have an open net. And that is one of the easiest goals to score in this tournament. He's had a really good game three. He's been the carry on game three here, and um, he's been phenomenal. But again, it's a little bit of a misplay in the midfield from Kip. Arctic, of course, punishing that, and that's what we need here. And uh, yeah, 3 1 up now. Looks like NFC will have game three here, and hopefully they can make the top four at least. Yeah, well, we'll see. There's still a minute. <laughs> There's still a minute 16 left. And it is, of course, the best of five, anyways. So see here, Kip knocks it towards Pengu. Very nicely done. Pengu goes up for his own touch. Oh, it's very wide though. Jaffa doesn't have much to do with that. Knocks it in towards Kip, but nothing doing there. And actually, oh, a bit of miscommunication as Pengu nearly had an open net to himself. Jaffa looking for the shot, and that's a great save from Ada off the ceiling of his own goal. Those are the kind of saves you need to make though if you're looking to win a land, you know? And uh, that's a good save there by him. Arctic does centering it. Not a great touch, but it might get away with us. They do indeed, it's purple. Look to try to hold on to possession here. Kip sells a dummy big time there. I don't know who it was to. But 35 seconds left. He needs a goal at this point. Thank you. Looking to just keep the ball in that orange half for now. Arctic misses that one badly, but it goes to Blah. Kip unable to read that one at all. And that's a great pass into Arctic. He just smashed it off the crossbar. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo. well, well, well. So, so unlucky from this NSG side. 3-1 remains the scoreline. They're still leading this game with 10 seconds left to go. Mayday knocks into the corner. Nothing doing there. Follows up, and that might be a target. That's a brilliant finish from Mayday. Starting to, starting to play well now in this game. He's been absent the first kind of two or three games, but uh, this game now in game three, he's, he's getting into us. And uh, yeah, all they need now is Blatt to start ticking away. And once they have the three been playing well, they've got a chance against any team. Yeah, brilliant stuff from Mayday. Just confirming the victory really more than anything else in this game for NSG. The series as a whole is far from done and dusted. 2-1 at the minute. And uh oh, sorry, 2-1 as it stands with this one finishing up now. And then and she need one more. Purple though. We saw we they got that first game and they got it fairly comfortably. You'd hope that you know NSG don't mentally reset, but at the same time, it's not impossible. I don't think they will mentally reset. I think they want that top four. They want at least something to come away from today. Whether it's a hundred euro, three hundred euro, whatever it is, I think they want something. 100 euro is just going to get you your ticket money back. Um, no, obviously NSG looked after their ticket money, but uh, you know it's only 30 euro, whereas they get 100 euro each if they come second at least. So they made it difficult for themselves, but uh, let's see. Game four, and made is known for his good kickoffs. And well, I haven't said that. That was a bit of a risky one. Blast to come in and kind of save the team there with that one. Thank you. Looking to get a centre. I guess a good bump on Arctic, but not much else. Kip looking to put that one into the middle, but doesn't quite happen for him. See here now, another fiery start from this purple side. There's Penguin with a big win there. This is a risky one for Arctic. Oh, and Arctic really caught between a rock and a hard place as so that one bounced down towards him. He should have challenged that earlier, in my opinion. He could have gone. Look, he's facing towards the ball. He decided not to go. It was obvious from the way Penguin was leaning up for the shot. He wasn't trying to pop it. He just tried to place it. And he could have beaten him to it. Or at least gotten a decent challenge on it. But anyway, 1 0, and um, maybe game 5. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Four minutes 30 to go, that is a long time. That's a great pass from Pengu. Blah though, doing exceptionally well to get that one away. He gets it over the head of Jaffa too, and misreads the, uh, the backboard bounce. Pengu though, up nice and early. Gets it away into the corner of this orange pitch. Arctic gets it away from Jaffa, but not past Kip, and Blah's there to dunk it down really, really well. NSG really come out, fired up, and that's a great touch from Ada into the middle. But Jaffa knocks it away. And for now, Purple keep a clean sheet with four minutes to go. Great play there by Arctic to fake the ball into the corner. Well, he's steaming a lot of time. He's starting to play better now. He's playing well. Um, and Blah Mayday can start to really like put things together. They can do really well here. But Arctic's up for it now. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, what a save from Kip, flying across his goal to get to that one. It was a good shot from Arctic considering what, I've seen, what we've seen from him earlier today. But that was some save from Kip. Yeah. Do you know what? Kip's played really well, hasn't he? This yeah. Tournament. Hasn't he? Like, like, considering it's his first land, the level of Rocket League was playing. I mean, that guy might be on your IEL team next, again, next season. No? Okay. He might, he might have been on last season. You never know. <laughs> Flat has got an open net here. Oh, that's a finish. That's a great finish. Arctic with a cheeky steal attempt. But that is brilliant. A great demo from him. And then Blah. Well, there's plain sailing from there. Jaffa could have maybe backed out of that. He wasn't like he was set in motion, you know. He could have maybe killed that or something. He could have done something a bit different. But unfortunately, he just passed the ball to Blah. And Blah was at a punish. Now purple. But we'll see. I have a feeling that when the NSG are tied against a weaker team on paper, uh, they're better. But once they're down, obviously, they can't do much damage. So we'll see how it goes. We'll play by Black. Go for the bump. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful play, beautiful commentary symmetry. Just everything. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It's a good bump by Blah. No matter who you are, you wouldn't say that anyway. Because, you know, it was straight down the middle. Someone's got bumped. Your neighbor's saving it anyway, no matter yeah. what happens. So, uh... Uh, good play by Blader, and looks like the boys are looking well now, but they need another goal just to get that kind of um, safety net. One goal lead is never comfortable in Rocket League, as we know for it. Yeah, exactly. Mayday, looking to keep the pressure on, keep the goal scoring intensity up on this purple side. Jaffa, nice 50. Wins that one well, but there's not much boost on him or Pengu. Who then, of course, sets demos for his troubles. Jaffa, though, taking this nearly the whole way at this point. Keeps up er very early, too. I thought he was beating Arctic to that, but he just missed out. Thank you. Knocks it away out to the side and blah. I mean, from NSG, it's not it's not easy kind of stuff, but they are getting there. They're winning their challenges in their 50 50s for the most part, and uh, we'll see <laughs> how we can play on. An absolute moron. <laughs> it's bit, of a, bit of an over the top of Blah goes just off the ceiling. Oh, Jaffa. That could have been a, a very, very serious goal without him. But Kip just about. Sorry, made it just by keeps it for now. Jaffa, actually, bro, in. Jaffa, bro, what is that? He knows what Pingu is. He knows what Kip just wins. You either get, you either know you have to get a really good shot, or I don't know, put it somewhere in the corner. Yeah. And he decided to just drop it straight down on the ground. This is literally what NSG were doing against Candemonium. They were literally just passing the ball to him in front of the net so they could get a big boom and clear into the other goal. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they obviously haven't watched that series and learned from it. Very slow for that there. Thank you. Looking to keep the ball in the orange half, but Mayday has all the right is off the ceiling. Very nicely done for him. A little bit show offy maybe, but very nicely done nonetheless. We'll see that. <laughs> we'll see how we go from here. A minute 47. This game is not over at all. 1 3 is, of course, the scoreline, but we've seen Purple score before over and over again. They are a side filled with attacking creativity. But at the same time, NSG have just been step, or just, I can't speak anymore. NSG have just been stepping up their game you can speak. over and over again. Nah, I just feel like once the ball goes in the air, they're just not as quick to it, they're not as confident to it, or something like that, you know. And um, they have had a bit of luck in this game, I would say, NSG have. And again, Arctic trying these like field touches which just aren't working for him. It's not getting up quick enough, I think. Mm -hmm. um, there's no panda. Yeah, yeah, totally fair enough. Blah. Just playing it slow now. You can feel the intensity from NSG's point of just kind of fade out of the game just a little bit. No harm in that though, when you're two goals up with less than a minute to play. Jaffa looking to make something happen, but it doesn't. Mayday pops up nicely for Blah. Is Arctic around? Mayday's up again. That's a big save between Kip and Jaffa. A pinch clear away. 40 seconds left here. Arctic knocks it down for Blah. That's going to hit the crossbar surely. And it just stays out, but Mayday drops it down, and that is a brilliant finish. Rammed home by Blah. 34 seconds left, 4 1. So Arctic is starting to realize when to pass the ball. That's the biggest thing I've taken from the series. He's, he's, he made a lot of weird players. We can get away with saying that as the caster. <laughs> what? That's made me laugh. What? I was just. I was just stretching. No, not and you. No, no, John. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's not yeah. over yet, like. Okay, it is now. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, NSG are looking like they're going to win the series. Purple put up a good fight. They've taken a game off them. So well done to them.
where we're going to have Wee Vicious on stream next, and they're going up against Candemonium Osquelega, the number three and number four seed playing each other, where the number one and number two seed are playing each other in the other semi. So, um, don't go anywhere, guys, but well done, NSG. <laughs> Yeah, no, very, very well done to those guys. Uh, NSG making their way into the semis. This is as far as the road goes for purple. Um, good to all around. A lot, lot of swings and roundabouts. Could have gone a couple of different ways on another day. But uh, very well done. Yeah, 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 yeah well, let's do it. Tell them to host with them. <laughs> well, big man, we're proud of your team. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good, good stuff, good stuff. The Southern Arctic started, Arctic started hitting the ball. It's good. We always, I think it was a two game throw, we went 2 0 up and then they came back and scored. Now it's like, oh, it's Rocket League, bro. We were sweet. <laughs> That's Rocket League, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the game can turn just like that. Once you've given all yeah. the pressure and then with a kickoff, a lucky kickoff, you can get a goal out of it. So, yeah. Alright, yeah. let's hop straight in. Yeah, let's do it. It should be. John, tell the other, whenever Fogarty get on, then get them playing straight away against NSG, yeah? The faster we can get it done, all best of five. The faster we can get it done, the better. Yeah, best of five. All right, let's get this one some socks. Woo! Someone's missing. Who is it? It's Cans. Probably couldn't log into the lobby. Classic. Probably can't read. I don't know. Yikes. Nah, I'm messing. Love Cans. If, if that wasn't clear, by the way, that we don't love Cans, um, I'm just going to make it clear now. We absolutely do. Um... Anywho. <laughs> Do it. Are you ready? Go on, you can go. We're about to cast. We have Candemonium Osquelega versus We Vicious. Forehead, take us away. Yeah, this is really a big one. This is the first of our semi finals here. Carrick Dan on kickoff for Candemonium Osquelega. And it's a fairly even one, but look like. Oh, actually, I was going to say it looked like Demox get there, but he doesn't. And that's a big, big miss there from Classy in the opening moments of the game. Panda with a shot too. And it just clips off the crossbar and stays out for now. A very, very shaky start for Wee Vicious here. Jakey knocks it oh, away. Oh, there's from. a bump. Panda was greedy there. He has oh. to be careful. Oh, Panda does well. He gets himself out of his own trouble, to be fair. And again, that ball is just going to sail wide. We'll see here as this, I mean, good start there from, uh, from Candemonium. But they've just kind of dropped off now in the first couple of seconds. And we Vicious really getting a foothold in this game now. Brilliant play by Panda, very fast to the ball. But they're about to get caught here. Yeah, Cans on which we just done. Can't really do much at the minute. Gets it away from Panda, which maybe wasn't the best move in the world. Panda got the boost though, that's important for them if they can survive this play. Oh, Good that's job a from great Kans. save from Cans. Gets it onto the crossbar and Can uh, Panda gets it away. That's a great pass as well into the middle for lovely Cans. Just can't quite put it on target onto the post. But Panda's there! Oh! And that's going to be goal one in game one to Candemonium Oscar Elga. This team, the underdogs, some people question them as third seed, but uh, they've already shown one counter-attack and they can split Wee Vicious open apart. Yeah. I may have done a little bit of a fist bump. I love these guys. These are my guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what a play by them. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Really tense opening to the first minute or so. Classy. Just knocks it on the wrong side of the post. Character Car doing so well to keep that ball high and away from Wee Vicious. And it. Just knocking it into the corner, nice and slow. No need to rush anything at the minute. Gets it over Classy too. He's very high up there, his last man. Panda knocked it away into the corner and just making things difficult for... Oh! As he finishes that one off too. Panda really stealing the show here in this first game. I think we've seen what this kid can do at other lands before. He is... He, he just can win games, you know? We've seen it time and time again. You, you put him on... A, the, you put the right players around him and he can win games. And I think he's looking good at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, he really, really is. It's a good 50 from him too there on the kickoff. Cans knocking it straight into Jakey's pass and Panda. Well, it was a big miss there. Could have been a good chance for his team. Carrick Dan knocks it away into Demox's pass, but it's not a great hit from Demox. Jakey though, able to keep that one moving towards himself. That's a That's great a touch from Demox. <laughs> oh, what a finish that is. Brilliant stuff from Demox. Oh, that is a magnificent is read. <laughs> I give him credit. I give him credit this time around. Oh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. But there's still a goal down this wee vicious side. They won't be happy about that. I'll cheer him up for the minute and a nice confidence boost for Demox as well. Be careful with the kickoffs here to Candemonium. They keep losing him into the back, left, back, right. But this is an open net. Cans, um, 
pants. <laughs> I'm not sure if that goal was as open as you made it out to be, but either way, Jakey here in a one on one situation with Carrick Dan does very well there, Carrick Dan. Two gets men. that one away. Lovely cans, looking to bring him on forward, but doesn't the Classy's there. And that's a big win in the air for Classy. That's going to make it two all now. Yeah, Cannes lost this really badly at the wall here. He gave it straight away. Dimox just completely won it out. And Panda was put in an impossible situation to win that. And yeah, 2-2 two -two all of a sudden now. Yeah, very, very nicely done indeed. As we play on, three minutes nearly remaining. Two each. Well, this is looking like it's going to be some series. Big dunk there from Lovely Cannes. It's annual off Jakey. Off his own backboard, looks a little awkward, but he gets it over Panda. Oh, Classy could have been there to follow up, but just misses out. Can't knocks it into the corner, but it's a great pinch from Deox right back the other way. Carrick Dan really shows, he gets bumped by Jakey, I think. Forced to knock it across his own goal, sorry. As I uh, struggle to breathe for a second. Panda, that with a great chance here. Classy, that with a brilliant Classy save there. Jake, Very last Jake minute. was on zero. Classy bailed him out there with an unbelievable cut in defense. It's good comms, though. Yeah. You can hear him. Carrick down with a very cheeky touch above his own crossbar, but he gets away with it. Panda doing well. Popped up for Dmox though. Lovely cans. It's not a great clear whatsoever. It actually was a good save, Ooh. but it's just Panda didn't trust him there. You can tell that he doesn't trust him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What a pass this is from Classy though. I don't know what happened here. Whoever was in net originally left for boost. It was Panda. Panda just went to midfield for boost for some reason. He left his teammate completely on, on, on his own. When you do that, you're never going to do anything good. Someone should have been on the back for that. And yeah, big mistake. They're throwing a two-goal lead now. Yeah, well, this game, I mean, it is weird to think that at one point this pandemonium had were two goals to the good. Either way, that's not the case now. Panda going to have to bring it back. <laughs> well, how about that for a finish? I was not I was not convinced that Ollie had the boost for this, but oh, there you go. Oh, oh. oh, brilliant, brilliant stuff from Panda. That's I'm spectacular. not surprised at this stage, to be honest with you. I've seen it like time and time again from him. So it's kind of normal for me. I'm kind of like, ah, whatever. It's fine. If someone else says it, you're like, whoa, that's amazing. But when Panda does it, it's like, ah, whatever. It doesn't make a difference, really. Oh, oh that's a dreadful thing. I haven't play. said that. That is very oh, poor indeed. Panda you rushed from he hero to zero. He had time. There's no need to double jump that. Like, no one's ever going to be that close off of a kickoff anyway. You have to cheat super aggressive to be that close. He's not using his head there. He's not thinking. And now all of a sudden, it's 3 4. Ouch. Well, you hate to see it, but it is 3-4 to Wee Vicious with a minute 48 to go. Very even kick off there. Lovely Cans gets the better of it. Demox swiping across the Carrick Dan shot. I don't think that was necessary. Works out nonetheless. Panda with a big 50 there. Demox in a little bit of trouble. Gets it away nice and easy, though. Lovely Cans looking to centre it. But Classy stuffs it out as he's been doing all day. And that's a great 52. If he can set up a teammate here, but Carrick Dan... Swipes it away, and again, we vicious. They're looking, you know, kind of comfortable on the attack when the boss has moved into their half. They're looking very, very good indeed. Yeah, we vicious put a lot more pressure in the second half of this game. Nice touch by Dan there, though, to get the free flip on that. Yeah, we'll see. Dan with a Dan great pass. That counts there. No! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh so, 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 so unlucky from Lovely Cans there. We play on a brilliant save there for Panda. Keeps the ball out of his own goal. His teammates need to be cheating on that a bit better, I think. They're not, they're not following up Panda's touches as much as they were early on in the game. I think they're getting a little bit worried by the speed of uh, Wee Vicious here. And, uh, yeah, Dan here, yeah, oh. almost got done, you see. They're, they're getting a little bit nervous now. They're not playing to their strengths. And Cans has no awareness as usual. And he gets bumped. Yeah, big, big bump from Classy there. I mean, very nicely done. Great awareness from Classy to think of it. But at the same time, yeah, it's a bit too easy and a bit of a P-roller there. Yeah, I mean, it's not a good clear. It's past him straight out from the back. It's not a good play, but Cans isn't aware. He needs to be more aware of this. This is the kryptonite at the moment. Cans has been, been molested. <laughs> Classy looks to knock that one towards Jakey, but lovely Cans sniffs it out. Dmox with a good pinch. Not actually on target if they're not careful. Panda though, knocking away out via the corner. Jakey with a good follow up, and Panda again returns with interest. Classy into the blue half and at the moment we vicious are looking very comfortable keeping the ball in that blue half let's see if candemonium moscow Alligator have anything else to add to this game at the moment it's it's a 3-5 they really need to make something happen right now but i feel this will be game one to we vicious as classy sends that one home to make it six yeah, he's been very good this game classy he's um he's been the best player in this team by a, a quite a margin i would say and um yeah he's just been very solid let me see if the scoreboard reflects it i'm probably wrong i'm not wrong Cool.
it's always good to know that I'm actually able to correctly analyze the situation, but I felt like Lance has been the best player, and uh, he's made all the chances, essentially. So yeah, it looks like uh, game one is wee vicious, and uh, they're one and up in the series, and that's a good start for them. And the Monium Australia like now, they have to pick themselves up after that loss. Yeah. They had very few chances on the offense, I would say. Um, I mean, like, look at the shots there. We've got 15 to 9, you know. And a lot of those panda shots are probably him rolling it on the ground to them when he clears it. So they were under pressure a lot of that game. The problem is Dan and Kans are two very passive players, I would say, normally. They need to be, one of them needs to be harder to the ball. Because panda is hard to the ball, but I think panda will play better as a third man in this situation. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to say, but yeah. Yeah, no, it really is a difficult one. Um... Yeah, Candemonio are just in a, in a bit of a pickle here as to what to do. I think I, I agree with you there that we Vicious naturally play just that little bit quicker. But at the same time, it doesn't mean the Candemonium have to back off and be afraid of every single little thing. And uh, we'll see how they respond anyway in this game three. It's fairly neutral enough kickoff going straight to Carrick down. Classic. Knocks it away to the side, knocks it onto the backboard too. And that's it. <laughs> well, 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 well. This whole, this whole play hap this this whole this this whole play happened because Panda and Kans don't communicate in defense. That should have been Kansas' ball. Panda should never have gone anywhere near that. He yeah. cuts him off for no reason. You know, it's a bad error. It's a really bad error. He's been in a land final. He should know to make not make these kind of mistakes. Oh, Panda looking for the big one, but Jakey cuts it out before it touches the backboard, and we stay at one 0 And yet yeah, it was oh, well. A lot of pinball given we vicious that one goal. That they have at the minute still. Panda, nice touch in field. Carrick Dan, what's he able to do with this? Good reason, uh, he's done well there, but he can't really follow it on, which is a shame. Panda though, knocked in the way into Jakey, and that's a great dunk to him. Oh, Kans nearly, nearly had a big chance there. Doesn't quite pull it off though. Jakey with a nice double toe shoot, fooling Carrick Dan a little bit there, I think. As he comes back again, second time round. Classy, knocks it down straight towards Kans though. And it stays at 1-0 with one minute played. Good flick by Dan. It's a lot of pressure on Weavish just now. Panda needs to pass that ball in midfield. I guess he's trying to just put pressure on him, but it's an easy clear. Demox with a whiff. Uh, Jake now's under big pressure here. Classy needs to make this touch, and he does, and it's a good touch there for Classy. Panda knocks it back in. We're just playing a bit of ping pong here. It's like Northern Gaming Season 2 Rocket League, to be honest. Yeah, good read there from Panda, but you're right. It was just it was awkward, and there's not much his team could do. That, though, was a lot better. And you like to see one of his teammates really pushing up and trying to go for that. But I guess with three, three and a half minutes left, I feel like they don't need to take any two, any major risks at the minute. They're not chasing a huge goal deficit, just the one. So maybe now's not the time for them to really go all out attack. Jakey. That's good by Dan. That's really good by Dan. Dan put pressure on him there. He made him make a play quickly by going out. There's good communication there from the guys. Dan, what an unbelievable play. Oh, can surely he's going to put this on net. He does, but it's a, it's a bit of a P-roller. Uh, unfortunately for Kanzer, wasn't exactly too much power on that hit. We need to pass the ball better to each other. Panda's just banging the ball up fields. Let's see if we can get a good touch off of it. And the, the guys at, at this level, they're a little bit too good to make mistakes there, I would say. So they just have to think of a different way to open them up. This isn't, uh, well, this isn't NSG. <laughs> well, <laughs> less said about that, arguably the better. But moving on. Just over That's half a bad this touch. game to go. Panda might have a chance there. Carrick down, looks together around the corner. Demox though. Shepherds it away to the other side of the pitch. Carrick Dan really struggling with what to do with that ball. Defense isn't kind to him either. Jakey gets the centre. Lovely counter. A great touch actually towards Carrick Dan. Panda's got a chance here to do damage. He can't get on it. It's going to be Dan versus Classy now. Classy with a chance to centre it and he just misses that altogether. Carrick Dan gets it away and it's a miss from Jakey too. Carrick Dan puts it high. His team are not there though. Deemox is able to get it away without too much bother. Can't. Look, he has the He's touch, but with zero boost, that is uh, pretty ambitious, to say at least. Demox is going to be on the end of this. This is going to be an open net, surely. Oh, oh but the, the bounce is not favourable for Demox. Not much you can do with that, to be fair. It's been a good series, actually. It's been a bit better quality Rocket League, to be honest. For the most part. Except for Pens. Yeah, no, I'd have to agree there. I think the only thing we're missing is a couple of goals, really. Having said that, oh, never mind. That was a really good save from Can. But, uh,. Yeah, I just thought the wee vicious if they scored the one kind of as early as they did, they might, you know, keep going and get two or three more, but obviously that's not the case. So uh, we say as it is, but character looks very out of place there as that hits off the post. Oh, and off the other post miss. from Wee Vicious. I don't know what they're doing at the moment, can the morning, but none of them are pressing the ball, they're just sitting there with nothing, they're not doing anything. It's weird. This is a goal anyway. 
Oh, very, you. very nicely done from Classic. <laughs> I told yeah, you. yeah. Panda again centers it for him. Yeah. Like, just put straight up. He needs to put it somewhere else. But again, this all happens because no one goes for the ball. They're just sitting like this, like you know. Yeah. It's like they're lined up to be shot. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? And you're just like, next please, next please. Yeah, no, they, they, I don't know, they, I, I agree with you, they really don't look like they're taking the game too wee vicious or anything like that. They were doing like good up until that point though, up until that one passage of play, they were doing very well. Yeah. Like, wee vicious now are trolling at the moment here. Panda's in a one-on-one, -on -one and he's probably going to do something. Oh well. Classy, I'm telling you, man, he's done a big carry of the steam right here. He's playing class. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Anywho, moving on. Zemox looking at a 50 pass can, does not work, JK gets it away eventually. One minute left coming up on everyone's screens. If Candemonium really want to go, they need to start working on that right now. Cans with it. Oh, he didn't read that one at all, actually. And then Panda just slightly too slow. And that's, that's a goal. Oh, and that's three that's and it. They're going to have to reverse sweep him, I think. This is a big oh, gap. Oh, brilliant from Classy once again. And he's had he's had a good game this game, Classic. He's had a very, very good game, you have to Yeah, I know. He's been unbelievable. He's been the best player on the field. Um, both games. As I said last game, I thought he was. Um, they're gonna have to um, really. They're gonna have to think about how they want to take these guys down because they're not playing to their strengths. When they're putting pressure on them, they're a match for them. But they sometimes they just like sit back and wait, and then they just let them have pressure. The thing with We Vicious are when they have boost, they're quite good. <laughs> That's the problem. Yes. If you boost our We Vicious, you've got a good chance. Couple of bumps there, but nothing major. Dmox looking for the center. Carrick Dan gets it away. Let's see here's Classy tries to keep the pressure up. Oh, Jakey, that's, that's a big misery there. Panda, what can he do from the side? Looks in field, but it's really just the Demox. They just tease up class, he says, go on then. Off the backboard you go. But on this occasion, it's not to be. Kaitan looking to keep it up for the final time in this game. Panda, looking set there. Can just isn't quite there. And that is going to be game two to Wee Vicious as well. All right, so Wee Vicious are one game away from making the grand final. Making on stage. We've got a load of mutes back here. So that's Rocket League community for you. You know, they're all loud mouths on uh, Discord, but as soon as you get them onto uh, location, <laughs> they're all just like. But um, no, seriously. Um, I mean, look again. Classy has carried this team both games yeah. over 600 points. Yeah. He is so good, so good. Right, he's been such a carry. And uh, if we vicious get the rematch against Fogart or maybe whoever knows, man, she unlikely, but you never know. Uh -huh. Um, well deserved from his point of view. What can Candemonium do? Cans, Cans won't play aggressive, he just doesn't, right? So, as Panda, what do you do? Dan is playing aggressive, Dan's playing decent, okay? As Panda, do you play aggressive or do you play passive? What is that aerial? Oh, well. Good comms there, though, from Jake, because Cassie was not going to cut for that. You can actually hear it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Zemox has already had a shooting opportunity, but he knocks it high and towards Cans' path. Jake, you know, keeps it in the blue half, and again, it's all wee vicious pressure. <laughs> Oh, it was a risky touch there for Panda. But he gets away with a hit. Carried down, looks to throw himself about, get himself involved, like you said. Oh, it's hands off. Oh, that's a big miss. And Carried down just about bails him out there. Classic, looking for a pass in field. That's a great touch to Wiz. Oh, 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 there we go. And that is a brilliant, brilliant goal from Wee Vicious. It's again, it's the, it's the cutting in the corner. It's this, it's that. Dan, Dan does nothing wrong here, but Cans needs to protect him more. If, if you're going to cut, you have to protect the guy who's last, yeah? Because he's not expecting you to cut. And they're, they're probably not calming that. They're, he's probably like silent and calms. You need to calm that. You know, you can't just cut and, on a LAN and expect that shit to happen. So. Yeah. Get me on this team. <laughs> well, moving on now. Still loads of time left for Candemony Muscarel to come back into this. Panda. With a bit of time to himself here, looking for Carrick Dan, plays it wide, Carrick Dan, oh, Dan could have scored, just the top the Jake had it. Come on, Cans. Oh, Lovely Cans with a chance here, that's a oh. great finish from Lovely Cans. Is that their first time scoring since game one? Because I can't remember. Yes. Sir. It is, isn't it? They haven't scored since game one. Yes. Where they threw a two-goal lead. Yes. That's a, there's a bit of life in them yet. Yes, there there's is. a bit of life in them, so. Yes, there is. Great finish there from Lovely Cans. And this Candemonium Oscar Elgar side, it's a real mental, that. Uh, not it's just done yet. Computer aided design. Sure. Oh, just off the crossbar. I don't think Panda had any faith in that staying out of the goal. Classy though. Can't get it centered once again. Panda looking to just keep it away from the wee vicious Good play team. By Kans. He's starting to not hesitate now. I think he's just given up on like being passive and he doesn't really care if they beat him. He just wants to go fast. 
Yeah, that may be the case here. As you see Panda in a little bit of an awkward spot here. Oh, very awkward spot here. Leaving Rakans to do the work. And uh, had the option of pass inside, Double but decides commit. to go for the, uh, play the individual play. I don't know if that was too necessary. Oh, well. Panda back in towards Karakdan. Is anyone around from We Vicious? Yes, they are. Classy once again able to stop another oh, Candemonium no. attack. Oh, no. Oh, that's a pass straight across. Oh, Demox, oh, well done him. Good. He read it well. He read it well. Oh, it's a good touch as well to get it away from Lovely Cans. And again, this Candemonium side, as I... Oh, 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 oh Jake oh. nearly got done there. He well, wasn't coming with his teammates. I was about to say, this Candemonium side just cannot catch a break at all. They're getting a couple of chances there, but they're really just not able to score from them. Have you ever, have you ever seen Cans reverse? Because I don't think I have. Has he got reverse behind us? Mm, I'd be surprised. Like, Panda, they're not coming that again, I reckon. With Dan, I'm not sure what's happened there. Communication, they need to sort that out. It's game three, they're out if they lose. Yeah, no, exactly. Everything on the line for this Candemonium Oscar team right now. One all and two minutes, 15 remaining. Okay, Dan can't get anything on that class. He does well to take it away. It's better by Kans. Kans is starting to intercept the midfield part. This is what I was talking yes. about with, with Kans, you know, and I don't want to repeat myself again, but when he actually intercepts the midfield, they're a better team. Yes, 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 absolutely. Panda with a big block oh an unbelievable God. touch. Oh Just about gets it wide, but that could have been something else. Jakey looking to set off a quick counter attack. Carrick Dan though shuts it down. And then it falls to Demox. That's a good touch on oh, it. And both of them go. They need to calm that man. Like, oh, what is that? Very, Dreadful. very unnecessary there. They're both out of boost now. They're probably going to get scored on. Oh, great Rins. save from Cans. But Classy has a chance. Here. Classy has a big chance. And he knocks it wide, trying to avoid the goalkeepers. I don't know which one of them isn't coming. And but they, I don't know they need to sort how it. this game is still one off. Yeah. Oh, Demox. Oh, dodgy. Oh, Cans just about stopping that ball from grassing into his half. Panda. Waiting for that exact touch, pounces on it, and then Carrick Dan just can't quite get the clear that he wants it. Yeah. Making lots of errors now. Demox's not doing his team any favours here at the minute. Does well though to take it in time, oh, that, that could be so in, just bad. off the crossbar, and Classy puts it wide, and that is a big, big miss in the context of this game. Demox again, dodgy clear, he needs to cop on a little bit here, he's making a lot of errors. The pass down, Carrick Dan, oh what a save oh, by Classy! Oh, oh, what a save, where's Kant? There he is! Off the backboard once again, but I don't get anyone from Candemonium as well. Oh, they both went back. Back away. Lovely cans with a good back pass into Panda. It's Panda. He goes again. This is a big chance. Panda in the air. This is a specialty. Oh, it's a good block from Demox. He does well to read the situation. Do Panda it. was. <laughs> Panda with a cheeky pre flip and cans with a shot nice and low. But it doesn't come off, and I can't believe we are still at a tight game. Yeah, absolutely. But, but Candemonium now have got a lot of pressure. Karakdan has a huge chance. But he can't get it there. Demox is quite low. He's only got about 10, 15 boosts. Panda oh, is up. Panda's up so early. He takes saves off the crossbar. Oh, how often do you see a save? Oh, onto classy, the classy. He's got big space here. He can make damage with this touch. It's all on character. And Dan oh, gets a great clear. Panda it's Panda versus Jake. Oh, but Panda got rid of the ball for some reason. He should have kept hold of it. Oh, it's coming down very dangerously. There, he can't just misread it. Oh, Dan Classy has to be definitely threw him off. Oh, that ball. Is oh, Dan, what are you oh. doing? Oh, Panda may be able to see what it. Yes, he did. Oh, dangerous, dangerous place from Carrick Dan. Overtime. I can see a grimace on his face that he knows. He knows what he did to Panda. Double commit already off the top of a kickoff. It's not good. Oh, uh, Candemonium playing with so much speed and passion, but that's not good enough. Come on. And that's a huge shot from Demox. I'm sure you can hear the celebrations on the far side of the table. And they take the series in overtime. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from both teams. Yeah, so yeah, we'll do it now. Uh, cool. In series? Yeah, it's game two now. Okay. My, oh my, that was something else. We're jumping straight into now the NSG game here. As uh, as we believe, this is now game two uh, in the series. Game one went to uh, Fugert. It looks like game two is going to go to NSG with 50 seconds remaining. Never say never. However, Vert, oh, nearly drops it onto the post. Arctic just trying to slow things down. Made it, no. made it with a big miss and Fusher with a chance. That's just. Oh, it's better. It's just wide, but it's a great, great read from Fusher. Probably shouldn't have expected anything less, to be perfectly honest with you. Made it, man. What are you doing? And that is brilliantly done. Poor Blah. Made it, letting the team down. That's the first time we've said that today. Well, 40 seconds left, and it looks like we are in next goal wins territory. Arctic 
with a chance by himself. One on no. one with Vert and Bla. Oh, took it, took it off. Blah, blah. Oh, good, but Bla's got a big chance here. And Dylan just about gets across, but Mayday is a chance. Oh. And I don't know what happened to Fugger there, but they're all caught going for the exact same boost. And this looks like it could be NSG tying up the series to make it 1 1. Even if they take one game off, I think it's a success to be honest, because no one else has done that today, have they? I don't believe so. We this has got the closest they took him to over him. Dylan with a big shot. Oh, ho, ho. Dylan with a big chance off the crossbar and then Vert into the top corner. Oh, that is fabulous finishing from Vert. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You can tell. This guy's on the brink of a world of class. I mentioned it already today. And you can already see what is that bounce. <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, that is questionable, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the loser, of course, plays Candemone Mosquella, but Burt's up to win the game. Oh, 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 just off the post. Arctic takes it past one. Keeps control of the ball here. What can he do in the dying moments again? Bla knocks it in. Great block from Fusher. And Mayday's there, but that's just going to hit the ground first. And we're going to overtime in game two of this series. Arctic. Not a bad kick off, it goes straight to Mayday in the hey, end. What are you doing? Could have taken the boost in the corner. Push it out, looking to make something happen off that wall. Arctic looking to challenge. It's not a very strong one from him as Bly gets it over Vert. Gets it over Mug too, there's a bit of an awkward one for him. Mayday though, oh, he's not really sure where to go with that and he plays it straight into the path of Vert. This could be dangerous here. Good challenge from Arctic, nice and early. And Bly switches Double it down to miss. himself, that was a great touch there. Open oh, but everybody hits the post. Oh my God. What is he doing? Oh, oh, Ross had an open net. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, you have to feel for him. He did 90% of the work. It was open. Oh. <laughs> well, we we play on. Approaching one minute of overtime. This game is still too well. Fush over the touch into the corner. There's not going to be much out of that one, but Mayday clears it away straight into the path of Dylan. Who has the boost to follow this up, you know? Arctic with a clear, but it's only blocked down by Dylan. Vert looking for a touch in field, but it's straight to Mayday. He looks for a teammate out wide, but can't find it. And Fusher's a chance in field, but Arctic once again up and able to clear it away for NSG. Jesus. Mayday, bit of an unconventional clear, but he gets it out wide into the corner. This is straight to Vert. This could be a big chance off the back, but Arctic is struggling. Mug just wide. And Mayday able to take this one away just over the top of Fusher, great Arctic's again, he's pushed on that. Three times in the corner, three times he's missed the boost. Blah, up nice and early for this. Arctic should be able to follow onto this one, but Vert comes through from behind, takes that ball away from him. Dylan looking to get a pass to defence here, he can't quite make it happen. Fusher looking for a shot too, but Arctic shuts him down. Big play into the middle, Dylan misses that one altogether, Fusher with a big chance oh, and a big miss! The bottler. And that could have been a huge chance for Fugger. But they miss it for now. Arctic trying to get that one away. Dylan leaves it for Fusher. Bla just over the top of Fusher. Made out with a chance here off this corner bounce. That's a great shot too. But Dylan able to just touch it away past his goal. Fusher just seeing that ball wide. No need to actually touch it. Made it. That's a great pass into the middle. But Bla cannot get there ahead of the defence. And Vert now plays it out to Dylan. This could be a great counter attack opportunity. But Fusher not quite on the same wavelength this time around. And Arctic takes it over one and pops it into the middle. Dylan, though, with a fairly straightforward clear. Mayday in centre. Blas up actually nice and early. Gets her ahead of Vert. Uh, Arctic with a chance at Fusher. How does he keep that out? Oh, I do not know. At least 70% of that ball was over the line. Ross saved NSG there. Mayday was caught up midfield. Up the top again. Not for the first time. Oh, it's all about in here, though. Can Blas get there in time? We play on approaching three minutes of time. Arctic with a great shot and a great save from Fusher. There's so much pressure, they and just this can't score. Is something else. Fusher off the ceiling. That might be dropping in Mayday. Reads the situation well. Dylan looking for centre. It's a big miss there from I think oh, it was Mayday, Mayday off the again. backboard. He's missing loads of them. Arctic looking to just keep control of the ball for a moment. Bla in a 50-50 with Dylan there. As Vert takes over, Mayday. Able to clear it away to the other side of the pitch, just about. Arctic gets dunked by Fusher there. Blah, not a good touch. Just giving away possession. He's put a team under a lot of pressure here now. Vert knocks it in centre, and Dylan knocks away the approaching defender. Mayday able to take it around the wall, but not much else. Arctic 
Nice touch off the wall in middle from him. But very able to watch oh, for the back board. Nice and easy. Again. Oh, but there's communication from Fugger is for a best. Fusher just knocks it wide to a teammate but can't find anyone. Arctic trying to keep that ball moving towards the blue goal hit. A lot approach. of nerves coming out here, a lot of nerves yeah. from uh, both teams. Yeah, big time as we approach four minutes of overtime, made it. Trying to keep it away from Fusher, but he just landed it on top of his car. Good save by Arctic, he's having a phenomenal... This, he's been the best player by miles in this game. Yeah, Arctic really... This is a goal though. Oh, oh Fusher missed some... <laughs> oh... <laughs> Well, that that is a poor miss for Fusher. That is not what you want to see. He didn't pre flip himself yeah. into that one, did he? If, you, if, you, if you're a blue fan, that is not what you want to see He's right now. He's missing a load. He's having nerves or something. I don't know what oh, oh, that. oh, that is a brilliant double touch I just off tried the to ground. Drink my water <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is spectacular. Very completely caught out by that one. Brilliant stuff from Blas. He makes it 3 2 to even up the series. Wow, oh wow. Well, they're the first team to take a game off him. Yeah. And I felt like Ross himself. is the best player, and yeah, he's bottled with the leaderboard because I felt like he made all the crucial touches. He's had nine shots. Look at <laughs> 20 wow. shots. Wow. 20 shots to uh, 18. 14. A 14? 14. No, 18. Sorry, yeah. Ignore me. Fuchsia's probably blaming something now. But I thought he was poor in that series. Avert didn't really get into the game. I think he's trying to trust his teammates a lot. He might have to start ball chasing. So now he's going to have to sit back a lot. Because uh, whatever they're doing at the moment isn't working, considering the quality that they have uh, an RL or S player on the field. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is very, very true. Now, I mean, I think saying that on its own maybe doesn't... Uh, justice, does doesn't mean that they're invincible. But, yes. That's just oh, true. Oh, uh, naive. Just think more about that kind of thing. Mayday. Looking to play a centre to his teammate here. Only finds Fusher, though. 10 seconds in, and nothing much to report. A car change from Dylan back to the more recognisable Octane. Mayday plays it in centre for Blau. He's up so early for that. What a finish that is from Blau. Really coming into his own in this series. That is a brilliant, brilliant finish from Blau. Gets up so early and just a deftest of touches to slide it into the bottom corner. Brilliant stuff. Arctic. Oh, he could have had maybe a better shooting opportunity there. Mayday plays it high in middle, but that's straight to Vert. Fusher again with another big miss here. Blah. Trying to touch it wide, but straight into the path of Vert. Arctic again. Knocking it away. Really finding himself in key areas of the pitches, Arctic. It's a big demo for him. Onto Dylan. It's all Fusher with a big chance though, and Blah just about gets across in time to block any shooting chance. I think Fusher had a better touch there than Vert. Um, I'm not sure what the comms are like. And Mogus Dylan, sorry, DYLN, just missed the ball. Whoa. A great shot there from Mayday, great opportunity, but it just gets blocked. Dylan knocks it away. That could be on target if they're not careful. Oh. Yeah, I saw oh, that happening. Well. He tried to cover the high shot and he made a mistake there, Mayday. That's the first time on the defense today. Good play there, but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to call him Mog, I'm not calling him Dylan. <laughs> That's a stupid name. Well, we find ourselves at one apiece in series and one apiece in the game. Four minutes to go. As a long way before we decide who our finalist or other finalist is. As Red Eyes the Smurf comes online. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Bert just takes it away from the defence, but it actually doesn't work out too well. Lays it back off the pusher, looks for a read off the ceiling. That's a great win too in the air. Blah though, does well to be the first one to it. And again, NSG survived this time round, playing very, very well here. Dylan, what can he do here from his own backward? Big bump from Mayday. But Fusher's up really, really early to contest Arctic in the air. And at the moment, it really is tit for tat kind of stuff. As Great no there. one seems to be getting the upper hand on anyone else. It's the demos, a big though. demo, though. Mayday not aware again of demos. It's not the first time it's happened. But looking for a center into Fusher. Oh, what a finish that is. And that is what these guys do best. He's going to get caught out multiple times on the defense. It's not the first time. And again, he's caught out here. He's not uh, He's not sitting further back in the net. And I think he's been found slightly out of his element in this game. He needs to step it up a little bit if they want to take game three. Because game three is a bit crucial. You know, game three, all of a sudden, you know, that, that oh, you've yeah. got a game advantage. It's nice and easy. Made it. Looks for a double touch off the ground. Doesn't quite happen there. Fusher, looking to follow this one as it flies. Let's see what Fusher can do here. Not much as it goes. 
gets popped out towards Mayday. Touches it onto the crossbar. What a read that is. Oh, and Vert with a fantastic save. Anyone else wouldn't have saved that, I don't think. Incredible, incredible stuff from Vert. Dylan knocks it down towards Fusher, and that's just in the top corner. That's an amazing pass well, how about that for pinpoint accuracy from the three in Booger? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How are you going to respond to that? you got two minutes to find two goals. It's going to be tough for him. Mm -hmm. See how they respond. This is the making of a good team now. Vert takes that one high into the air. Arctic up the challenge and does very, very well indeed to see that one out. Dylan, though, looking to play it back in the exact same way. And Vla this time. Out to cover him. Arctic goes for it once again around the corner. Comes out to Verto, and this is an easy, easy double touch opportunity. Brilliant stuff from him, but you have to ask, where's the NSG keeper? One of them getting bumped in there. It's Mayday again, he's getting bullied all game. The guy is just uh, he's just sitting there all game. He's like the wall, the wall that moves, you know? He doesn't really protect anything. Yeah, it's slightly unfortunate for him, but uh yeah, he, need, he needs to pick himself up next game because I think Mayday is the kind of guy who gets tilted very, very easily. We've seen it many times on his stream, so he needs to um, think about it a bit more. He's getting demoed every two seconds. They're picking on him because they know that he's the guy who's going to get tilted here. Not the other two. Yeah, well, have to wait and see. Do they continue with these bumps and demos on Mayday? Or is it just a more general thing? Fusher, so, so unlucky as the ball cracks off the crossbar. We play on, though, with Mayday. Well, it was in a good position, but just didn't have the boost to capitalise. For, looking for a flip reset, just played under Blan Arctic. That would have been something else if he could pull it off, but he doesn't on that occasion. Arctic looking really awkward here on the post of his own goal. Trying to get this one his way as best. Trying to get this one away as best he can. There we go. Right for it. Yeah. Look forward to the grand stage. Oh, big time. Voices and bits though. I hope that doesn't come across too much on the mic. Anyways, that ball is dropping down very, very dangerous. Fusher <laughs> drops it in himself. Oh, dear. That is not what you want to see at all. Well, what to say on this? Say he pre that, I guess, technically. No. It is future, though. Like, he loves touching the ball. Aye, aye, aye. Well, we play on. I'm not sure if Fugger will be too upset about that, considering the scoreline is 4-2 at the minute. With just over a minute to go. However, uh, you hope that, that doesn't come back to ruin them as Vert slams that one in. That's a brilliant, brilliant move from this blue team. It's the quality here. He's up, he's past the centre, Vert's waiting, and it's an absolute rip. 153. Wow. Good luck to you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Arctic finds himself in a very awkward spot here, and Dylan nearly, nearly gets that on target. Bla, looking to touch it back down to himself, doesn't really get it the way he wants. Mayday plays it forwards and high, and Fusher equal to it. Mayday goes again, I think he sort of threw his own teammates off there. Bla, looking to touch it wide there as Vert gets the demo on him. Fusher with a shooting opportunity here, T decides to take it slow. Ends up being a bit over elaborate for what he needed there. 35 seconds left, the game is still 5-2 at the minute. Mayday knocks that one away, push it up. Able to just put it in a safer spot. And Blah takes a shot that, oh, well, the very, very last minute save from Dylan there, but he gets away with it. Yeah, well, it's gonna be about, like, they're not gonna score two goals now at this time. It just won't happen, right? We, we rarely ever see that in a full game, don't mind in, uh, in 20 seconds, in 10 seconds. Um, how can industry pick themselves up after this game? I'm not sure. Um, you're facing against the best trio, no, well, best trio today anyway, I would say. Um, and, you know, one of the best players, or the best player in Ireland on the team. Um, it's going to be tough for them. They've got one game to figure it out, and if they can get that far and win, they have another game to try and figure it out. <laughs> the problem with this team is that they can find time to dismantle anyone. That's going to be a problem for them, but we're nearly there. We're nearly there, Forehead. We are at 22. So we've got two games, and then we, we move into the big room. Oh, the big one. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. Here is this where Fugger gets themselves into the grand final? Or do NSG cause another upset in a day of some fascinating, you know, Rocket League storylines, Rocket League playing? Fugger. 
to get involved in this move despite the lack of boost. Gets knocked away though towards Dylan. Vert leaves it to him, but Mayday gets a little pop into the corner. Well, it was a particularly dangerous move, but it's good to get a one or two little cheeky shots in at the start of the match. Mayday looking to get up for that one, but Fush is just so quick. Knocks it as well towards that backboard, not just leaving it dangling in the middle for the rest of them to aim at. Uh, missed that cut off just a bit. He needs to make sure he's getting those touches for his team because Mayday is struggling a lot of the time. Cleared over that time. Yeah, Mayday with a big play off the backboard and Vert knocking it up nice and high into the sky. Vert looking for the double touch here. Doesn't quite happen on this occasion. Arctic knocks it off his own wall and then followed up well by Blatt. Arctic looking for a pass in the middle as well and then Blatt just can't quite get to it. So, so looking from NSG, they really are trying different things, different ideas, different tactics. But nothing for them has fully come off They're so far. Too easy Flat. to read, I think. But Mayday Listen. almost. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Well, the angle wasn't quite on for Mayday, but he still nearly made it work. It was amazing stuff there. Pusher plays it into Mug. Oh, he thought oh, he'd get the touchdown, but Mayday misses that altogether. And that is going to be a fairly cheap goal for NSG to concede. Ouch. Ouch. You gotta respect Mog, but you still gotta assume that even if he touches it, you're not gonna save it anyway if he's gonna touch it, because look, he's backwards in the wall. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a yikes. NSC now need, they need a goal soon to get back into this, because their only game that they've been able to do damage in was the game that they were up at all. They were always up. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Oh, Bert nearly did a spectacular. Yeah. He's gonna pass this inside, told you. Oh, a kind of Dylan with the re pre flip. Probably a bit too ambitious there on that occasion. Only 1-0 up, you know, there's no need to be show both any of this stuff just yet. But we'll see, that's not really how these guys do this thing. Push it. Good Maybe clear away. Oh, Blaz messed up here. This is a uh, very, very unorthodox. Blaz unorthodox really unorthodox lucky, defending. Arctic bailed him out of that forehead. I cannot tell you how badly he messed up that half-flip that, uh, half and that's a goal. Yeah, it's very, oh. very unorthodox defending there from NSG. But Arctic, again, coming in clutch with team. Dylan, though, with a great shot. Arctic. Well, he can't be the hero three times in a row. And it is 2-0 to Dylan, Usher, and Burn. Yeah, 2-0 here to Pogger over Arctic. Too far. Because <laughs> that's what it's looked like to me in game three and four. We'll see what they can do. I faith the boys. At, wow. least, at least get a goal. Made it, knocking it out wide towards. I think this is nice. oh, oh, a little bit messy there from Fugger there. I thought the uh, back pass, you know, wasn't too direct. But I haven't said that. Who am I to judge when they're pulling out plays like this and finding that orange backboard so so easily? Made it with another big miss and a demo onto Arctic too. Blaz all on his own here. Oh well, no one on that blue side to capitalise, and we stay at two uh, uh, two nil here. Maybe a little bit of a surprise though. Very for the challenge there just to try and get a 50 oh Arctic does well to miss the demo and a great challenge too it's actually a little bit risky I'm not sure if Fush is making it back he does but you know what this blue team they're not afraid to take risks are they no, even if they're I mean, only 2-0 they're up. just going for the clips now at this stage you know they've got a 2 goal lead and they're happy to give up a goal trying to get a clip to be honest with you because I don't think they know they're going to see 2 goals Rush should just lead this left earlier to be honest yeah here we go Vert with a big chance here down the left hand side. Arctic. Oh, I see here, but he does well to get that one away. And then Blah able to properly clear that ball away. And again, NSG. You know, they've had they've had moments, obviously, they've conceded a couple times, but in general, they've held firm and they're still there now. They're still, you know, just about in touching distance of this blue team bugger. And I just wonder with a minute twenty, can they get those two goals back? Up quick to this, it's a good play by all that. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be tough now. They need a goal ASAP, basically. They, the most goals they've ever scored in a single game is two, and that was the game they won, which they had three. So, they need a goal ASAP, but these demos are gonna be critical, and this is what they need oh, to do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, very, very worked, well worked goal there from NSG. Bert there, off the backboard, missed that. That was a big one. Arctic then dropped it down for Mayday very, very nicely. And with a minute left, NSG are just a goal behind. Anything can happen. Hopefully for it, hopefully. We might tap the crest if they bring him to game five, because that'll be the farthest, but they won't be bringing anyone to game five but made him missing the ball. Well, hang on. Like that. Well. 
They're not happy. I can see John A.K. always is not happy. <laughs> Why is he not happy? He's never I just, happy now. I just, I, just have some ha I just have some hands get thrown in the air when that one went in. It's very bad. And but anyway. Back to, could be back to square one, really, for Brown Street. Uh, it's back to square zero because they're not pulling anywhere for it. <laughs> the most they scored is two goals and it took them an overtime of, what, four minutes to score that? Yeah. I would have given them faith to score a goal in a minute. But two goals in a minute? Big ask. Big, big ask. Arctic, off the ceiling, he, sure, he certainly hasn't given up. Mayday. Trying to get a block there on Virtuoso does not make it happen. And Blad just. It's all, it's all just very nitty gritty, unfortunately, for Menace. There's no clear cut signs. Pusher. Looking for that center that he doesn't get. There's a lot of bumping there. Someone's getting shoved up a wall. As Mayday does make it 3 2 with 16 I told seconds you to get left. Two. 16 seconds I told left. You to get two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be laughing at me in this bottle, alright? There's no water now, I'm gone. I hope they give us some water. I hope they give us some water for the grand final, bro. Well, 16 seconds left. All comes down to this kickoff. Dylan versus Mayday. Mayday though, takes it wide. Arctic is up for this one. I'm not sure he's reading that one all too well, though. Has to follow it out all the way wide. Just 10 Just seconds. Can't say. a lot of space. What's going to do with it? Into the middle towards Mayday. Can't make it happen. Arctic. I'm sure, there's no one there. He must have gone fishing for a demo. Keeps it up for now. Where's the rest of his team? Blas up very early, knocks it over, Fusher. Black keeps falling on, onto the backboard it goes. Where's the rest of the team? Mayday is not there quick enough. And Dylan knocks it away to give Fuggers the win. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> right, we gotta go. Well. I didn't hear Rob clapping, Dave. Boo. I clapped. You did clap. I clapped before all of you. Anyways. Anyways, to those of you who've been watching the stream, uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, that is basically going to be it from us, because the final is being played in a... Uh... Whoa! Wait, we got a host from Jazer? Jazer? What the? <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Well, these boys are going to be on YouTube. Sorry, on Twitch. Well, they were on Twitch. Yikes. <laughs> wow! You can thank them. I'm going to run off onto the main stage. Yeah, so yeah, we can cast the yeah, final. yeah, yeah. So for those of you who aren't here, obviously, um, damn it, we are, I'm so sad we have to go now. To those of you who are watching, thank you so so much. Um, yeah. Um, so the the grand final now, which is what we got up next, is on a main stage in a different part of the hall, and sadly we do not have that set up for a, a Twitch stream. So we're going to have to leave it here. I am really really sorry. Um, to those of you who are new and never heard of us, uh, we're Oral Ireland, you know, Browning Irish Rocket League, that's what we do. Uh, please, please, please go and uh, join in our Discord server, uh, follow us on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can't believe this. I actually can't believe this. <laughs> I'm very, very upset. Well, you can actually yeah. leave the third place game on stream, but unfortunately the grand final is going okay, to be played yeah, 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 yeah. on stage. So, Jazer, thank you very much for the host, but uh, Future, your boy won't be uh, on this one because he's going to be on the main stage. Uh, so, yeah, we got to go. Yeah. Well, guys, enjoy the uh, third, fourth play playoffs. Yeah, third, fourth place playoff. And uh, best of luck with uh, everything there. I've been, uh, I've been Dave Forehead. That was then wrong earlier. And uh, thank you all very, very, very much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed the third, fourth place playoff.